Pa, 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 pa. Hey everyone, we're here and the sound is working so great. Um, anyway, let's see. We're gonna do all black everything. Let's see if any of them are around. Uh, we got uh, we got a few. All right, we got a few. Uh, okay. Uh, we got a few. We got a special guest apparently. Um, well, anyway, you're doing well, wherever you are, wherever you are, if you're here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, we got, who we got in terms of, uh, participants. Getting everyone settled. Because, uh. Hey! He, he had DM'd me a hey. while ago saying he didn't want to do panels with me no more. So I'm just trying to make sure that this is okay with everybody. <laughs> like, because I'm not. This happened so long ago. Like, I'm not in a war with Fnatic at all. Like, but I just remember those DMs. He's like, I will never do a panel with you again or some shit. Or like don't ever be on the panel with me some shit like that and uh well we'll, we'll find out I'm, what happens i'm not aware of that um but anyway i'm sorry that that's neither here nor there um 
Yeah. What were you saying? The second topic you sent? Let me see. Yeah. Did you see the uh, thing I sent in? I did, but I didn't look. So is this, uh, okay. So the, the, the comfort TikTok. level project TikTok. Yeah. I'm going to watch it right now. Give me a couple seconds. Hey. Yeah, What's up, nice. Sorf? What's happening? What's going on, Dream? Fantastic, brother. Yeah, you so. got to watch that TikTok for the free discussion, bro. Did you see it? Which one? Which I watched uh, all the ones that was in there. Yeah, that, uh, the, the second one. Uh, the one I sent. Yeah, I seen that. What do you think about that, bro? About the whole... Um... Let me see. Hold on. That was the one with the shorty withholding the cash? Uh, no, that's what? the first one. The comfort oh, level podcast. Okay, let me. I haven't heard it, so let me click on. Ah, all right, fine. All right, I got it. Fucking uh, okay. TikTok no, doesn't load. Ah, uh, let's see. Am I the asshole for divorcing my wife for being a stay-at-home mom? <laughs> wow. I male thirty married my wife, female thirty, around five years ago. Okay. We've been dating since high school. Yeah, I loved how smart, right ambitious, right and driven now. she was. We but that was um and nerd stuff. We both landed good jobs in the same city. I'm gonna mute. So I just want to oh, listen to this. Three years into marriage, we had our baby. We decided on sending our child to daycare after six months. But when six months were up, she refused to go to work and send our child to daycare. Her argument was, if I picked up more work, we could afford a single income household, and she'll be saving us money being a stay at home parent. That it was better for our child as well. I refused. Daycare is normal. If it was only me working, I would have to work way more hours, be exhausted, and not spend as much time with my child. I said if she was scared about daycare, we can work in different shifts to stay home with our baby, like tag team. She refuses, saying that does not work for her. And as a mom, she needs to be with her baby at all times. This caused a huge fight between us. She quit her job. She took care of the baby during my work hours and wanted me to take care of cooking dinner on weekdays, cleaning, and baby care on weekends because stay-at-home moms deserve breaks too. This dynamic really made me resent her. I tried communicating many times. The load of bills and insane work hours alone with not being able to enjoy time with my baby all deeply upset me. When I was sure she was not going to listen to me, I filed for divorce. The court gave us 50-50 custody, no alimony or child support since I proved it was her own decision to stay at home, something I never agreed upon, and her career break was only around a year. I moved back in with my parents, and they have room for our baby too. Meanwhile, my ex-wife is struggling living paycheck to paycheck. My wife stays with my mom when I work. My wife, my mom offered the, my ex the same, but she was so mad at me that she refused and enrolled our baby in a daycare. I refuse to pay it since she can just leave our kid with my mom. My ex-wife and her friends are calling me the asshole for divorcing her over being a stay-at-home mom and not providing any support. Am I the asshole? And then there's a little update. The comment section truly shows how sexist the community is, with your you're the asshole comments calling me broke and asking me to man up, others saying mom deserves to be with their baby, and I'm the asshole for taking that away from them. My marriage was based on equality, I never wanted to be the sole breadwinner, and to everyone telling me mom staying home is the best and the thing to do if you can afford it, I was clearly saying we cannot. Daycare expense would have been 30% of my wife's salary, 15% of our joint income. 30%? I was Expensive. Yeah, I was not even demanding daycare. I offered my mom's help part time, different shifts, anything that would ensure me to have quality time with my child, too. She refused that, turning me to an ATM and domestic help to everyone saying that I should have given her one more time. Each phase of childhood only stays for a little while. I missed over a year of my child's life, big moments, smiles and phases due to this arrangement. My wife did not care or sympathize. It was my duty to provide for her and her right to stay home with a child. Further, I was responsible for fending for myself, for food, washing dishes and cooking dinner, and cleanups every day. And on my only day off, the only day I could possibly spend with my child, I had to clean the house, cook all the meals, meal prep for a week, do laundry, mow, etc. I only got time with the baby for about six hours, max 12 hours every week. I was working over 80 hours a week at office and another 28 hours doing housework. Mm. What she did was take care of our baby, and I'm not dissing her for that, just that I wanted time with our child too. And when I realized she was not going to listen to me at all, I filed for a divorce because I didn't want to miss years of our child's life. To everyone saying I'm taking advantage of my wife, 
I do not know how your family is. My parents love my child. I am my parents' only child, and my kid is their only grandchild. To those who say I'm hurting my child, bringing in unknowns, my child is having a great time being pampered with my mom, loves the time she spent with me. To the people who ask what I want, time with my child, memories with my child, a relationship with my child rather than being a ATM. And to the people who say I never love my wife, I did until I realized that she did not love or care about me, that she only cared about what she needed and wanted and treated me like an ATM and a slave. It was heartbreaking to realize, but it was not a relationship I wanted to continue with. She took away my time with my child and that is not something I can forgive easily. I would rather be a present dad with my child. Am I the asshole? Wow. Um. Responsibility or whatever you want to call the word. If I put, if I unilaterally put my child in daycare, the other parent, because they don't want that to happen, can you also unilaterally put that child out of daycare? Correct. Yeah, so that's why, if, that's if why you have to agree. If, if this woman doesn't have the facilities to even get a job, how's she going to make that happen? What are you talking about? She's not working, bro, right? How do she you make call, what happen? How is she going to take the kid out of daycare? If I'm making all the bread, because she's the legal I have enough guardian. bread. If she's I'm making le- all the bread, I have enough bread to put my kid in daycare, and I put my kid in daycare. How is she going to revoke that? Because she's the le- she has legal access and, and guardianship of that how, kid. How? How? You're saying legal actions, but how is she going to execute those legal practices? Physically taking the she, kid. What? Is she, she's like, oh, I'm the mom. Work. Give me the kid. She doesn't work. She's that's, gonna take an Uber even, to the she gonna take an Uber. So she don't work, but she's gonna take an Uber to every day that I drop my kid at daycare. Y- y'all probably have a joint account. What is that? And honestly, realistically with daycare, that's how you Uber with if the joint the, account. If the mother creates if the mother creates any type of issue with it, like or the father, honestly, either side creates an issue with it, the daycare is just not gonna deal with you. Yeah. Like if it if it seems like it's a problem, they're just gonna say, oh, okay, never mind. Like y'all gotta figure out whatever y'all is, is y'all gonna do if she has like legal right access to it. Now if it, it now if she can you can prove legally that like oh she doesn't have any you know yeah. authority with the child that's one thing. But if she has the right, then the daycare is gonna be like we don't want this problem. Even if there is even if there is just discord between a divorced couple, right? They don't want some uh, lady uh, showing up being crazy um, in front of their establishment, right? Um, so if that if there's like a lot of problems, they're just gonna drop you. Whatever, you can find another client. You know, it's that that simple. Um, yeah. So that. Uh, so I, I watched. Oh, uh, so, so I, I was so, go ahead. But go ahead. like, so you could say, and and I'm not asking. This is a question. So. Of course, the, the parent doesn't really have to give a valid reason, I'm assuming, why she doesn't want a daycare, the kid in daycare. But what's the actual argument here? I don't, wanna, I don't want my kid in daycare because I want to be a stay-at-home mother. Yes, that's the argument. Well, that and there's, I mean, if you're, if, you're, if you're dealing with things related to the, the science of it, like, or the, the data on it, like, one, daycares have a lot of issues, depending on where you go and how much you're paying for them. And children seem to do better with more time with the mother. And, like, mothers after pregnancy can just enjoy the bonding process and, like, be sort of afraid of, you know, other this people. Isn't, this isn't kids. a debate. This isn't a debate on whether or not um, a stay-at-home mom carries benefits over to the kid. Or not, you know what I'm saying? Like, that she parenting has, style is, she, is beneficial to the child. The, the, the debate is... is if the father or if the other partner doesn't want that dynamic in the relationship and then she's forcing that upon the person, what do you do to navigate that situation? You can't, bro. You can't navigate that situation. That's why the only, uh, besides, obviously, here's the different ways we can do that. My mom can come in. Please, I can't afford to do this. Mm-hmm. I, I'm working 80 hours and I'm wor- and I'm helping with the kid. I'm, I'm, my life is horrible. I only get to see my kid six hours a week on average or 12 hours a week uh, at the max. I also want to my, enjoy my life, so this is uh, not fair. Please. Uh, just in case you don't know what we're referring to, um, it, within the group DM, uh, a Dream dropped a, a, a TikTok um, and it's uh, about a, a parent um, or a parent asking if they're the asshole because they divorced their wife over um, like uh, uh, the ability to stay at home uh, with their with their child because she wants to be a stay at home mom. Yeah, so- it's like it's like four minutes long. Um, oh. You probably mute it. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? 
Yeah, yeah I, I can hear you. Now. Now I hear you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna mute real quick and I'm gonna watch it and then I'm gonna. Then I'll be yeah. Sounds right? good. Yeah. Okay. Very bad. So the only way to navigate that is if Are you have options, two. You're saying? Yeah. The, and if she doesn't listen to the options, she doesn't want to move an inch from her position, standing on her business, for lack of better words. All you can do is break out with her. I saw all, which I, what he I did. don't agree with that. I don't agree. What can he do? Please t- I don't let me know. I, from, didn't the story from the video say that they were a cu- they were a couple that did like almost like almost fifty fifty kind of thing before the kid came in? Like yeah. in other words, right. she had a good job, yes. she had good money already coming in. Yes. And they, yes. Okay. So why the fuck couldn't she keep doing that? Right. So the, the question was, the question was, well, how do you navigate that situation from the from the husband's side? And the answer is you can't, because all you could do, okay. And, and my question to you, Swerve, is what could you have done? Nigga, I don't. I told you, I, you, you this, 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 oh, okay. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, that's a question to Swerve, bro. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. So just to answer it real simple, bro, and, and to keep it quick, let, let it move on. Um, there's two. There's two things. There's two points to it, right? There are some things that are non-negotiable. And right. that's a case by case scenario. I think that um, as an active father, if that's your stance, you want to be more involved in your daughter's life, and you cannot sustain this working pattern. That's a non negotiable. Like if that's okay. what your that's what your target is, it's a non negotiable. Yeah. Um, I don't think that divorce leads towards that. So I think that's a foolish move. And I do think that there are other things to do. Whoa, than that's the, a cool than, ass crap, bro. You know what but I'm saying? Mike, I, I swear, think- swear, just to build on that, brother. When you when you have competing non negotiables on both sides. The only thing you could possibly do is break up. Well, that, you, that's you, what you, I was you, gonna you say. I don't think that that's toes down. You could stand ten toes down on your stance, and then you could see that, who when you no, when I'm you have sure. competing non-negotiables, which means one side is standing ten toes, the other side yes, is standing ten toes, to. and then they it does it's not compatible. The only right. way, the only thing you could do, especially if it's a non-negotiable, which means if you don't negotiate with this, if if you don't allow this to happen, we will break up. If that happens. Since it's competing, thing, I think that stems breaking from up standard. is the only thing that can that's happen. not the only option. I was about to say, there's, there is like, tell it, me it, what it, else. Generally, generally, that's true. And generally speaking, that's true. Dealing with this when the specific situation related to children and staying at home, like, obviously, an option is deciding that, like, this is untenable. We're going to divorce. However long our relationship or marriage isn't worth this period of time. But the, the also the other alternative to that is realizing that okay child like newborns can only stay newborn so long like maybe the first like it, it, like the the period of sustaining this is like like it's not it's not indefinite you understand it like oh okay like th- the longest she could possibly stay home with the child is like maybe up to 4 and even that's not even you know this sort of thing maybe that's just homeschool well, but, but 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 let's say yeah. let's say it's three years. Let's say it's two years. I don't yeah, want I'm, to. I don't want to suffer that much for two years. Like that's that seems like what his non negotiable is. I understand well, you saying. I wasn't saying it's an option, but I'm saying that like you right. saying that it's untenable. I'm like the situation. Actually, well, I, unless Tom brings up the concept of it changing, like it's not like our it, our circumstances will never change. Like they objectively. It like, seems like will. it seems like. I'm not saying, sure if you're talking to us, fanatic. If you are, we can't hear you. No, um, he's he, he's definitely deaf, I think. But uh, I, okay. but bam. I think what your example is, what if there is wiggle room for this nigga, which is which would mean that it's non-negotiable. No, it's not, it's not what if there's wiggle room. It's just saying that, like, even if this is not an option, like know. it it it's still going if to be. If you're willing to endure something for something later on, then it's not a non-negotiable. Right? Because the true. negotiation that you're per- that you're positing is that fine. I will suffer for this amount of time and then later and then I'll as long as I get X, Y, and Z later on. Like that's something that you're willing to do. Right? If there if it's something that you're willing okay. to do, it's not a non-negotiable. So you're yes, talking yes. about and that's what why if I'm he's, saying bring not the kids to, to daycare that. is 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 a is a is a alternative a answer compromise. to not breaking up and Brother, she doesn't down. want that to happen. Even, even if she doesn't want it to happen, just how can it happen? Can, Bro, it's gonna if I bring my kid to daycare and my kid gets kicked out because she revoked the that whole ordeal, right? Yeah. I still brought my kid to daycare. I'm still fighting for my position. And I will continue to find ways to fight what for if my she's position holding, while maintaining hold, the relationship. No, hold on. What if she's I, holding I, I the kid? Say, what if she's holding the kid, right, Swerve? And you're like, I'm gonna take the kid to, to the daycare and she won't let go of the kid. 
We why are you going to have an argument about why would you, why would you two be traumatizing the kid? Why would you two be traumatizing the kid by trying to fight like that? What's up, Yasmin? Bringing a kid to daycare is not traumatizing. Let's be real. No, no, no. Not that. No, not the taking the kid to daycare. The fighting over the kid like that. Like what? What Dream just said. Like she's holding the kid, saying, "Uh, saying, uh, just like I'm taking a daycare," and then eventually it it ends up becoming almost like a fight in front of that kid. Like I don't think we have to. Yeah, that's, trauma that's seems like a big word. I understand it's the correct you word. You could. Tr- it, it just it feels. Does, it feels it like it carries like an extra it. level of weight. I don't know. I feel well, like because, I feel like parents can have disagreements and like. Can but have they can. If you no, know, that's the thing. Like you see how like we're able. No, to, they should. They shouldn't. With each other. They, they shouldn't. You see how we're like. You see how we're like talking with each other right now. We're able. We're, we can keep somewhat calm. We're able to have uh, uh, a closure conversation. To, uh, talk about our disagreements and everything. If two parents are talking like that in front of their kid, that's perfectly fine. But event. But uh, a lot of these times, yeah. stuff like this turns into screaming matches, and that's what can traumatize the kid. Yeah, no. I watched that whole video. Um, it sucks. What I hate those yeah, videos really because every single person is always the hero of every story, and I'm like ninety percent of uh, the the AITA stories are always I'm like the patron saint of consideration and lovingness, and then and then my wife or whoever the other significant person is is you know retarded and 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 evil, and so then it's like yeah, it, it's almost impossible to fail. Um, and so, yeah, there's no way I can't side with this man in this situation, but it sounds so one-sided that it can't be that. It can't be that. Yeah, that I always, I always call BS on these situations. Yeah. Because but yeah, bro, it, 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 anyone's side, in, given this perspective that he presented, there's no possible way you can take that woman's side. That's disgusting. Yeah, assuming what he's saying is true. But yeah, I, I can I consider the same thing with the other topic yeah. we're talking about. Anytime someone says that like I'm working oh, three full time jobs, I'm working like eighty five hours. Sorry, hold on one second. Wait, 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 bam! You got to start over. Give me, give me, give me half a second, half a second. Good. All right, go ahead, go ahead, start over. Yeah, I was saying that like um I was saying that basically I, we'll see how long this lasts. <laughs> but <laughs> anytime, <laughs> yeah, any anytime I actually agree with you, but I could call BS on these situations anytime like the story describes like I'm a man and I work three full time jobs or I'm working ninety five hours a week and I'm like I, like every, every one of these stories is always like some crazy amount of work time. It just doesn't feel. Yeah, I'm like I, this is probably fake, but you know I'll engage with, with it for what it is. Right. My my mom worked like 90 hours a week. It's possible. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not saying people don't do it, but like every one of these stories is always like yeah. Yeah, I, I, you, you I you always like seven that. jobs. That's why you just deal with the hypothetical. You don't deal with mm. this truth. Mm. Absolutely. Cuz the, yeah, there's no way. And um I think it's absurd. I I man, I know someone that was um a stay-at-home mom and uh, you know, basically had, you know, the the husband was like the, the main breadwinner and it was it was fine. Every, I mean, the, the breadwinner and, and the, the provider and everything was fine, except when he would come home from work, he was expected to do a lot of work, too. And I like I always hear that phrase, you know, stay at, uh, moms deserve breaks and stuff, too. And I, and I hear that, but it blows my mind because for for one thing, like you're getting a break because the, the kid's taking a nap. <laughs> He's going to take a nap during the daytime. Like That's going to happen. Right, and so uh, during yeah, that no, time, already, already, is it hour? It was a nap for an hour, bro. Ah, uh, depending on the age, Mo- yeah. multiple, multiple. Yeah, they're gonna, and, and depending on the age, you're gonna be getting multiple. Have, and if you have multiple kids, those naps don't always coincide. So you, it's not the luxury that you think it is. Oh no, they will. They will coincide with good no, parenting. With with good not parenting. Kids, kids I don't know. Each other, kids wake I'm just each other a, up. Can I get you. I'm just a product. Out. I'm just a product of nine. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, of a family of nine from same mother, same father. Where there were seven of us, and there oh, was a very I set. Agree. Okay, I got you. Seven. So there was a set. There was a set time because there was always going to be multiple infants because we're stair step kids. Stair step kids. The age between me, the youngest, and my oldest is ten years. And there were plenty of times where there were multiple toddlers in the home at the exact same time. And what was going to be happening was they were going to be taking the same exact break times. They were going to be taking the same exact. Uh, they were I mean, the same exact nap times. All three of us. Uh, we, we were the three little boys, the three youngest children. Uh, there were only three years apart um, for the three of us, and we were taking our naps at the exact same time. And that's just kind of the way things went. And so I do think, yeah, like I, I mean, said, you get like plenty of like breaks. A, that's like not like analogous because at the same time, 
that was you with three your three siblings, right? Or you and two siblings with nap time, but then your older siblings had to also be cared for and washed over and considered. They probably didn't have to be cared for. There's probably they a certain age they... where they start looking after themselves or yeah. looking. Yeah, but no, 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 no. That's not true at all. Yeah. Guess what? The no, no, older no. kids, the older kids were at school. school. They were yeah, at they school. Were really cool. Yeah, yeah really the older really kids were at school. Mean. That's why the three little boys that's... were at the house. The other kids were at school. So you're getting a big break from those kids because that's like literally in American in American education at least six to seven hours so yeah. no we're not going to lump those other kids in there because they, they weren't actually at the home and so what i'm saying is at maximum there were three toddlers and the three toddlers including me the youngest was were taking naps at the same time that's very very reasonable to do and so you get those breaks and then this is the 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 the, the, the kicker here once you start getting into public education five years old six years old etc now all of the kids are going and, and, and getting breaks now now you're not even actually raising the kids the, i mean you're not taking care of the kids the whole time because for literally the majority of the work day the kids are at school so then what are you doing in those situations you're not getting a break oh you have to mop the floor didn't you mop the floor yesterday you mop the floor every day that's what we're doing now we're mop we're, we're sweeping every single day in our home that's what's happening not realistically you're vacuuming every single day for reals no you get breaks you have time if you're poor at managing your time then yeah you're never going to need a break and then i got to come home and do all of that nonsense but if you're actually doing your job you're not cleaning every facet of the house every single day you have plenty of downtime to yourself stop it and at the most you're just cooking every day that is what you're going to be doing every single day but i yeah. mean they the women they enjoy cooking anyway so like in reality well, you don't need a break from that oh okay all right okay. Okay. I, don't know, I don't know what i subbed into i don't know what I <laughs> Hey, yo, Solace came at the right and wrong time. <laughs> Solace. Fanatic, I, see, I see you got a lot of strong opinions, bro. Solace. I, I'm I, a strong opinion person about everything. Sure. My dream, a dream, just so you know, Dream dropped a uh, uh, TikTok inside of uh, the, the group DM, right? And it's about um a... Uh, a so it was one of those uh, "Am I the asshole?" type of videos about someone um, wanting to spend time with a child, and that's what okay. we're discussing now. So mm -hmm. it's like four months. I also long. don't. Yeah, I, I like again just dealing with the situation of what it is. It all it sounds insane to like work through the work week and like weekends are like mom's off time. <laughs> Yeah, because they because they also like because it would be like when is my off time? You know what I'm saying? Like right? Cause it, because because freak? because the mom by definition considers taking care of the children the job. Like yeah. So and it you, is. You know, saying, I mean, and that's what I'm saying. But I'm oh, saying yeah. like okay, she considers it an off time. So like yeah. Saturday and Sunday is when he's not at work, but she's telling him you need to take care of your kids, which is another job. So it's, no, it, it, it just feels strange. That, like he has zero off days in his lifetime. Like of yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And then on top of that, to make it worse is if also part of the re responsibility that I have is to feed into my relationship. It's not like I get to go and say, oh, I'm at my job eight hours a day and then now the rest of the time is me time. No, I'm going to spend time with my kid and I'm going to spend time with you. We're going gonna to do stuff, watch movies, do whatever. We're going to invest into this relationship, which means I don't have a lot of me time. So then when you say on the weekends, I also have no time. Like, what, what, are, we, what are we doing here? Again, you get breaks. You, there's no way. Like, for example, when you, when, when, when you're doing the laundry, that's not hard work the whole time. You put that mug in the washing machine and right. then while the it's washing, you're chilling. That's like 45 minutes. You're just chilling. Oh, then you All take right. it out and put it in the dryer. But that takes five minutes. Is it, okay. Chilling. All right, but is it fair to say, like, all right, let's say that, let's say that a woman gets an hour break every day, right? And that a man should get the same. No, I when wouldn't he gets say home. that. Well, let's say that again. All right, so let's say it's three hours a day, right? Let's say okay. she gets three hours a day. Okay. And then he, and then and then on the weekend, the way that you the way that you work that is if the because because guys do when we want time for ourselves, do we want just three hours or do we want like uh time to do whatever it is that we need to get done unbothered? Because that's what I want. When I have a kid and I got a girl, and what I want is I want half a day where I can like do some oh. shit that's not realistic that, I, no it is realistic if you're smart enough and the way that i do it is i sanction off time for my girl to have which is what you're saying that i should be against fanatic but what i'm saying is i carve out i carve out my time by allotting her that time so when i get home i'm taking i'm taking the kid and you're relieved you're relieved of duty go go in the back go fucking relax for a minute clear your head and also, I'm also, 
And I'm also telling my girl, yo, uh, Sunday morning, Saturday morning, leave, go, go to Target, go to fucking wherever you want to go. Just get away from being a mom. And guess what I get in return? I get large swaths of time to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Hang out with Swerve, hang out with Swerve, do my drawing, fucking ch- like go out. But you got to there has to be that communication so that you guys can give each other that time. I don't disagree with communication in a relationship, but I'm just saying the situation doesn't account for those type of things. The situation right. doesn't account for like like you having your your time off. It seems like his expectation when he got home, again, I'm just taking it as is for face value. When he yeah. got home, he he was the one who cooked dinners. Or he cooked yeah, he cooked dinners on weekends at least. I know we cooked uh, cooked everything on weekends, and then when he came home, he was responsible for house cleaning because she couldn't clean the house and watch the baby. Wait, she didn't say house cleaning. I don't think she said house cleaning. I could have swore he was saying that he was like cleaning the house, doing like he was saying that like yeah, whenever he came home. Yeah, the story was saying something about he he clean he cooked, cleaned, and did all uh, basically all the housework even after coming home, and he only ever had twelve hours a within a week to spend. Yeah, that's a lie. No way. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that, that, I don't think I. That I, that didn't, like I didn't think that. Up. Yeah, no, nah, that that's crazy. Yeah, but, it, it becomes but, like really untenable. But like you know, dealing with it at, at face like at, like what you're describing wouldn't fit the situation. It would be like I can't yeah, clean. No, no, that's I have to look at the baby. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah, but it's not impossible. It, I don't think the situation he's describing is impossible. It's improbable, but it's not yeah. impossible. Yeah, just be, make that very clear. I, I think there are women like right, this. Not un- <laughs> unrealistic is the wrong word. It's unreasonable oh, to accept. Like to accept. I, wait, I'm just confused. That how yeah. the fuck do people that can afford daycare find themselves here? This just doesn't. This, this seems so. Well, silly. some people don't like daycare, and I, uh, I can uh, see, I can see one myself of, one of them. for a period but, not doing daycare if it's. Well, I don't understand. Well, 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 maybe I'm missing the nature of your question. What do you mean? How the fuck? If you could, okay. You can afford, why would people choose this? You yeah. can afford daycare, right? <clears throat> and in the, as opposed to taking this option, you, you want to, to, to take your... Even though it's untenable to the relationship, obviously, led in the fucking divorce, you would rather keep your kid nope. at home. He you can pick the daycare. You, you, it's not like niggas is forcing you to go to whatever daycare they pick. You can... Well, it you is, have in, this specific oh. scenario, in this specific scenario, Solace... She, they can't afford daycare unless she goes to work. So the daycare was contingent upon her going to work as well. Which sure, but also in working. response, she in direct already, response. That's, what I'm saying, is that it, that's a good one. Holy but, but, shit. But no, no, but in direct response to your question, like to the nature of what you're asking, I, I, for plenty of people, myself included, I would never, ever, ever, if it's optional, mm-hmm. I would never, ever, ever want my child in daycare. Ever. Ever. Mm-hmm. I very much believe, I don't want my child in, in, in public education. I want my child to be homeschooled, right? Like, I, I very much believe in trying to inculcate as much of my value system into my children as possible. And I think, I, I think like, sequestering is necessary because the education system is nuts. I think uh, you got teachers that are doing craziness. I'm in California. You know, they're doing all sorts of, like, just foolishness that I'm just not about. So, uh, already, I really wouldn't want to expose my kid to any of those kind of things, number one. And then, so... And then on top of that, from experiences that I, I'm aware of with daycare, where um, my sister, she had children, uh, pre- a child pretty young, uh, the kid came back constantly with like, uh, they would pick up words, right? Like, it, you know, I remember the first time she learned, d- developed the phrase F you. She didn't understand what it meant, but someone had heard it in a debate, like like between their parents, one of the kids did. Then after that point, then that kid came back to the class, I mean, to the, to the daycare, said it in front of the kids. And so then there was like an epidemic of all these kids saying F you. And it just be in the middle of sentences. They had no idea what it meant. It was just, it was a thing and it got a reaction. Hey, don't do that. So then they would, whatever. Exactly. So then I, I think children pick up so much nonsense from those sort of situations. But I'm not the only one. Yeah. I also, I, I also agree. Wait, lastly, 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 lastly. Lastly, I, I think plenty of people recognize like the benefits of being able to spend time with your kids and be there for all their first moments. I don't want the daycare yeah, person no, no, to be no, the first facts. person to hear 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 my child say dad dad or mama. I want to be there. I don't want the daycare to be the first person that gets that the child's first steps. And then I, yeah, I don't want I don't want another human being having as much time with my child as I do. And that's what happens. that's fine. That no, yeah. that's understandable. But if the options are get a job, send your kid to daycare, or sever the union of the home. I, oh, sure. That's yeah. where it's oh, yeah, like, absolutely. nigga, if, if, if these are your two options, right? You, because some um, people might be in that situation, but they can't even afford daycare, right? right. Like it's, mm-hmm. They're not even there. You have this 
luxury. You have this option, and you would rather just be like, fuck it, I'm burning. Oh, I'm sorry. Who is, who's I, your I criticism want to ask for? Uh, uh, huh? uh, you know what? He's uh, criticizing uh, the woman. Yeah, are you, are you criticizing the woman? I'm not sure if you are. So yeah, he is. Yeah, so my, point, my point is that like, if, you, if your options here, right, is get a job, send your kid to daycare, or ruin the entire unity of the family. Get a divorce. Why? It seems a no-brainer to me. I would rather yeah. have a day. I'd rather have a home at least. Oh. I'd rather take day trips. Okay, okay. She's so the, okay. Uh, you're, you're you sound a little low, uh, Silas, but go ahead, out. STV. Oh, no, okay. And and it's subjecting your you husband to torture. Me? That's true. You guys hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, STV, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Silas was low. Yeah. So I wanted to ask uh, Fanatic a question real quick, and if it's too personal, you can obviously not answer. But um, are you married? No. No. So it sounds like from what you're saying that like you would that you have your uh idea for what you want in a relationship you have your boundaries set and if you were to get married that these things would be negotiated pre-marriage correct of course yep okay so that's where this guy went wrong is that he finds that's not true in, that's not true it sounds me. like he's finds himself in no a she situation changed her mind the video yeah. they had it the, yeah they had it clear they made it clear before that beforehand but, but once you she have a relationship, it should be crazy. They, 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 they made what clear? She, she said that oh, she promised. She, go back she, to work. she had promised that to go back to work after six months of a uh, um, stay at home mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. And, then, and then once and it was out, she changed said, her mind. That's what I said. And now, this thing is dumb. It's stupid because how you gonna make a how you gonna make an agreement that she can rebuke and you got and you got and now she has all the leverage. It's she, not no, his fault. Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good way of making negotiations. You can easily do that. Wait, yeah, I, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That sounds really stupid because name any agreement you can ever make with a spouse that they can't renege on. There's no legal contracts here. How is yeah, that stupid? I'll How leave, is that bad I'll negotiation? Leave, I'll leave you. He did. That's what. That's what he did. What are you talking about? But you don't hold on. But but you don't. But you don't enter into the negotiation phase saying, "By the way, this is what my negotiation is, and if it's not met, then I'll leave you." You, you don't. You don't mention divorce during the negotiations during a, during a relationship. Uh, you just match and, 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 like, and, and, and just constantly be? be talking about like hang, dangling, leaving you over their head. That's not yeah. how you negotiate. Right. You're, you're not. You, you you're not well, are you constantly negotiating? Or are you in the beginning yes. establishing some bound, uh, establishing some rules? No. Every, every rules relationship. Hold on. American every relationship has, throughout the entirety of the relationship it is a constant negotiation. Everything is. When it comes to, if, do I want? Do I want to go out and for, for this weekend to spend time with my friends at a rave or something? There's a negotiation in process because guess what? I know you didn't expect this weekend to be watching the kids or taking care of the home by yourself during this time. You didn't expect to be apart from me this entire time. So then, yeah, there is going to be give and take all that the time. Sounds right. That sounds reductive to me. That's not what I was huh? thinking of when I. Yeah, that is not what I was thinking of when I was thinking of a negotiation. When a, when you that just sounds like common communication between partners but, trying. No, no, no. Is it a negotiation? I, I think. I think oh, it's not. It's a negotiation. Same. It's not the same type of negotiation with the same level of severity that you would have a negotiation at the start of a relationship establishing hardcore boundaries. Sure, sure. But, but I don't okay, think okay, it's about boundaries. Uh, it's really quick. I don't think it's an argument. I don't think it's a conversation about boundaries. I think that what what actually happens when you date someone, when you're dating someone, you have conversations, you get to know them, you see if your values match, but you don't necessarily stress test those values. Like to right. see, to see you don't even have the ability to. to because like no, so, the so world, for example, the, for example, the environment will. Oh, 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 LeBan, will LeBan, sure, but that's the point. Yeah, but yes, that, it will. That, but yeah. then you haven't gotten there yet. So then, if you haven't gotten there yet, then how do you even do it? Now this is the first time that you got the stress test yeah sure. so, it, and so for example like a girl a girl could come from a large family of five and she could say that like she wants a lot of kids and you could be a person who wants a lot of kids and she could be all for that and she could have a pregnancy and that pregnancy could be really tough on her body and at the end of that pregnancy even though you've talked about wanting other kids she could say like actually i don't think i want to do that again like she could almost die in pregnancy whatever like either even or maybe she wants to go through then and the man's like scared like almost thought i lost you like i changed my mind on this like there's um like yeah. just because you have a conversation about what values you believe you're going to have in a relationship again like you don't necessarily stress test them to know that like you're actually going to be willing to stick by them before yeah. you have i i don't even have a kid but you do and i imagine the, the the thoughts you have about that you had before you had your kid probably doubled or tripled like the strength you had once you actually seen the baby in your hands and like wow i really care about this person so she might have been like yeah i'm ready to go back to work and then six months later she's like this is the most important thing in the world to me i can't possibly leave my baby here I, like i have to 
and, with and beyond, and, that's normal. Right? and beyond that just i'll add just one quick thing and beyond that there's also there. uh trauma right um and i talk about i've talked about this plenty of times in the show right like so um you can uh, have a set of values right um uh and the other person can match it but they can go through some life changes it could be like a death yeah. of someone important to them um it could just be like i don't know a change in circumstances and it changes like uh their outlook and there's no way you could have predicted that uh beforehand before you were all firm on this but now like uh, this thing happened and they're reevaluating their life and now things are different this happens to couples all the time and in that situation like is is like the person who's like uh, uh, following the original agreement, like were they wrong? Were they, uh, uh, did they do poor planning? Of course not. It's just like yeah. life, unfortunately. And also- This is crazy. How do you say make that take and not feel embarrassed about it? You know, we're, this is recorded conversation, right? I Bro. Bet he feels a little Hold on. No, not at all. Not at all. First of all, if you, if you're making a negotiation with somebody in the beginning of your relationship, right? You have to you have to know yourself and establish you need to know some hard things about yourself before you get with this person. And you need to know those things about them. Okay? Like and you're and you're in my and this is what I said. I said you're a bad negotiator if you don't. Oh, I, I might have I might have that is and not I, what you said. You guys said, like, I, you, guys said I, you guys said I was wrong for calling him stupid. How could uh, he yeah. be stupid for how, how could he? Yes, how could he be stupid when he did negotiate what he what, what correctly? It's not even a negotiation. They just made it crystal clear what was expected, and yeah. they said that they agreed. Yeah, they agreed. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Really you. mean I it? You. No, no, I got not you, Don. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. He doesn't mean. Okay, what could he have done to ensure that she wouldn't change her values? Why is that even the point? That is exactly the point because his That's, point. Not the, the reason why. It's, no, no, no. I'll explain why it's the point when he answers the question. What could he have done to ensure that that was uh, that, that that were her values? Hmm. Inf wait, I ain't gonna wait. Let that. him respond. How about that? What can he you do to, to ensure to that those were her values? So, so this goes back to why I think he's an idiot because you have to. So, there are people. Who are more or less adept at um, a, uh, assessing people's values by knowing them and getting to know them? You're not answering this my is, question. I'm answering your question. You said uh, how? You said you said how is somebody? How are you supposed to prevent somebody from changing their values? No, nope. uh, no. I said not what could he have done to ensure that those were her values? Communication, communication, communication. But Ranger Sharp, let him answer, I mean, please. I mean, I mean, what I'm saying is there are people who are more or less adept at at, at knowing people's values. Assuming so, he's incredibly adept. Okay, okay, okay. Assuming he's incredibly right. assuming he's incredibly adept, what could he have in done to ensure that those are her values? The, the answer is obviously nothing. I he, mean, he doesn't. Got, yeah, he's not yeah, realizing I mean, that. No, it's the, the the thing is is like he does as much as he can. He does as much as he's capable of. He did. Okay, okay. and so what? Uh, it's okay. So, so it sounds so like you're trying to. Uh, I got. He's, I got he's it. Just not, he's just not that bright, bro. Okay, I so I got it. That's why I said you, you should have been embarrassed, and I get it that you're not. It's okay. The point, the fact of the matter is, what what I think all of us can see here, which is why I needed to ask that question. Please let him answer when someone asks a direct question. The reason why we needed that to be so crystal clear here is because, as we all know, when it comes to human relations and human beings. It is impossible to ensure the intentions of another person. It's impossible. Now, you can do all the communication, all the understanding. And they can gaslight you. They can lie. Or they can change their mind. You don't know. You can never do that. The only thing that mm -hmm. you can do in these scenarios is to communicate as openly and as surely as possible. Make it crystal clear and try to get a crystal clear understanding. After we've done when that- When did I after, disagree after, with after, that? After, after, after we've done that, then we come to the point where we can finally say, now that it seems like we're aligned, we're willing to move forward. Now, if something happens, if something happens where that thing changes afterwards and we're, or, or where somebody, uh, we, we discover that that person is lying, to put all of the onus on the individual who had communication, who had an understanding, who did all that was in his capacity, 
if that if, if we're gonna put the onus on that person, that seems like it's misguided. Obviously, the onus is on the person who changed their things, didn't communicate properly, and th- we would obviously say you failed to up in, uh, to uphold your end of the contract, which stated what? that we had an agreement around these things. Everyone here can she see wasn't that. Wrong. that everyone, Never everyone said here, she wasn't wrong. Every, every, All everyone, I said was everyone, stupid. everyone here. You think you're gonna railroad everyone, me or not, bro. I'm not railroading anything. Everyone Nobody's here. Railroading. Everyone, everyone so, here. Okay. Can, everyone, let, every. Let, 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 let me finish. finish. I know. Let, let, and, and, and when, fanatic, when you're huh? done, when you're talking, I won't talk. One second. Fa- I said, fanatic. I'm gonna let you finish, but then I'm, after that, I'm gonna go down and then so some steps in order. Go ahead, fanatic. Thank you. Everyone oh, here yes. can see that, and we all understand that. So I think any per like we, we recognize it clearly. I've, I've lost my train of thought because this guy wouldn't shut up. So I, I I feel like we all recognize that when you when you when when in this situation, from the way he explained it, when he said that we had an expectation, we had an agreement. When he said that this was our this was our tradition, right? Like she had already been working the job and so on and so forth. So we went in there with like the history of the relationship. We went in there with the expectation and the communication, and then the person just all won't 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 change. And then afterwards, once the thing is like unacceptable, you've done everything to plead your case to this person, and you realize that they are just completely intransigent. At that point, there's nothing that we can do. Now, if you want to be small brained, you can put the onus on the man, but everyone else here can recognize it. Okay, so we're gonna go to Don. So when I said, uh, so Don, when we're gonna I, go to okay. Don Solis, STV in Dream. Yep. So here's the here's here's the point because now I have to defend myself, obviously, against the whole nine of you, uh, the whole eight of y'all, like, apparently. Since I just got here, because fanatic here. speaks for everyone. So no, let's just get it out. Let's get everyone that out. Everyone does agree he, except he, you. He, yeah, 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 does, yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah. I'm saying the truth, right? I'm speaking to the truth. I think with you. But go ahead, go ahead, Don. So I. I don't know what his. I don't know what your point is. So I don't know if I agree with you yet. I'm still listening. Continue. All I you said didn't... was, all I said was a, a a a comment about he's an idiot, right? And fanatic got upset. And now fanatic's trying to make it seem like I don't have blame to put on the woman. Like I don't have a a, a nuanced <laughs> view and opinion about this. <laughs> okay, so I will keep it uh, going. So we're gonna Solus STV and Dream. Three would have been so what... pissed if somebody laughed while he was talking. <laughs> was, no, 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 nigga I would agree. Oh, photograph. If I said that stupid of a statement, I'd agree with him. Nigga I told you. Anyway, if... anyway, anyway, though. But point being is, like, do y'all feel like that's what this man did in this situation? Do you think that he like incorporated these in, like contingency plans? Like, yo, not like no, seriously. Even if you like meet this baby and you feel like they're the world, we're still gonna stick to this plan. Do you think he did that due diligence? No, oh I don't God, think that's. I don't think that's a necessary. You're necessary. Super quiet. You're just so super I think quiet, if you, but we can hear you. Yeah. Quiet. I, feel, I imagine they just had a conversation about it. They had an established lifestyle before. They had a con- like she said, like, oh yeah, what's gonna happen when you have the baby? Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be ready to get back to work. And because he had known her for previously, that you kind of take that as is. Like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. Again, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's reasonable to expect someone to again stress test everything <laughs> someone tells you in a relationship. Oh, but so you, so especially crazy. if you're already in agreement. So 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 Nigga, even I was talking. Go ahead. I, th- I thought you asked a question to us and then we were allowed to answer the question. I My bad. I didn't know Bam was, was the only person was allowed was to answer and nobody else could I answer. I speak for all of you. Oh, My bad. I didn't know that Bam was the only person that could answer. One second. That's my bad. Uh, so, uh, and, and before you answer, I will let you uh, go. Um, but uh, conversation with. Uh, I can't see the. Oh, conversation with Gambit. Uh, hey, thank you, uh, GSU Gambit says. I wish GSU Gambit was on. He's the best AVE panelist. I and he, and he put that out there for five dollars, um, and that was only three minutes ago. Oh wow, that's amazing! I was a lot. Of, that's fast turnaround for me. All right, go ahead, please. Sorry. Uh, oh, so listen, whoever. I, I thought the you were last nigga talking. I was the go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah. So there's even if we were to say, did he ask? Hey, let's say you love this kid. And you never want to be a stay-at-home mom after you have this kid. Can you please promise to to not do that and still go to work? Even if she said yes, I'll still go to work. Even if I love this kid with all my heart and I change my mind, I won't change my mind. She can still change her mind after she says she wouldn't change her mind about changing her mind. Yeah, that's, so uh, that's what the heck that, could he so possibly do? That's clearly unreasonable, right? Like you don't, you don't, you don't go into all the things that uh, all the things that you establish or the values that you have within a relationship, and then always be asking the questions. Just to be clear, this is never going to change, right? Like that's not that's that's just not reasonable conversation. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Uh, so that's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. 
uh, this is where we're going to get into this, this kind of subjective thing. thing. So check this out. I understand why you would say that that's crazy. But at the same token in time, that even is the conversation that you have with these things, right? When you say to somebody that till death do us part, when you say to somebody that no matter what happens, we're going to stick to this plan, right? That's a part of it, right? And I'm asking you, do you think that he did that due diligence to make a point, right? To give my nigga dream, this is not dream, I'm sorry, the other dream, to give, <laughs> to give my nigga die just a little bit of wiggle room here is that do y'all feel that the man did every absolute thing this he nigga. possibly could have done? To like, he did all due diligence. He had this. He, he did. He did. We just don't have sufficient. that information. No, no, no. Yeah, he, 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 he did what was sufficient. He did what was sufficient. He doesn't need to do absolutely everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. He did what was necessary. He did what was necessary. Crass assumption. I made. Crass assumption. He, I'm yeah, sorry. you're setting. You're, you're so right. you're setting. You're setting. You're you're setting a bar that I think is unconscionable or unreasonable. And then saying is saying and, and labeling it as due diligence. If we set the bar where you're talking about, then no, I would probably assume that he didn't do that due diligence because I think the due diligence that you were talking about is unreasonable. I do not think that a nigga goes into a relationship talking about contingencies for agreements that they have. Like, listen, we both agree that I'll be working a job and then the wife is supposed to say to me the entire time, by the way, if you decide you don't want to work anymore, it doesn't matter. You're going to make sure that you keep working because you said you would work. Right. Like that doesn't happen. You go into a relationship realistically like everybody else with an agreement and an understanding. This is what I want. This is what you want. These are our values. This is what my expectations are. And I'm going to meet your expectations. I'm not I'm not notarizing the agreements on the expectations. And yes, we do make vows and those vows are generalized and not at all applicable to this point for rich or for poor, for better or for worse in sickness and in health. None of that has to do with or, or, or whether or not you want to spend time with a child or not. That's not part of the contingency. What you do know is that literally the, the the idea is I'm going to trust you, you're going to be an honest person, and I, you're going to remain the person that I know and the person that I love, and that you're not going to be unreasonable. And I think it's unreasonable to sit there and say I'm unwilling to up, uphold the end of the bargain, even if I know that's going to be causing you great, uh, great, great distress to the point that you want a divorce. If your values are so unaligned, we're no longer compatible as a couple. Because if I know, for example, if she decided, by the way, uh, I'm I'm trans and I want to go ahead and get a dick. This is not compatible for my relationship. Now you can say, well, but uh, you know, did you did you ensure that she was um, positive about her sexual sexuality? What the freak are we talking about? That's just not how life goes. You go you into life think, reasonably with the expectations that things will exist as the way they communicated before she gets one. Like, uh, I'm not uh, having that conversation. Uh, yeah, so, That's not uh, a, so I, I got I got let other, other people in. So it's SCB, SCB and then me. SCB yeah, yeah, S S L B S T B Dream and then Swerve. If you want to go, all right. So you're on the list. Go ahead. Or was it SUV? Yeah. So just to piggy piggyback off what Fanatic was saying, that um, like when you go into a relationship, especially if you're getting married, um, there's there's certain things that are kind of uh that you have to pre-negotiate before you get in. And it doesn't have to be a hard stance, but divorce is always an option when the other person seems to uh break um uh, such a a critical contract between the two for instance like me and 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 my girlfriend um who we, we're soon to be married but we've been together for eight years we have two Congrats. children um i appreciate that so I, i've been in a long-term relationship and we've had to renegotiate certain terms and certain things but one thing's for sure and and two things are for certain somebody is going to be bringing in enough money between the two of us to uh to you know take care of us and then the person who's not you know, working is going to do the housework. And that's the negotiation we have. And if for some reason I find myself working 80 to 100 hours a week, then coming home and having to clean, cook, do dishes, I'm sorry, for me, that's that's grounds for either that changes or we're getting a divorce. There, 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 something, something, there's something there that has to shake. And um, we're getting all this information from the woman, so I can't imagine what the man will have to say on this. No, no, the guy. Yeah, the other way around. Yeah, the other way. Yeah, the other way around. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, from the guy's perspective. Go ahead, dream. And, then and I want to make. I just want to make things clear for Don because I think he's confused about what Fanatic initially stated. Um, we're saying that your statement is stupid for calling this person stupid for simply Ooh, not being clairvoyant, right? That's simply what you said. He just no, should have. I'm saying, I'm saying he should have done his Hold due on, diligence, bro. just like Solis said. It's unreasonable in uh, infinite opinion, but it doesn't he make just, it. He, uh, he got to keep interrupting. He can't let yeah. you have a conversation because he, he's he's embarrassed. Dream, go ahead, finish finish up, please. Go ahead. What the analysis of what you said is that he just should have known because 
one press, one asked the question, how could he have known? You said people are just better. Like people could just guess what people are better than some others. Like that's still, that's what you would call clairvoyant. Like, because even let's, let's, because you don't yeah, know how, that's what this, no, that's clairvoyant. You're right. We disagree on that. That's the point. Disagree on what? The Shut point up, is wait. that I don't consider that clairvoyant. You just said okay. I'm right, yeah, and then you say I disagree. It's, no, that's it's fine that you want to. No, it's fine that you want to think about it that way. That's not the way I think about getting to know somebody and understanding their values okay. and whether you're going to be I'm right or wrong. The analysis, I'm saying the analysis. I know you may not think that this is what you said, but this is what you is imply. This okay, is how you so think? Of this what is you how. Said. This is what you said by by implication, because what you said is this. He just should have known better. And some people are just better at knowing uh, about others than some others. Like people can analyze better. But yeah. you have no idea whether he is the greatest person to analyze others. And even still, when you're the greatest analyzer, you can still be wrong about someone. Correct, Don? If you hold on. Can I correct, Don? Yes, correct. Okay. That being said, why would you assume he's stupid, even if he could still be wrong by being I'm the best? Tell you why. Because we're gonna so story. let's have this conversation. I'm gonna tell you why he's wrong because of the context, right? No, no, no. Which why why was he gonna, stupid? No, no, not why is he wrong. To, why is I'm he going stupid? To, I'm going to tell you why he's stupid. Because <laughs> if he doesn't know that his girl is going to choose working over being a stay-at-home mom, he's fucking stupid. I'm sorry to tell this you that, bro. This is absolutely. I'm sorry brother, to fucking tell brother, you that. Hey, pause. Don't engage with that any further. Yeah, don't engage with so, that any further. We, already, we know he's dumb. I, it's not. Move past. Can, can I split the baby? I'm about to say before because we're about to move on from it. Because I, I like I actually in the like nicest way in the nicest translation possible for what Don's saying. He's saying that this situation is probably unlikely to happen in real life. Now it can't can it at like the, the I don't know Don just huh? deal with the with the, the reality. The most that, no, read. no, wait. Did, did the absolute the absoluteness of this can happen? But what Don is saying that generally couples who have have healthy communications and you have a wife that's like super liberal, like I'm the most 50 50 woman in the world, most likely isn't the type of woman who's gonna be like I'm a stay at home mom right. who doesn't who, who who doesn't cook or clean. That's my that, girl. It's, yeah, it's not a super likely situation. A, but my girl's a stay at my girl's a stay at home. How do you mom. get that from I what he said? My girl's a stay-at-home mom. Don't, I knew you don't, that my girl, no. when she had a stupid, because we're live, live, it wouldn't happen. Uh, uh, Don, Don, I'm going to give you, uh, Sorry, Don, no, 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 Don, I'm going to give you a shot to, like, put your final word on that, but I'm going to, we're going to move past this point, because uh, yeah, we've stated please. everything you need to say, then we'll go to Swerve. He already did. Move. He said uh, it's stupid. That uh, was we'll, it. We'll go to Swerve, and then we'll go to Razor afterwards. But guys, we're going to try to move past this point, so go ahead, Don. Like I didn't call you stupid, I said that was stupid. Finish up your thoughts on this. Uh, honey, Real quick, Don, Don, I don't, I don't think you're stupid. I just think you're just wrong. That's all. That's all. Like, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't that, think you're stupid either. I just, oh. I, I think you're. I just disagree with you on this point. But go ahead, Don. That's, please. Oh. My, when I, so I, this is coming from a lot of personal experience. I will admit, but for me to call somebody else stupid, it's because I see, and that is crass. I understand that, and that is kind of disrespectful, and I get that too. But I'm also being a bit fucking hyperbolic, right? So understand that as well. And the point is is that when I knew my girl, she had a job, but I knew my girl hated to work. And my girl talked about kids a year into us being together. That didn't mean I wanted kids. I just knew what was on her mind. She wanted babies and she got them. And I would have been an idiot to be with her and then to be like, oh, you want a kid? Oh my God, I could have never seen this coming. Oh my God. No, I saw it coming but that, because I paid attention. You, what if she told you? Before yeah. the relationship that you wanted kids and then decided uh, two he, years in that she changed her mind and she didn't want kids, would you then be stupid for he's stupid. getting in a relationship he, with her? He's an idiot. Like if, I want, if I wanted... Hold on. If I'm expressing that I want kids really bad and then all of a sudden she flips on me... You're an idiot because you should have known. 
Bro, you should have known. You, 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 You're a dumbass. I would feel, I would feel wrong, stupid. Bro. I would feel a little stupid. Okay. I would feel no, like, no, damn, no, I got to move. You are. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, so we got to move past I, it. We got to move past I, it. We got to move past it. Let's go to uh, Swerve and then Razor. But like, I do want to try to get past this point because like, there's, there's more to talk about with the subject. But just let's move past this specific it. point, please. This is what this is yeah, all about. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not necessarily move past it. But I'm going to put my sauce in it real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Like, listen. Hey, <laughs> listen here. Listen up. All right. So, I I double down. I think I said it before entering this conversation. I think I said it to Dream when we started this shit that both of these people involved in this situation are actually the fucking worst. Um, Everybody's the, the, the woman. The woman is um, completely at fault in her actions, her ways of trying to abuse this man financially and take advantage of the relationship and just her stakes. But I do think that the man did not navigate the system well, the 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 um the the whole the whole system well, and I would call him stupid based off of those facts. You, oh and you talk about you talk about oh uh, how is he stupid? He couldn't have seen it coming. He couldn't have seen it coming. If you don't know, um, Bam gave me an example earlier about um, I forget what the example is, but. What I had took from it is a reasonable person would understand the circumstances of certain situations, especially like it was like a trauma based situation. Like if a person's faced with trauma and their mind changes, a reasonable person would understand that. But also, given the the confines of a relationship, that shouldn't dictate, especially with parenting, that shouldn't. Oh, dictate I use babies. I'm sorry. Yeah, that shouldn't yeah, like dictate what you do babies. or how you move or the standards in the in the in the in the things that you have already agreed upon. Uh, I think he's stupid for not. Um, Forcing the envelope on what he wanted. He did. No, he didn't. Uh, he, he gave broke her all that. He gave Let's it. just he, let, let him get it out. Let, do yeah, let, let him finish. Let right him finish, right please. Right. Wait, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is his first time speaking. Can we, can we have a little bit of back and forth there? Uh, 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 <laughs> Razor, I, I see you too. All right, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, man. Listen. All Thanks I'm saying me. is, is I think that this dude, this dude, um, if you can't understand, here's, here's where I agree with Don, and I think y'all are missing the point. Um, I don't think Don said this, and I'm not going to speak for him, but this is how I feel. Um, knowing your woman is one thing, um, but knowing her ability to flip on you is another thing that you have to know. Like, how quick, how, how, what does it take for her to actually change her mind? What position, what has to happen? Because if she's just flipping because she likes being a stay-at-home mom, you should have saw that fucking shit coming. You should have saw that shit coming. If she just is like, oh, this baby's so cute, and I just love the mom life. Like you should have known what type of girl you was getting into a relationship, regardless if, regardless if she said, "Oh, you know, I'm gonna go back to work." Like you know your girl beyond what she says. Like I know every single nigga in here has been in a relationship. Sometimes people will say things to their partner and in earnest, really trying to make that shit happen. But you know, you know your partner has flaws, and you should have known what type of woman that you were getting into a relationship with. You should have known that she would have folded to the pressure of being a mother. That's generally and that, okay. And what if, and what if she get? Wait. wait. So can you expound? You said that he was dumb for not navigating properly or not holding, uh, pushing, pushing her to the limit. Forcing I, his I, envelope. Forcing his envelope. Yeah, or pu- yeah pushing the envelope. What? T- first off, what do you mean he failed by navigating the system? And secondly, what do you mean by pushing the envelope? Okay, what I I mean by that is um, divorce. Uh, if your if your plan is to spend more time with your daughter, and that's what you're upset about, divorce is like the the I think is like the easy way out and the, just the worst case scenario situation to leave your partner because this shit isn't working out. Uh, with this with this money shit is not like what a family is about. That's not the sanctitude of marriage. That's not what you represent when you're in that relationship. So you should pursue other routes. Which is when I say he failed to navigate the, the that situation properly. Wait, wait can he, we stop there? Can we stop there? Then? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, so he wanted to spend time with this child, but he was required to work two jobs. He said, and he mm-hmm. almost got no time with his with this child. So, and and he tried to plead to the person that obviously it was untenable. He was working too many hours, and so was therefore not able to spend time with the child because he had to work for the whole household because she was unwilling to. So, given that he communicated it to her, how should he have pushed the envelope in that situation? What more could he have done? Could have got a different job. He could have. Uh, oh, he said he was wor- oh, okay. I'm sorry. He said he was working two jobs already. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what more could he have done? He could have leveled got up it. his level of education and got a better job. Can I'm you do that? Well, well, okay, I got you. I got you. Can you do? Can, wait, wait, wait. Can you do that? Can, 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 wait. Shut up. Yep, can, you, can, can you? I know it's just everyone else is adding in. 
can you do that when you're working two jobs? Do you think it's realistic to try to pursue an education in order to do upgrade? Do I think it's realistic? Your, your... Do mm -hmm. I think it's realistic? Is it realistic? Do I, th I do I think I think it's real life. I think that that you are faced with mm -hmm. ultimatums in life, and ultimately you will have to decide between whether or not you want to take a pay cut to increase your pay, or if you want to uh, stay in the situation that you are in currently and keep doing the things you're doing with limited options. Yes, people are faced with that option, and then and most people will decide mm -hmm. to do something that makes them comfortable because that's how people are, and I'm not going to fault anyone for doing that. For I'm sure. going to say that that. <laughs> that people are faced with decisions tough decisions like that all the time and people do have a decision in the okay matter. so so to be sure just to be clear so for, mm -hmm. for, for just for the observation everybody can make sure that we're, we're all on the same page here mm -hmm. a person working two jobs and also making sure they're taking care of their kid on the weekends and also having father duties at nighttime that person should then go to school on top of that and then by going to school full-time in order to elevate themselves in four years, that person will then be able to get the degree necessary in order to try to get a better job. That's what that's what the argument is in, in this situation. I don't think that's tenable, reasonable, practical for literally any person here, but I get it. If that's your take, then now we understand why you think the man is stupid and we think that that idea is probably ridiculous. I'm um, also pretty sure they both have degrees. Now, there's higher level of degrees, but I'm pretty sure- Yeah, they, they both they, have bachelors. Yeah. So who, yeah. Swerve wanted him to take a master's on they top of 80 hours a week. But do we know what that bachelor's in? Did they say it in the story? I don't yeah. know specifically bachelor's. I know you were talking about they they went to college and got good jobs. Yeah, they uh, yeah. Uh, just said they were yeah. yeah. And and, and, and on, it's just so, impossible. Just I just want to stress, it is actually mm -hmm. impossible to go to school and work eighty hours a week without downsizing, which the woman was unwilling to do. He was like, "Hey, listen. Why is I'm, the women's? Why is the women? I think we're combining the only thing that's actually happening time. right now. Why, why is, the, is like everything that the women decides to do the only thing that's going on?" Because, oh, because you we already asked man. you. Because we asked you. Remember, we asked you what could the man do to push the envelope. And, and unfortunately, when we're talking about a downsize, here, is one of those things, no, man. No, I got you, but I got it, you. It, when it we're talking about, hold on, I was answering your question. Okay, I was answering your question. So okay, when we're yep. talking, when, when we're talking about a couple, right? And we're talking about what, what, you, you can't force a person to uh, you can't force a person to do anything okay, as an right. adult. Number one, and then number two, you have to realize right. I don't. We don't even know what the, their means. We don't know. They could be. They could have already been in an apartment for all we know. We don't know that they're living in some expensive, sure. well-to-do home. We don't know any of those things. So now we're just literally speculating that there are these options of like lowering their 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 room and board when we don't even know that that's a, that's a no no. That, I, it was in a video that um she uh, he asked her, "Can we downsize?" Because you're 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 conflating the two. That was the second one where he asked can we downsize in this conversation right now that we're talking about that wasn't that downsizing wasn't an option you're thinking of the second video where the guy was oh talking you're about right you're right i am mixing yeah, that you're up. conflating My so bad, in this situation here in, in this situation here we don't even know that downsizing is an option like at all but if we want to imagine that downsizing is an option okay then at that mm -hmm. point yeah i guess he could just decide when the lease is up right since he's the only one paying for it yeah you can just move them into another house now of course you obviously know that now you've created a bunch of resentment and all those kinds of things right or into it to, to like whatever you've created a bunch of resentment obviously mm -hmm. because if the woman doesn't yeah. want to downsize and you're doing that then yeah you're already setting up a relationship for failure i don't but think if, that's negotiable and i of think course, you set up it, a, a relationship for failure by setting these unrealistic standards absolutely and i think we all agree upon right yeah so then so then i would say i don't again when we're, again but that's all a, a tangential speculation that we have no information for. But mm -hmm. dealing with the things at face value, it sounds like he's optionless. Because if I would ask you the same thing I asked Don then, or, or, or in the same, 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 same vein, what could he have done to push the envelope regarding her getting a job? What could he have done? There's toxic things he could have done. Within reason, my nigga. Within reason. I, without, because it's hard to answer that, right? When you cut off the Wi Fi. Cut off the Wi Fi. Can I ask a question after, up, bro? Wait, 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 can you answer the question first, please? Yeah, I said after him, my nigga. Relax. <laughs> so when you bring up, oh, you, you know, you don't want to speculate, and you ask me what could he have mm -hmm. done, I say that he could have done, um, he could have done other than divorcing. Um, like? based off of the lack of information that I have, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound, I mean, it just sounds like he gave ultimatums, wasn't getting the feedback and, 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 uh, cooperation that he wanted and then uh -huh. like, nuked the relationship. So um, you're restating, you're restating what happened. I'm asking you, what could he so, have done so to what, push the envelope? And let me, and, let, and following that, let me answer your question, right? I don't know the specific answer because you restricted me from speculating, but I can ask you this. Do you believe that there would have been another option? 
I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Because I, what, what, when you're saying, when you're mentioning options as if they're concrete that are literally unfounded, then yeah, I would say that that's speculation. But you're but saying, also speculation but, no, 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 hold on, but, but I'm answering the question. Without, like, look, look. But you said that he didn't push the envelope enough. In order to make that statement, now you have to actually be able to support that statement. Are you walking back that you don't know that he, whether he pushed the envelope well, or not? not. You don't know not. if he had any option? Okay, so good. So since you're Absolutely not walking, not because good, I got you, I got you, I got you. So, so, since you're not, since you're, so since you're not saying that you're walking it back, then I'm asking, you, I'm asking you for the very simple question that you mm -hmm. still have yet to answer. Please let him do so. What? could he have done speculate all you want to what could he have done to to push the envelope aside from communicating which he did aside from giving an ultimatum which he did what other options do you, did he have available he could have quit his job he could have let the go the bills go unpaid for a that's what i days. said that's the side so, <laughs> I, I said, said that. Up lie heap, set up lie heap take so my name off a few of them bills credit. this yeah, your credit set up lie heap so, oh, that can, uh, so that the bills pay the mortgage back on in another day just to send a message he could have communicated the severity of the situation to his wife in ways that she would have understood and felt the pressure of other than just having a civil ultimatum discussion because that shit sometimes don't get the fucking sorry why, why, sorry right, so, uh, i, I want to i want to i want to end it and then i, I can rest mm -hmm. my case now this is exactly this is exactly why you ask the questions you allow people to answer them because they talk themselves into the situation where they recognize they don't actually have an answer because the obviously for all of us here we were all trying to be reasonable and none of us here think it would be reasonable but none of us think none of us I got you you can say something afterwards none of us would think it would be reasonable for anyone to sit here and say okay so one you're going to go ahead and turn off the electricity in the home where your baby is being raised uh, you're going to let the bills fail so that now your credit is ruined and now you're uh, wrecking in more debt that when you're already happen. struggling to make ends meet and you're sitting here talking about uh you know it don't work like that and you're and you're and you're and you're already working 80 hours and um 80 hours a week in order to try to make something happen yeah. you, you, think know think that you know you know you know it's not reasonable you know you don't got to tell me to go ahead i'm gonna go you know, know it's not reasonable <laughs> to sit there and do all of those things that would be damaging one to yourself, damaging to your child. Obviously, the only option here if a person is that intransigent is divorce. So it sounds like Don, just like Swerve, have both come to the conclusion that they're unwilling to admit that this nigga didn't have any options, according to his testimony, which I think that's is probably not real. That, and so then that's if that's the, the case, you, you can, can say You're talking to yourself right now, Fnatic. I'm going to hold you. So I know. Let Fnatic finish, and then we're going to razor, and then we're going to solo. Thank you. And so when we recognize this, it sounds like anytime someone wants to put a challenge to an idea, like, hey, this is something that you could do or he could have done something else. That's called an appeal to ignorance. It's the idea. Of, well, we don't know what else he could have done, but he could have done something else. None of us are falling for that. This dude sounds like he got screwed over and he did the most reasonable thing. And the end result is great. He now has more time with his child. He's now able to quit one of his job. The child is getting a healthy relationship with his parent. He's now doing everything that he wants to do and he can start pursuing for another whatever. So it sounds like he got everything that he freaking wanted. And she's the one living paycheck to paycheck. They got equal custody of the kid. He's not having to pay for daycare because his mother's available. Sounds like everything that he should have, everything worked out exactly what he wanted to. So if you're going to put a challenge to his actions, you got to give something reasonable. And something, something uh, I just don't know isn't reasonable. Good try, though. But you, you didn't get your name. You didn't get your name. You raise your name every day long enough. Raise your name. You're going to let Nanny talk again if you start talking? What? Hey, guys, shut up. No, actually, no, no. Because you guys have been hit on this point forever. I'm really tired of it. And you guys aren't producing anything new here. So we're moving past Razor, say what you're uh, uh, going to say. Solar, say what you're going to say. And then I'll let, bam. And then we, we, oh, I want to move past this fucking point. Thank you. <sighs> okay. God damn it. That was, uh, that just, was Razor, annoying. just say it. Just go. Just Sorry. Go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So what could the man have done? The honest, the honest to God answer is... He did what he could do. There, like life hit, life hits you hard. Shit's gonna happen. Communication, communication, communication is always a thing you have to do with relationships at a constant rate. So when that ended up, so when uh, she decided to flip and say like, "Oh, I actually just want to be a stay home mother now," to obviously communicate with her, have the conversations, make sure, uh, make sure that's a hundred percent what's. Uh, uh, 
uh, 100 uh, percent on the same page in terms of at least understanding each other on on these issues. Um, try uh, to your best to find compromises, like uh, what he ended up what end up happening with, unfortunately, a divorce, un- unfortunate, whatever. Um, they could if they didn't want to go to the daycare. They still could have uh, gone to the mother even so then. Re- so what, re- re- so what could he have done that he didn't do? He did everything you name me. Uh, I I know. I uh, I've said uh, already. Uh, yeah, so let's we're uh, getting an echo from your end. So just so you oh know. shit, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, no, like I said, life hits hard. To, like he did everything he could po- he could ha- have possibly done uh, with uh, the situation. I I feel like if more communication had happened between the two, maybe the uh, issue of like, hey, uh, like, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he had the conversation with her about like, hey, we do need two people to be able to have the money to live here. We can downsize. It can end up working to where you can maybe even have your hours, and we can still have the downsize. And for daycare, we don't even have that daycare. We can have them. Uh, we have our kid with with my mother she obviously wants to see her her little grandkid like that's perfectly understandable uh that's a very reasonable thing to do so realistically it's obviously extremely complicated i really wish uh people would be more open about being able to talk uh, i wish more couples would be open to talk about like constantly keep each other updated on people's on each other's mindset just cause communication is always needed with like any relationship so okay. did you change your okay. mind from Let's earlier go what? To... you gotta keep going so because he said yes. they're both the asshole earlier did I, you change I, your mind from uh... that no they are okay okay How? all right whatever it doesn't because I don't, I don't, they're uh, being stupid Hold on, I, I, at least answer this last i'll answer yeah. this last little bit that, that he's saying how because they're both being du- they're both being dumb not because of what they're doing but because they're screwing with the kid i the kid is currently dealing with a uh a hostile uh, feel what i feel is a hostile environment at this point where the parents are fighting constantly about this shit and that can be traumatizing to the kid's future how is the, how is the, how is the husband so both so both, so both so everyone sucks here. It's with so, it's an AITA. It's either he's the asshole, not the asshole, or AI or everyone sucks here. Everyone sucks here. Okay. That's my idea. It doesn't suck okay, because okay, he's okay. left okay. with no rush. Let's go to Solus. Then uh bam. And then, like I just want to move past this point. Because we're not getting anywhere. I'm a I'm gonna try to be quick I mean, and we're engage with this. Be- I'm gonna try to be quick and engage with this on a human level. Cause I understand what everyone is saying. Um but I also like in a real life way lean towards what Don was saying because when somebody around you, especially the people the closest to you, your family, friends that I would consider a long term girlfriend to be in the family category, does something extreme, like off the wall, right? After the fact, when you say there were no signs and I didn't predict that, it, that can be kind of hard to believe. Though you should take people at face value because you get like it, it's true. Some people do crazy shit. But like if, if I told y'all my brother um, beat the shit out of his girlfriend, and I in no way saw that in him in no way, shape, or form. You'd be like, oh, that's kind of hard to believe, right? On a person-to-person level because that's your brother, man. Like, if anyone's supposed to know him, it's you, right? So I get that point, right? Now, that's all I wanted to say. Passing the ball to Ben. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the last thing I'll say. You say with this, I can, we can jump to another open thing or we can jump straight into the topic. I feel like we've beaten a dead horse at this point. But like I said, I, it, this is half joke, half serious, just dealing with the, like, the thing Swerve was saying, like the toxic thing. You... Like you can feasibly get your name removed from uh from a car note, um you can get your name removed from utility bills, but like I think that there's there's a crazy not crazy world where he decides that he's gonna take care of the priorities. Like he's like, oh okay, I'm gonna pay the mortgage, I'm gonna pay the light bill, I'm gonna get groceries, I'm not paying your car note. Like you know, especially if it's like for I think the average car note now is somewhere between six and eight hundred dollars a month. Like. I, you know, I, you have to figure out how to, how, how to take care of the bills that are related to you. I'm going to take care of my child. I'm going to take care of, you know, my well being. but I'm not working two full-time jobs. And, and again, in real life, you, these people probably don't meet like in real life, these situations probably, I mean, they happen, but they're not very likely. Yeah. If you've had a long-term relationship, the, your person's probably not making this big 180. but I think most people can agree to that. that we're just dealing with this hypothetical of the situation. Like what if it does? Um, and yeah, I, I I don't think that I don't think that he does he 
by, by the situation, I don't think he's actually done anything wrong. If anything, he's doing it for his kid's well being. He's saying that he, his issues, his primary issue is that the kid is growing up without him, without spending much time with him. So he's literally doing it, one, for the well being of his, probably just his own general mental health as part of it, just like needing some personal downtime, but also to be spend time with his child. Now, am I per, do I personally have it in me to do so? I mean, I'm not in that situation. Again, I may, I'm going to say something that I, I, I'm going to say something right now that I probably can't stress test in real life until it comes. But I don't think I would. And like I said, knowing that my child is, I, I could pro, even if I was working heavy hours, I would do my I would think that I would try to maintain it for a year or two until uh, and you know reassess the situation and hopefully you know once my child's in like school or daycare available age, then we can you know come back to the conversation of my wife going back to work. Because I couldn't imagine like a, a tough year or two in the scheme of a marriage, but I can't wrong fault somebody or wrong uh, fault cause fault someone for saying that that they're not willing to, to tolerate that. I understand. We also don't know how long, like the time span, like from the beginning of this confrontation to like you know when things fell apart completely. We don't know. I mean, like, we only have six months. I said it was one year. No, no, he said it was one year. Uh, one year uh, okay yeah, oh, he said it was one, one year. year yeah then that's a year yes. then uh, maybe another year so the kids too and the point was that like he wants to spend time with his uh yeah. newborn right like uh yeah. his infant um and then that time doesn't come back i'm not I'm not this is not to like argue with you bam about yeah, like, no, what you would do, yeah. yeah but like and, like i think this is a tough situation all all around um mm -hmm. i it just again, I, what we stated at the very beginning, I think, is, is still stands uh, uh, that, like, you know, for these uh, "Am I the asshole?" questions, like, uh, it, we desperately need the other side, right? Because, like, I, I don't know if we're getting the full picture here, but um, just working with the uh, scenario given to us, no, like, um, I, I think this man did everything uh, that he could. Um, I, I don't know how you could. Uh, like I was saying, like trauma changes you, or anything changes you. People change over the course of a relationship, and and most of those changes are going to be things you can tolerate. But then there's going to be some that you can't tolerate. Now they came to a, a pain point here that uh, this person couldn't tolerate, and after apparently giving them a year, I missed that part, but uh, apparently giving them a year, um, that is a reasonable amount of time. And like remember, your body is online. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know what jobs uh, he's working right um mm -hmm. but like the stress of like working all that time all, mm -hmm. like every week that's not like uh it doesn't come without a cost right just another year of that when like there are other options right that's another thing the fact that you have other options that even makes it worse you know right mm -hmm. um another uh a year of that that's just is untenable i shouldn't certainly wouldn't uh do that i i'd understand this person especially like on something so fundamental right um our values clearly don't align the way i thought they aligned i'd fucking divorce them um uh, uh, other people can have a different answer of course right i'm not saying that you, know, you can't but uh i i, I just all right <laughs> well I, I say everything needs to be said um just a few sentences please okay um i just want to make it absolutely clear that nobody can be an asshole if they had no other choice but to do a certain act for somebody to be an asshole you would have to make the argument that there was something that they could have done in in place of what they have already done that would have been a better cho choice. So in, a, in an instance where there was no other choice but what he did, as you have admitted, Razor, it's impossible for that person to be an asshole. Well, what if you're a person with a value that doesn't believe in divorce? Again, like, I, this isn't not, what does I got to do? Because you're saying it. that he had no other choice. He could stay in the marriage and just deal with it. If, no, if you, he if had, you no, have he had no reasonable divorce. choice. Obviously, Again, there are reasonable is, is, that's what I'm saying. You're acting like there's, there's an objective answer to this. We're giving our perspective on it. Well, okay. And I it's agree objective. with your perspective. Not, no, 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 don't argue not, over objectivity. It, 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 you made your point. Okay, it fine, fine. We it's, sub it. it's subjective. Fine. But I'm saying according to Razor's own standards, which he already admitted that there was no it's other thing that he could. Yeah. No, 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 no. What you said was he was an asshole. Everybody's an asshole. But you also admitted. Everybody sucks here. But the, you the, also. The, the I'm, listen to what I'm saying, brother, here. please. I'm saying. And if you, if you have a disagreement with me, you can make it. But I said simply, you can only be an asshole if there were other options that you could have done. You already admitted that he already did what he could do. Hence, he can't be the asshole. Now you can you can give me a definition of an asshole where that that's not the case. 
I'm not doing the definition game with you because you're a semant because you do semantics like a motherfucker. I don't do I don't want to do the de- definition bullshit with you. Uh, but no, I'm gonna stick with uh, just everybody's an asshole here because when it comes to the, when it comes to the kid, I the kid is uh, possibly dealing with a lot of shit. Possibly dealing with a lot of shit right now, uh, because of the parents fighting. Uh, there's a possibility the kid was fighting. They were fighting in front of the kid when it came to this kind of stuff. I do we know that though? I, yeah, I, I, I don't know why you're talking I'm about it. I'm speculating heavily. Well, I'm speculating okay. heavily with that, but it us- but majority of the times with stuff like this, it it usually is like the even if you think the kid's not there, the kid's but hearing it. I'm just okay. it's two years old. Like this uh, is most crazy. like no, I mean, but I don't. I don't yeah, think you should argue. Then. I don't think you should argue in front of a kid at, at one years old like that. I think I yeah. think they're still picking up all of these like social dynamics and social mm-hmm. cues. They're picking up that energy. I think that's all terrible, by the way. Exactly. Still, but saying. I would say again, it sounds like you're saying. He's potentially an a-hole for possibly arguing in front of the kid, but not an a-hole for having done any of the things that he did, aside from that speculation thing. <clears throat> right? I think he did. I do truly think he did the best he could to keep the marriage together. She is an a-hole for uh, for picking it up in the way that she in the way that she did, and I feel like he and I feel like, uh, fuck, uh. And yeah. with him, it's I know with him, it's 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 more complicated with him. it's a little more complicated with him. It's no, still, it's still it's a whole thing with the kid. You can say it's it. Okay. He's not no, the no, no, it's okay. Yeah, you can just walk it back. It's all right. He's not no, an a hole unless he was arguing in front of the kid. And if he was arguing in front of the kid, we agree with you. He is the a hole. Yeah. But as far as his that's actions, that's why I'm saying everybody to get the divorce. That's why I say everybody sucks here because I feel because more yeah. than likely you're arguing in front of the kid. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. So everybody sucks only. Uh, so everybody sucks only if he argued in front of the kid. But as far as the other actors, as far as getting the divorce and stuff, he's based he doesn't off suck for of, that. based off of the story he gave. Because as you said at the beginning here, uh, there's a very strong chance, uh, very strong chance that this is yeah. highly biased. We understand. Okay. Yeah. We got it. Okay. Yeah, we, we got, got there. We got, we got there. it. So we got that. Thank you. Based uh, on okay. what we know so far. <laughs> so we're uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pass this. Uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna go straight into like uh, the the topic. Um, it just seems was... super relevant. It felt weird, like not talk bringing it up because it's like so similar. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Uh, this this is. Uh, I mean, I think overall it was a good conversation. We got to work. Uh, we we got to present a lot of uh, interesting points on like what it is to be in a marriage, what it is to or a relationship in general, um, and to navigate that. Um, and I appreciate everyone's experiences there. Uh, you know, because everyone has something to value. Okay. Um, so, uh, first of all, hey everyone, it's all black everything. Uh, which you have Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we've got a great group of guests. Um, I figure I'm going to introduce them now. Um, so, uh, let's go through them. Hey, my man, Bam, uh, always here. Reliable guest. I love to have him. Um, and he was also here on, uh, Monday. Um, and it was really good, uh, conversation there as well. Um, thanks for, for being here, Bam. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, really, really strong group of people. Um, should be well, it's been a great conversation. And I feel like it'll continue to be. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I think the next one could could go a little bit differently, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll say, oh, we'll hope and pray. Uh, yeah. We have my man D One O Dream uh, back with us. I'm really uh, excited to have you here as well, friend. How are you? Awesome. Let's let's keep the intro short. I can't wait to get into these uh conversations. Okay. Yeah. And, oh uh, shit, come from Dream? Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, uh my main man uh fanatic. Uh, he He's hit back. me up. And he it made me happy. Like I have always uh happy to have him around. Um and I Thank like you. as Mrs. Uh perspective. So I'm really glad you uh decided to stop by here. Um go ahead, fanatic. Yeah, man, I was looking at, um, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a lengthier in- intro. I'm so sorry, but I have to. Um, today is the, uh, I don't know, multiple year anniversary of the New Zealand massacre that happened. That person and that great replacement nonsense. And it instantly made me think of Lauren Southern, and her cycle babble that she put out there um, and how that affected, affected everybody. And then if you guys remember, that same great replacement theory nonsense is what ended up motivating the guy to go shoot a buffalo to so that stuff is still happening, you know, like we, we still, the white nationalists are there. We're just waiting for Trump to get back into office for them to just go ahead and be in for, for full force again and be 
people out there and outspoken because they were emboldened while he was in office. Hmm. And so, um, yeah, I think, you know, that, that incident is pretty crazy. Um, I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, so I was hoping we would discuss something like that, but you know, that didn't matter. The topics are the top topics and I'm excited to get to it. I wanted to, oh, you're echoing. uh, yeah, okay, uh, Izzy. Um, I-, I wanted to uh, give you the space to do that. That's what I was trying to do. I'm like, hey, let's try something else. <laughs> um, but uh, it's okay. Thank you, uh, Bam, for gifting a sub. Uh, and yeah, I am. Uh, I'm hearing an echo. Solus, uh, my man. Uh, Come on. Got, What's up? We what, got an echo. We got an echo. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. Um. But yeah, I I, I did want to actually touch on that. But um, uh, we're gonna. I have them uh, push pass. Uh, maybe we can t- uh, uh, touch on it at the uh, end. There may be time at the end because about to say, this it might not have like three hours of stuff on this one topic, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, uh, let's go to our friend uh, Razor. Uh, Razor, uh, thanks for being uh, uh, back here. How are you? I am doing uh, honestly kind of shit. Woke up this morning, going, went to work. Uh, literally had to force myself to get in my car. I am not 100% today. I would just I'll tell you that right now, but I will still give it my best because Fanatic is here. Uh, so, yeah, of course, uh, Razor Sharp Gaming uh, 96 here on Twitch.tv. If you want to, if you want to watch it from my side, give me some, uh, get me the views to get me to affiliate. I would love that. Um, love you, love everyone here to be able to get um, a little bit more just b- build my brain up a little bit more uh and we'll see we'll see how much i agree or disagree with everyone's takes on this on this issue very much next we have our friend uh swerve um what's up swerve what's going on y'all um loving the energy and the um the conversations already can't wait to get into it short and simple let's go all right, uh, SDB Philly, which we haven't had here for a while, um, is here with us. Uh, excited to hear his perspective. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I thought you forgot about me, from, and then I got the DM. I was like, oh no, I gotta make this one now because if I keep <laughs> if I keep declining, he's not gonna invite me anymore. Um, so I had to make sure <laughs> I, I, I got <laughs> I had to make sure I got here tonight and uh, you know, had some good. Honest conversations, uh, they're hard to find these days on the internet. Uh, everybody seems to have an agenda and an angle and, uh, you know, not really giving their uh, honest opinions. And I, I do appreciate that I get that here on these panels is, uh, you know, people's raw, honest opinions, it seems. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll get on. We'll get passion at the very least. Uh, if nothing else, we get passion. Um, let's go to our friend uh, Don Champ Blue. How are you, friend? I'm doing good. Uh, so I want to make a small, I want to make a small, uh, remark about just my opening. I actually didn't watch this whole video. I was going off of what you guys were saying and I want to talk more about it, but don't do it. This guy, this guy is something. He's a piece of work and I still think he's a fucking dumbass. Next. (laughs) <laughs> okay all right well if you're paying change learning. that's that's okay so we'll just we'll keep moving soulless thank you so much um uh for being here um one of my favorite guests uh the guy's fantastic thanks for thanks for stopping by call me what you want just don't call the police on me <laughs> okay <laughs> all right uh let's keep this moving um so the topic um which it's it's Similar to the uh, the previous one, but it is a different situation. So um, let's uh, take a look at this. On a recent podcast, uh, the hosts discuss a woman who has been having marital trouble. At the start of her marriage, her mother had given her advice to start a private bank account. Uh, she would put a bit of money into it regularly and use it to escape the relationship if things got uh, went badly. Uh, during a time of financial hardship, her husband discovered the account and it caused huge turmoil between the two. Uh, was this woman wrong to have created this account? Should everyone take a reasonable steps to protect themselves in case the relationship uh, goes sour? Or is this a violation of trust uh, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy as, uh, and ruins the relationship itself? So yeah, um, uh, it's a pretty simple situation to understand. Um, woman, she was apparently in charge of the finances uh, and uh, the at first, the, the things were going smoothly, but then 
uh, financial trouble hit them, unfortunately. Uh, I think the husband got hurt or something. But anyway, financial trouble hit them. And um, uh, the husband decided to look into the finances, not like because he was suspicious of her, just because he was like looking, like, where, where can we cut, you know? Because he wants he wants to be able to be the breadwinner, to take care of his family. That was a very important to him, right? And she, I believe she offered, if I'm reading it correctly, yeah, she offered to go to work. Um, uh, and he, he was... Um, he he wanted to you know like take care of his uh family himself and so he was going to go to a uh, cuts he saw these regular transfers out of their uh joint accounts his other account he was unfamiliar with he confronted her about it and the yeah, things kind of fell apart from there they spiraled um and he felt it was like a massive betrayal but from her end she's saying that uh she wanted like she didn't know what the future held uh, for them, and this account, uh, we should, uh, note, had forty-seven thousand dollars by the time it was dis uh, discovered. Um, so quite a, a significant amount. Um, uh, she didn't know like what what could happen if things went badly, and that's why she did it, right, to protect herself. So was that fair uh, of her to do that, um, or um, was it like a true violation and something that uh, we should? push people away from you know like invest in a relationship rather than you know a secret bank account Let's start with bam work our way around yeah so give me, this is because we have a little more time give me a little bit of time with the intro just to break a few things down i won't go crazy um one i believe that it, like i believe that every woman regardless of how much you trust how much you love someone every woman should um protect themselves in a the relationship and should have some type of emergency funds like that her husband either isn't aware of or doesn't have access to in any way. I, I like I said, I would expect I've, I would expect any girl I'm talking to, no matter even though I know I would never do anything like that to do that for themselves. I just think it's a it's a smart safety precaution. Um, number two, I think that this person was full of way too much pride and ego and the idea of like being a sole provider, even whenever he was financially going downhill. He like uh, he basically chose to overwork himself instead of allowing her to be a larger participant in, in the workforce. And this man wasn't just working 80 hours a week. He was, he was working three jobs. This man was also doing Uber, which is crazy. I don't know if this man is the greatest worker of all time. But, um, yeah, I think he should have allowed his wife to been an active participant in the workforce. Um, and I also believe that I'm sure there's more, but I, I think I'll start there. I think that she, I don't think that she was in the wrong. I think that the man should let his ego get to him. But oh, and the, sorry, this is the last thing. If she's not going to be working, like if if you, especially because he almost basically didn't allow her to work. If he's not going to allow her to work, some portion of his funds must be considered hers to use at whatever discretion she chooses. So if not, she's literally a captive. You can't say that like, oh, you're not allowed to work, but also you're not allowed to do whatever you so choose with some portion of the money. Now they should talk out the specifics of what that amount of money is, but yeah, she had access. She should have had a right to some of that money. So that's, okay. we'll go from there. Thank you so much. Let's go to my man, uh, Dream. I think it's simple. Um, Trust is one of the most important things in a marriage, in a relationship, in anything. And I think you violate trust when you do something behind somebody's back, when you are uh, intentionally deceiving somebody and you know what high propensity of uh, probability that somebody would probably dislike what you're doing, hence if they found out what you were doing. So what if that's, if we can assume, if safely assume that, then obviously what she did was wrong because she, she was hiding information from her husband um, that he would have loved to know. And obviously, once he found out, he was devastated and heartbroken and um, had to live with his mom, I believe, or something like that. Or with, or with his he, he left the, uh, the household uh, because he was distraught about it, yeah. Yeah, so, like, clearly, um, I think she was in the wrong for uh, causing this much strife to her husband um, by being deceptive. Uh, now, if they somehow had an understanding that they could hide things from each other, then I disregard anything I'm saying. But I'm going off the assumption that they value trust, uh, transparency, and open honesty and communication. If they value those things, which I think any healthy relationship should value, uh, what she did was wrong. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Don Champlin, for gifting that sub earlier. I didn't get a chance to uh, call that, but thanks so much, Don. Uh, let's go to Fanatic. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much uh, wholeheartedly agree with what Dream was saying there. I mean, trust is everything, and you're definitely breaking someone's trust. We've seen so many cases of these kind of things happening. If you remember with Shaquille O'Neal, his wife was doing that. She had been on the side, and she had been like doing a secret bank account for a minute, just like slowly but surely adding more and more money, and he eventually discovered it, kept all of that money, and then it was used against her, I think, in a divorce. And I think he wanted to divorce her because of it, and I understand why, um, because – I don't have that insurance. I don't have any. I, if the man is not doing some sort of insurance from his woman, if she decided to cheat on him and leave, what's he going to do, right? Like, and, and and you can say that obviously they have different expectations. The man is typically the person that's doing uh, financial providing or in, the, in their relationship. Um, he was the one doing. I am hearing noise. Is yeah, I, I don't think so. No, that's not you. Somebody it sounds like Solus. Is is that Solus? Solus? watching the video live now. He hadn't seen it. Yeah, you could always just mute your mic whenever you're not talking. That helps a lot. But um, yeah, so if in that sort of situation, like if his thing is provision and she's like trying to ensure provision in case he leaves um, or in case they break up, uh, that's the whole purpose of alimony. That's what alimony is literally for. If you're not in the workforce and they determine. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was just me. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I was just about to say I was deaf and my nigga. What I do? What is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll hope that he gets back to us. Um, let's go to Razor. Okay, so well, what the woman did. Point, so you need help. Stay oh, I mean, hold on, I'm sorry. The whole time, time. Fan no. fanatic, fanatic. Oh, we we lost you. Fanatic, yeah. fanatic. Yeah. We were, you were gone. You were gone. I was. I can see it now. My okay. stream died for a second. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Probably like 30 okay, seconds. Sorry. Yeah, you finish up, finish up your thing. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Man, now my camera ain't working. Son of a gun. Yeah, well, just get it out you and then you okay. can... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still there. You can, there. You can bring me back in. You can bring me back in. I'm, I'm backstage. Okay. okay. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what I was going to say was... uh, mm. Freak. I forgot what my point... I just tried to say it briefly. Um, she defied the trust. Sha Shaq's wife did that. It's disgusting. And the reason why I felt it's disgusting is because there is no insurance, right? Like, so for Shaq, it's like, yeah, I, I have a person who might be a homemaker and so on and so forth. I'm not like having a manager on the side and making sure, hey, every time you do your management stuff, your home home management things, I need you to go ahead and make sure that you document all that. So in case you leave, I get to take that, take that over. We just don't do that. That's not a way things typically work. And so I think the idea that she would do that sort of insurance is indicative of the fact that she doesn't believe in this long longevity um, of their relationship um, and the sanctity and trust of this person. Um, I think several details were left out in the way that you phrased the intro because she said several things. One, she said um, he's never shown anything that would make her ever feel unsafe throughout the length of their relationship. In fact, he doesn't even get angry, which I think is even indicative of the fact that he didn't get angry when he discovered she had been betraying him and making him work all of this extra stuff while she had all this money on the side. And while they were struggling to make ends meet, she was still putting aside money for herself for a rainy day. So that already says, I mean, if he didn't get angry at that, then clearly this is not a person that she didn't need to trust. And so that's hurting, right? Number one. Then you have also the idea that um, she did say that she worked a regular job for a little bit and so on and so forth when, when things were at their absolute worst. And I get that. But while we're still at our absolute worst during that time, you're still saving money for yourself is crazy. Then when it comes time for it, we're, and we're saying we're struggling with the bills and you can't think I need to go back down to the 250 that I had been getting during this whatever time is also selfish and foolish, right? So all of these things are crazy. Um, and so for, for me, I mean, it's just, she is the unequivocal, terrible, terrible, terrible person for this. Um, I, I can't wait to hear somebody argue against that. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we'll redo the, uh, the order, uh, so I don't get confused later. So it'll, it'll go swerve and like work away down. Swerve. It's, it's razor. Can you never work? Yeah, I can, I said, yeah we're we're going to redo we're gonna the order. From where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, and no, we'll, we'll work our no, way no. back down to him. Very good. I got, I got um, listen again. Uh, so I honestly, um, I'm somewhere between Bam and Fnatic, which is crazy because I think y'all are complete opposites on the takes, yeah. but, um, the points that you were making, um, Bam, in terms of like, uh, a woman's security and what she ought to do, um, protect herself are the things that I agree with. But then you made a point to say that you don't think that she was in the wrong in the scenario. And I think that she was in the wrong for the points that Fnatic was making about transparency and honesty and trust. Um, uh, the things that she violated, the, the actions that she did on their face, having an account, protecting herself, protecting her, uh, doing whatever. Um, 
I don't think necessarily was the issue to begin with. It's the way that she manipulated the situation, didn't communicate with anyone, and just listen. I seen um, actually someone in the comments, and this is a radical take that I don't necessarily agree with, but he said, um, that's what happens when women take advice from other battered people, women that were battered in relationships, and they just they act on that without trusting their man. And I do think that is partially applicable in this in this scenario because they talk about how I think it's her mom was encouraging these actions, but ultimately she didn't communicate with her man. I think that you know you um, being a person who believes in this would communicate with your woman like yeah have your banking account, you know and you, like you said oh if you're gonna stay at home have that money. But that doesn't seem like that was the scenario here. It seems like she was like. Nigga, since you are working and I ain't, you know, I ain't working. I'm taking whatever I want that I feel comfortable with, and that's that's dishonest. That's 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 a violation, and that's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that off. Thanks so much. Let's go to our friend STV Philly. Oh uh, yeah, so they didn't have any kids, so I don't know what she means. Yeah. She's a stay-at-home mom. I don't know exactly what that means. Um. This guy was making a comfortable mid six mid six figure uh six figure salary, Jesus Christ, uh, to try to um take care of them. And he got into a near fatal accident. Uh hospital bills, they lost a lawsuit that pretty much ate up all their savings. So I cannot I cannot imagine at this point, right, where you know you've you've built up this nice house and you, you know you have a savings and then you know the unthinkable happens you almost lose your life i cannot imagine my wife girlfriend whatever but in this mm -hmm. case his wife um having forty seven thousand dollars. i don't know what it was at the point of the accident or the point of their like you know financial ruin but like just think about that for a second you guys are going through it and your girl has a forty thousand dollar bank account over here where she's hiding it from you um it's, it's it's unacceptable there's no way you can justify what she did um now like swerve was saying if you want to pre-negotiate beforehand like i'm gonna you know have a private uh, uh i'm gonna have a bank account separate from our joint one you know that i'm just gonna keep for savings just for myself as a person for like my you know personal thing and if you negotiate that and both parties are fine, that's completely fine. But what she did was absolutely abhorrent. There's no, um, <clears throat> there, there's absolutely no justification for it. Um, he he took a, uh, she took a part-time job while he was recovering. And then when he did recover fully from this uh, near fatal accident, um, she, she, he, she, he went back to work. And, he forced and her to like, stop working. Right. So he, he said, listen, I'm going to take care of the house. Um, you stop working. I'm a man. I want to be the breadwinner. Like I think that was said in, in, in the, in the uh, post also. Like you know, he, he he blatantly stated he wanted to be the breadwinner. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. And, uh, whatever. Um, and she but, agreed. And 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 she agreed. But when he recovered, um, they transitioned back to him working. He now is working full two job, two full time jobs in the Uber, right? And um, to and 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 this was said to keep them afloat. So it sounds like they were struggling, like they weren't where they wanted to be financially, and she's keeping this money off to the side. That's not going to work in most marriages, especially if the person finds out. And then he left. I, I don't. Did they get divorced? Did anybody get that part of the story? No, it's not important, but I don't think so. No, nah, we didn't get yeah. that information. Not he was just very yeah. hurt and upset. He had to go live with his brother for a while. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think she's she's completely wrong and uh, unjustifiable. Hey, thanks so much. Let's go. Uh, Razor, now it's your turn. Okay, sweet. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, 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 talking about this from two different aspects. Uh, the aspect of the, of the story itself, uh, the woman was kind of being a bitch by not, uh, by not uh, informing her husband of this little step, this little thing. It's like, this, like I have a little thing for my own separate uh, separate stuff. It's good. It's like a secondary. It could be like a secondary savings or whatever. Um, that we don't touch for whatever reason. Um, feel like communication definitely would have saved would have saved a lot of that. Obviously. Um. So the the issue that I, the issue that I mainly want to talk about is like the idea of this, where 
uh, spouses will have a a get a, a get out fund, something where if one if one side becomes abusive or one side becomes too much to bear, uh, you have a way to get out uh, without uh, too much financial risk. And I would want this regardless of who uh, who uh, who uh, is being abused. Uh, so man or woman, I would heck, I would want both spouse. I would want both spouses to have a, a like three full uh, accounts, the the house fund and then two personal funds. The. So. Uh, it definitely what was a betrayal. Of tr- it, it definitely yeah. was a betrayal of trust. Are we getting there? Uh, it definitely was a betrayal of trust um, to. uh <laughs> So just never bring it up or anything like that to where he had to um, see it like that. But I will say he was also kind of being a bit extra, a bit extra. I understand being hurt, understandable, but being a bit extra in the sense of not at least talking about it and understanding the uh, possibly why she may have had these thought process, where she got the idea, stuff like that. So I'm not going to put I'm. The majority of it goes on the woman, but I'm not going to pretend that all that uh, nobody that uh, the the husband wasn't also kind of over overplaying it. Thank you so much. Let's go to our friend uh, Don Chimper. So on this one, um, I asked my girl, uh, "Was she like, what does she think about it?" Uh, apparently, it's su- like it's it's pretty normal for women to do this um it's it's kind of like a a colloquialism like you you pass this kind of idea down that you should protect yourself and it comes from days of old where women didn't have you know they didn't have they couldn't even get some women couldn't even get fucking bank accounts unless there were joint ownership so i i understand it what this woman did though this woman did was egregious though um she and, and and my main problem with what she did was really that when he was struggling uh, she chose, she, she basically kind of like went into herself and, and cared more about all of her internal uh, processes and like feelings than really like the betterment of her family. And that's to me is what really, it really like, that's what is the worst part about this is that, is that for some reason she, she, she takes it as, oh, I need to protect myself from this marriage just in case, but I'm willing to simultaneously hurt the marriage at like to do so. And that to me is very, that is sociopathic. It's verging on sociopathic. Um, and I'm not saying that it's not justified in some sense due to trauma, like the ideas and the thoughts that she could have are justified. That doesn't mean the actions are justified. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of with fanatic on this one. Uh, I don't, I think she's a bit, yeah. yeah, she's not a she's not a wife, man. She's not a wife. She's not thinking about family. She's not thinking about unity. She's not thinking about what it really means to to rock with somebody, and that's not okay. Hey, uh, Solace, please. Um. Okay. In like trying to analyze this situation, as far as like this woman, I would say because everything y'all said is true. This is completely the betrayal of trust. That's true. But like analyzing this person. She never once in this entire story used her own brain. This all seemed to be like her mom, her mom, her mom, which is also odd because like when you do something really fucked up to somebody to like try to keep bringing up the person who put the thought in your head as if you're not your own grown adult is a bit strange to me. Um, Also, I originally thought that she had a bank account of her own like making, which is still a bit fucked up, but I think a bit different than like siphoning money out of the joint account. Right, like her money was both some money from the part time, but also mostly his money from their joint. And the fact that, like, at the end, she was still talking to her mom, like, still talking to the same person that allegedly like got her this place. It it, it indicates to me, like, to what you're saying, uh, Don, like, this was never a person that was built for the situation that they found themselves in. And that's tragic. That really is tragic. Um, Bam. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna ask. I, I don't let me cut you off. Are you done? Uh, Okay. I, I was gonna. I'll, I'll say something, okay. uh, and then we'll, you'll go. I'll go straight to you, Bam. Yeah. Um. Yeah. To uh, and to be clear, where I stand, uh, this is uh, a bit more unbalanced than I thought it was gonna be, but that's fair. Um. 
I, I'm closer to uh, uh, Bam's position on this, uh, in that uh, I'm okay. We, I think the principle of what she did uh, was fine, and that like being a a, a woman uh, who uh, is staying at home, um, you need to protect yourself because when things go sideways for those uh, women, it's it's very difficult, right? Um, uh, people say, well, uh, get out of the relationship when um, things uh, are get like violent or you know unfortunate. Um, just like we were saying, I, at least I was saying before that people can change. Even if you have a husband who is overall on the on the level, right? You know, you love them and uh, they respect you. Uh, things uh, uh, can can change in in unexpected ways and really tragic ways. Um, uh, like for instance, like uh, he got hurt. Let's say uh, he got addicted to prescription drugs, not because he's some sort of bad person, morally deficient. Um, just that 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 is the exact pathway that this. For this happened to hundreds of thousands of people within our country, right? Uh, they get hurt. Um, uh, they're prescribed painkillers, and then um, uh, they get uh, drug addicted, and then things spiral from there. You know, uh, how could you have seen that coming? You couldn't have seen that coming. Um, uh, and uh, having some a, a way to exit works out. But at the same time, I can also say that like was this a violation of trust? Yeah, you know, uh, the uh, the other person, um, the male, I uh, didn't know uh, this was happening, and um, for the most part, this seems to be uh, his money. If, I, if I'm understanding the uh, story correctly, and it's being uh, a, a siphon off, he doesn't uh, know uh, that's happening. He he left her in charge of the finances, um, and he didn't know. So th- that I think is a problem. But on the principle of like a woman protecting herself against the unknown. Uh, I'm supportive of that, but go ahead, go ahead, Ben. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna wonder. I was curious how many people see the money in that account as his money that she took. I, I see it as their money. money that he should know about. Yeah, I feel like it's their money that he took. Okay. That she took yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, so she, so again, so she doesn't have any. You don't believe that in their relationship, she should have a right to like up, like a, a sole right to any of the money. In the relationship, not, a undis- not an undisclosed amount, though. Right. Not uh, sure. I mean, that doesn't. Could... Well, that's that's should, the you point. know she it doesn't have sole something... claim over the funds. No, it's a un- it's a joint account. Like it's yeah. two people yeah. coming together to get funds. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. That, I think that that Although it's technically all his since he worked since he worked for it entirely. No, but, but she's but the one that takes no. care of the finances. So yeah, none of us are sharing that opinion. opinion. Like obviously, like she's doing the managing Wait. of the house and she's at the no. No, that's what I'm saying. Like he, like he did. No, I'm saying like he did like the work that got the money. and She's doing the managing of the house and the and and the finances. Like so, it's not his money. So it's their money. Yes, it's there. I'm saying it's their money, but I'm saying it's a little confused. Sorry, I. It's sometimes I screw up like words. no, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's good, it's good. So, so yeah, no, we all feel like it's it their, their money, money, and that she and yeah. she's hiding and siphoning some of their money to make it just her money without disclosing it, and that's just fine. Mm-hmm. But if she was, I, I feel like we none of one cares if over because this is over an eight year period. If she was mm-hmm. bought shoes or dainty girly thing, like the money being, it's it's what she's doing with the money seems to yeah, be. yeah, obviously. Her, but, well, no, no. Well, well, hold on. But just to be clear, okay. if she yeah. if she bought if she bought shoes and all those other kind of things, but it was only doing so secretly, while like never like while while making sure that that stuff was intentionally withheld from the budget, so that he had no knowledge of it, we would say that that's just as foul. It's not about it being a savings account. It's not about it being an escaping uh, an escape fund. Those things are also pro- the the idea. I think that idea in and of itself is somewhat problematic as well. However, just the act of privately withholding the money. Is problematic. Okay, so that yeah, this and, this and, is something that I won't argue with because this is like that that'll be a difference of principle. I believe mm-hmm. I I don't believe that because the concept I do like this isn't a savings account. This isn't a rainy day fund for their relationship. They have savings for that. They do have savings. This is her. This is her emergency for her get away from. Like you brought up before, the concept of alimony. First of all, that that's going through the process of a divorce, which could take years to process. Uh, months uh-huh. to years the process. The second thing with that is uh, she probably, and depending on the state, she doesn't even qualify for alimony. But I think alimony kicks in after like ten years of uh, spousehood, uh, and they're at yeah. year eight at this point. Like I said, just depending on the state, some states it can be earlier. But I, I, say, know- I, I think most states you still get alimony. It's just that the, the, the amount, like you're not entitled to fifty percent until you get to ten. 
It no, sounds like this is how they had this, the relationship set up. It sounds like he he was just busting his ass working, and he didn't feel like handling any of the finances, and he offloaded that to her. Uh, yeah, he, he trusted said, you know, her. Babe, you you pay the, you pay the bills, you know, um, you know, I make this much. You just, you know, they had a joint account, so he would throw the money in there. He like, like yeah, he trusted her to, uh, you know, handle all the finances. And what she was doing was she was taking seven hundred and fifty of the every month out of that trusted account and putting and it into a secret account that's like that and then that when he right got there hurt she act. lowered it down to 200 yeah yeah that's the act that i'm having a problem with not you know having a rainy day fund or having your own private money right that, that's what, okay what does it well i mean wait, wait. fanatic wouldn't change i'm curious if anybody else changes if she has her own job <laughs> and she's doing and she, she oh if it's her account. own money if it's, if it's her money. own money separate account like obviously that's it's all right it's uh is it i don't think fanatic no, wouldn't care because he was not uh, the public he would say it's bad for the relationship no i think I, I think everybody else would too let me make sure we're crystal clear so dream you're saying if they have separate accounts she has her own job and he has his own account and they're pulling money together but she's holding back how much money she's getting and secretly hiding some of her money and then pulling the the rest of it you wouldn't say that that's a problem in that specific scenario, of course, it's a problem. Okay, and anyone else? Does anyone else think it's a problem? Or no, yeah. so did anyone else not think it's a problem? I don't. I don't think it's. Uh, wait, wait. I, me- I, I may have misheard. I may have misheard how you how you were. Yeah. If she, if she has her own job that like and, yeah. and for separate money, and she provides to the joint account, but she decides yeah. that a portion of the job that she works for, she's putting aside, and she's not going to tell her secretly. Husband. Secretly. Yeah, so she's yeah, secretly. So, no. so out of her not own okay. job, she's still secretly not holding okay. some of her money, no. and he's not no. secretly holding any of his money. Is it? Does anyone else not have a problem with that? Yeah, I didn't think so. Of course, we all have a problem with well, that. It's the uh, idea of secretly withholding money. Think. I think. You okay, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, go ahead, Razor. Yeah, think about it. And while you're thinking about it, while the rest of us have already come to the conclusion, you'll come around to our conclusion too. No one's gonna say this, this is ever okay. Yeah, to steal bro, that will you of chill, money. bro? Wait, no, no, I, I, know I, mean. I, I, I just feel like we're, I feel like we're too busy being men. I, 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 it just men. It feels very like hold on, hold on, it feels very yes, man brain. Like, why would she do that? Nothing could never. Like, he's a great guy. Nothing is ever gonna go wrong in a relationship. She doesn't need to protect herself. Or yeah. if she so, does, she should tell what? him he's protecting her. You just want her to have an agenda, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, 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 hey. We're going to let okay. Razor, let yeah. Razor go, and then we'll... Oh, okay. God, he's going to take oh. 10 minutes where everyone else didn't have to respond at all. Go ahead. Razor, you're welcome. You're welcome, please. Go Thank ahead. You, Tom, Thank you. This sneak okay. talking about taking up time. Don't ignore him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, okay. Uh, like I said, my o- like I said, my opening. There was uh, the aspect that I was talking about. Like we're having this uh, this separate account that's like for a get out a a get out fund. Like I would want that for I would want that for both uh, the husband and wife because that way whoever whoever f- up first either way you both have something uh, to go you can then just split the split whatever's left in the joint account and go is this is this like there is this like secret account it's like the secret account that you have and if she worked for her money and she put in a portion into the fund for the house that definitely covered everything that she needed to cover for the house but had that little bit of that little bit of secret one into her get out fund I would say the, I would have the exact same principle if the husband did it. So uh, it's. Can I ask you a question? And then we're going to uh, dream. Um, yes. And oh, sorry. And Don, did you have your hand up as well? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll for, okay. Let me, hold on, before I, I, I forget what happened, let me write, write this down. Okay. Um, so we got Razor. Um, then we got Dream. Don. Got Solus. That's where. Okay. Sorry. Um, all right, so, Razor, can I ask you a question? Because previously, and you guys all just established this, right? It's, you, mm-hmm. you guys said specifically that it's their money, right? So if With it's the their, joint account, yeah. Yeah. If it's, well, if it's their only any, account. Any, yeah. money, any money that you, uh, any income that you make is always your together's money. I yeah, agree with that. If, 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 well, no, no, no. I, I mean, wanna, legally, that's I just want to see what Razor was thinking here because, yeah. like, I disagree with, with Razor's conclusions. Um, but I don't know why, uh, he Razor is saying that what he's saying. So, Razor, if it's their <laughs> money, right, then that means she's stealing, right? In terms of, uh, God, it's like, uh, uh, in terms of hiding some of the money through her, her private bank account, let's say she puts thirty percent away um, of her salary, seventy percent goes into the the pool. I don't 
know if that would i don't know if that fully would count as stealing if it again if it was her money that she worked for that was then going into but, their so, money to for the joint account so hold on when does it count as their money because maybe you have a different definition than when what everyone else was when saying. i it it's that it's when it goes it, it will be when it goes into that joint account that's for the house and kids and uh for the house kids and medical bills and stuff like that like okay. if they agree to it basically Yes. If they don't have any other accounts. Yeah. yeah. Like but, it, wouldn't, but but how this how is this again? I don't I, I don't agree with this statement, but like how is this not a violation of trust if like he is assuming that it's a hundred percent landing in that account, right? He's assuming okay, well everything's going in there. He doesn't know about this other one. Oh, if he's a, if he's fully a, if if it's like fully assumed that all one hundred percent is going is going in. It definitely can be seen as shady, but I would, but I guess like I, I keep, I'm thinking on the prince. I, I am personally thinking on the principle of every, both couples should always have a separate account to the joint account. That's okay. how I always think it. And that's how I, that's how I think of it. it does, I would wish it wasn't secret with this, with this particular situation. Yeah. She's kind of being a bitch, but like the, but I would prefer if both uh couple if both partners had not only a joint account but had their own separate accounts that like 70 percent of paychecks go into the joint 30 into their personals that way you all you both have a get out of jail a get out of jail for okay. so, but you don't I but, agree but you don't consider the personal accounts to be the couple the, their relationship though that's where you're differentiating from dream yeah. and attic and everywhere else no no no, no 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 that's not a distinction for all of us not even close i, I would say yes i don't I believe so oh. Yeah, no, you, you can you can still have your own independent like accounts. I think you can have a joint account um, and then your own individual accounts. That's true. It's just it can't be secret individual account and you can't be hiding money. That's all. But, but, it, but he, I, you, you can so you can say the joint account, so the separate account is is the is not the couple's money. It's not once, our money. Once the money has been properly allocated as far as it belongs in my individual account, it does become personal money. For example, oh, like well, you Dream get allowances. I'm sorry. Dream, no, you no. disagree with that? No, you I didn't. said you just said earlier it's always our I money. Said, I said no, yeah, we're talking about I the said, joint money. I said income is always the, the, the couples together money. But Legally, Monatic, Monatic made a distinction as when you've made a decision or an agreement that okay, we'll allocate this I amount mean, of our together money in the joint account, and then you are allowed you personal really money. Give me and for that. that was my thing. And right. also, the, the creation yeah. of the private account is at the detriment of their relationship because they yeah. could have used that money to. Um, help them out of a lot of the situations oh, they found themselves in, and her. No, and that, again, that's why I said. That's why I said she was being a. No, that's again why I was saying she was being a bitch about it because uh, when it comes to this, because she uh, kept that even when they ended okay. up being in hard times. Yes. I would prefer it if, like, hey, if you've been having right, this good of a time. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry no, about no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. No. Uh, yeah. I, 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 let's go to Dream. Uh, Don, yeah, I, uh So listen for. I just want. I just wanted like, there is no good. The only way that this argument could go in the favor of the woman is that if the man showed like clear signs of abuse or any sign of abuse, really, where it's like, okay, too fine. Late. No, it's not too late. After he abused her, now I should start saving. Father, please, please let me finish my statement. Okay. So the only way that this could be tenable is if he showed clear signs of abuse. And so in, in return, you abuse him by being secretive. Right. So like abuse is only it, it's not even abuse. It's just uh, an appropriate retaliation to the abuse. So it's her doing that an escape fund would like an escape. Uh, listen fund, to what right? I'm saying. No, listen no, no, no. I'm, no. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not. Disagreeing. OK, so you just interrupt me for no reason. OK, so uh, anyway, this is the open section. We can cut. I'm off trying to talk. I'm trying to finish a statement. Uh, oh, yeah. Right in the middle of the dream statements. That's what exactly we're going to interject. <laughs> so I'm sorry, dream. Go ahead, please. I'm messing with uh, my friend. <laughs> Anyways. Now, if you want an escape fund, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing. For, for example, people and men like ma'am would allow their woman to have an escape fund. You know, it would be great if they were in a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship before they get married and say, hey, listen, is it okay if I have an escape fund? Bam, men like Bam would be like, yeah, of course. Just in case I switch up, uh, I'll allow you to have an escape fund. In that instance, what is the problem, right? That's how you prevent from going into a situation and violate somebody's trust. And to bring a, a huge emotional detriment to your partner, just have it. So any uh, to ha if you really like non-negotiable, I'm going to have an escape fund. Have that negotiated before you enter into a marriage, and then 
obviously the guy's being good to you, um, like violate his trust, like just have that. So, so bam. And, and to solve your, Oh, it's already too late. Solve it before you start the marriage. It's defeating the purpose of what it exists for. So, because you're, because you're well, also, I, because well, your expectation would be whenever you get into financial trouble, babe, use the money that you set aside for you to take care of me. Huh? That, like you're, you're saying you you want her to tell you she has it, and if you get into financial trouble, you want her to use that money on you on yourself. Right. You want so, her to spend her so, money because so if she loves you. Here's what it would be, right? The, here the agreement, right? The non-negotiable that the woman would have against her husband or with her husband is, hey babe, um, well, you're not gonna get married unless you agree that I can have an on um um an escape front that you can't touch or no matter what happens. I wouldn't be right? worried like that, but yeah. No, no, that, that's if, if you're so keen on having an escape on, that's what it should be worded like, or at least something around those lines, having those boundaries. What is wrong with that boundary, Bam? I, I think that, I think that cause we're, you're, you're expecting the relationship. This only works in a relationship where everyone ends up acting in perfect condition. If no. this is an abusive partner, now abuse isn't just physical. Abuse can be psychological. And financial. So now that I know you have this money, I'm going to make you feel like a bad wife for not like for not giving it to me. I'm going to create these situations okay. versus what versus the purpose of the fund is to protect yourself. The best way to protect yourself is to not even let it come up in the relationship. I never number one. I never said that abuse was only physical. I said any signs of abuse. No, but I'm saying that like True. the scenario you're building is like, oh, okay. If everyone acts in perfect order. Like if, if he's not abusive, then like the the this fun works out perfectly. Like no. yeah, what? No, like, I'm I'm saying you should I'm saying you should be preventative and reactionary, right? The prevention is instead of me having to break the trust of my husband, I'm going to ask in advance if this if this action is okay. And reactionary is it makes sense that I would have this certain thing if I see signs of abuse in my. Those are the only two ways that I think what she's doing is okay. Please tell me why I'm wrong. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that an abusive partner knowing about the count can manipulate you to m manipulate you into taking the money from your account, regardless of what you would agree to. React, to. Just react like we agreed to before. Just like we agreed to before. Just because you you say, state something before marriage, it can change in the marriage. Right. And so just and so in the case where you, you, don't, you might, don't people don't recognize it as abuse in, immediately in the case where you ab okay then you're just saying if you know it you can't know what to do what you don't know like obviously that's true for no all but people. i'm saying that like philly for example would considers it the fact that he's seen that she they were doing bad on money and she didn't spend it on him she considers that to be problematic yeah it is oh, a pro man. it's 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 if you if you house and have an agreement with your husband or other way around, and I'm gonna help you when you're down, and any way I can, and it's and it's feasible, right? Like you have the means, and you don't do that. That's then, what, and that's what you're, that's what the person is gonna say, right? <laughs> to get to get right. the money out of our escape and, fund, and and and, and that's and, and and that's makes sense to say that, right? If you have the means to help me as your husband, if you don't want to help your husband when you have the means, why are you my wife? Uh, can you help me understand that? You if you have the, the means purpose of the to account. Help me, that's not what the account exists for. Can I try so, to restate so, it? I, no, yeah. no, 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 no. If you, if you have yeah. the means, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. The means to help me as your husband and me failing is going to affect the marriage. Mm -hmm. It's to your benefit you, to help me. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Do you want to know? That is a very, what you're saying is a very reasonable statement, right? And within the context of a reasonable relationship, then it's reasonable uh, for a person to uh, make that request, right? Whether the other person fulfills it or not, is reasonable to say, okay, we're in a tough spot. I see there's like a lot of money here, right? I know that was your escape account, but um, like uh, it would be useful if you could uh, assist us here. Okay. But if you are actually in an abusive relationship, you actually have found yourself there, yeah, financial abuse is a thing, right? Like it's a specific mm -hmm. like category of, of abuse, of domestic okay. abuse, is financial abuse. And uh, in that part of it, part of that that is to to, to, to isolate your um your, your partner and tell them that they can't work, they can't have their own money, right? And that that money needs to uh, come through you, right? That's that's part of how that goes. So she's in a situation where her her husband's saying that uh, she can't work. Um, uh, let's assume this is an absolute statement, right? Um, because we don't know the nuances here, but let's just assume it's absolute that you absolutely can't work. 
Okay, well, that's part of the uh, uh, the formula. But again, from her own account, she, he seems like a nice guy. But if if in the in the situation that she, it isn't, you know, this is an insurance program because you don't know the future. Um, then the purpose of this fund, right? The the very purpose of it is to be able to leave. If you say within that abusive relationship, you force her to start giving up, then it's it's been pointless, right? So I have a question. The, saying the best, okay, yeah, and I'll, last thing, the the best way to protect it is what what Bam is trying to say here is to uh, for it to be a secret, so then it doesn't come up in the first place. But go ahead. So what's the difference between me having this secret? Um escape fund just in case this relationship doesn't go out and it's, um and me having a secret relationship with another woman just in case this relationship doesn't go out secret you don't relationship. think there's a me i'm asking I, oh, you guys yeah a, a secret relationship with another woman Question? just in case a woman's abusive i want to go with my second girlfriend and go with her. i think What's the, the point, wait, I, I i i think the point let, let him answer at, I think the point that you're trying to make is that it is uh, an abuse of trust. And like I've said previously, that it, like this was an abuse of trust. So I agree with you on that note already, right? Um, so, so in that okay. case, and so in that case, hold on, one second, one second. In that case, it's the same, and that the uh, a tr a trust has been violated, right? Um, but uh, why is one uh, okay, I, not, not the other? Because the one is a reasonable thing, a reasonable worry for women. It's a form of protection. But, yeah, Bam was was trying to. You're not doing protection. I, 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 who, hopefully, how is that protection? Bond. But like, how is that protection? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. The question is, what's what's unreasonable about the idea that the relationship can go south and you could lose this woman that you've been with? What's unreasonable about that? What's well, unreasonable that it could go uh, south and you could lose the woman? Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that like uh, these things are, are one to one, and that like this is uh, uh, that type of an insurance, right? Like if uh the relationship goes south then you can just uh look outside right um there doesn't need to be like these things like money and like finding another woman don't work in the same way right oh sure no 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 because sure. they, they do they do because it, 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 we're gonna have to work for that woman right that's an investment we're gonna have okay. to put in time and find a woman in the same way she has to put in time and find a job etc cetera, etc cetera. So she was already willing to go back to work so she knows how to get a job so all she has to do is just work outside and she got herself a job and she has money again what's the distinction he, no he's saying but on the in the scenario is that he she he is not allowing her to remember that Right, right, right. But, but, but sure, she's not allowing him to see other women at, the, at that point. You know what I mean? But so, so, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if his insurance is to protect this woman, and he does so by investing into another woman. Now, again, we're just making light deposits. We're not, we're not dropping loads off. Okay, we're just making light deposits and, and just and maintaining a, a, a soft, maybe amicable relationship, right? Or, 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 or um, what's the word? Platonic relationship. But it's just a good friend that I just keep on the side because if this wife starts acting up and decides to stop cooking, not a, I know who I'm going to go with. Unit. You're muted on your anybody, screen. if anybody I, made this argument, you would call them. You would you would call this stupid. A, a woman yeah. protecting herself, a woman protecting herself from being abused, is not the same as a man protecting himself from being heartbroken. So no, 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 no. I, no. I, I, I don't care if you're saying anybody would say, say that it's stupid. Again, I'm asking for what. What is. you want to know? Why why I, ask prime, I, ask, I ask Prime earlier. Oh, you don't for, want to answer. I don't. I don't ask you those kind of questions. You you already know I don't like engaging with you. But Prime, I was asking you because you had, you had said it. Um, what is that distinction? And so, uh, uh, before I answer that, Dream, you said like fanatic stream is muted. No, I fixed yeah. it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Thank you. Okay. okay um, no what's yeah. that distinction? So I don't. I don't think the in terms of the violation, right? I think it's a, mm -hmm. a similar violation. Um, I I don't think it's the same in terms of uh like uh protecting yourself from uh physical um emotional um uh, well yeah physical emotional or uh, financial abuse. I don't think that's the same. Um, uh, that operates the same as uh finding another woman right like uh i, don't, I just don't think these things i can are explain how it can i can explain the, how it can I, this is I not what they do wait, hold on hold on no no no. i get you because you're saying it's not the same that's what you're saying in a nutshell in the response to the question what is the difference you're saying i don't think they're the same and so i'm asking what is the difference because that, that still leaves the question they're not the same so what is the difference okay so you're asking me specifically to illustrate that okay fine um the the difference is is that um uh the, these these emergencies operate differently Right. So when we're talking about um, abuse, uh, that is uh, um, a point in time where um, 
well it could be a long a, a long po a period in their relationship you know because abuse works in funny ways a long period in, uh, in a relationship where she's increasingly understanding that she needs to um exit this uh relationship and then um uh and if she doesn't like like her life could be on the line right if she if she leaves him right for whatever reason like let's say the marriage falls uh apart and assuming that she's not physically abusing him but i, I could be wrong there but uh, assuming uh uh that's not the case um there is no um uh true um uh, at least in my opinion uh there the cost of finding a woman afterwards of uh, just through dating, I, right? I think like as they're being this separated, for no think... you're making this difficult for no reason because instead of uh, instead of making it the uh, the comparison between her versus him, what about her and her? Her either having a man on the side in case that he's abusive, or uh, uh, escape fund on the side in case he's abusive. Every reason that you could have an escape fund on the side in case your husband's abusive could be used for in case uh, having a man the on side the side, nigga. Case. Yeah, Listen, Every, they don't even work in the same realm. I, uh, tell me what reason you can have an escape from front that you couldn't have the same reason for a side nigga. Go ahead. Ha having another partner doesn't prevent you from being abused in your existing relationship. Did you hear? It, of course it can. Number one, it can, and, and neither does having an escape fund. Uh, an escape fund doesn't protect you from being abused in a relationship. Yeah. What, is, what escape oh, done? What, yeah. what, escape, what, is, what escape fund does is is when you exit the relationship, it ensures your existence after the relationship yes. is over, and which is the exact same as having no, another partner. No, it gives you no. It gives yeah. it gives you a possibility to exit in a lot of cases. Same thing with having no, a different partner, right? Absolutely. If a person, no, if a person has no, if, her, if a person has no no money, they they sometimes reasonably can't leave a relationship. Like you know, for prime, prime you, you understand what we're saying? I, I prime, prime, it, that's not fair, right? Because this the is same not a fair dialogue. This is, it is a, like, it's very, it's a, a very fair dialogue. dialogue. Prime, prime, prime is enjoying it, so and I am, I am as well. It just wouldn't be fair if you were involved. But yeah, I think honestly, like if you look at it, and yeah, I have to throw them shots. If you really pay attention to it, like, like legit, yeah, I hear you. For us, the mm -hmm. the main thing when it comes to us is is it's hard to find a good woman, right? Mm -hmm. And the same sense, I know women feel like it's hard to find a good man. So mm -hmm. I get that there's this insecurity going into it, and this is I think what we're really boils down to the whole of it in relationships you don't gain anything unless you uh risk something and then not just in relationship with everything and with an investment it's a risk if the more risky it is the more likely it is i mean the, the more chance there is for payoff doing things so so, so in the same I mean, sense not that i understand what you meant but yeah not, not that, i think yeah. so i think so but, but, yeah. but so, so it's like this right because i i, I know people who've been like hurt before in relationships right and in those kids situations they're like because i've been hurt i refuse to open up into this next relationship i'll never expose myself in this way again right and then it's like okay if you're unwilling to trust, you miss all the benefits that come from the camaraderie that from, from the trust, right? From having this person that you can confide in. You, you miss all of the benefits of that. If you decide, you know what, because of these previous negative things that I'm going to withhold something, everything you withhold, everything you give to your partner should come with a benefit. And so now you guys are, you're, you're missing out on a lot of those things. And so the idea is part of that trust, that financial trust is the idea that now, because I know that I trust you with my money and I, whatever, because of that, I'm willing to give you everything, which is what this man did. I'm willing to give you my bank accounts. I'm willing to let you manage all the funds. I'm not even going to look over my shoulder and check you because I trust you. And that's the benefits that you get is that now you have all of the financial security to do whatever the freak you want with that money to where you get to pick where we're living because she did, right? You get to pick what we do, our vacations. You get to pick our funds. You get to pick how we budget. You get to pick where we get to eat. You get to pick all of it. You get all of the benefits of everything. But my thing is, I'm doing the same thing. Now, I could be out there running around, just getting my dick wet with any random woman that I want to, right? But instead, I'm choosing monogamy, which means I get all the benefits of having a confidant. I have the benefits of recognizing I'm not ever going to get any STDs because you're going to be exclusive to me. I get all the benefits of the trust. I get all the benefits of learning somebody's body, making sure they learn mine, right? All of these benefits that come from a long-term relationship. But if I don't feel secure, I'll just go ahead and keep a piece on the side just in case I need, when I, when I need to. If my wife decides that I'm gonna, she's going to start doing some sexless, you know, uh, dead bed room nonsense and not giving me the pussy that i need so now i'm just gonna go ahead and start hitting up my side piece i'm just keeping her around just in case it's the same exact thing because we expect different things what you expect from me is provision in this relationship that was obvious she expected provision so then that's the thing she was securing and what i expect is monogamy uh one twat when i get home and somebody to cook for me so i'm gonna go ahead and keep me a maid on the side just you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna pair a little bit just to make sure that you know whatever and i'm gonna go ahead and keep my best friend on the side too who happens to be a woman in case things go south Obviously, it doesn't work. 
It's the same exact mentality, the same exact type of betrayal, the same exact type of investment, just uh, relative to the expectations that people were bringing to the relationship. I rest my case. in their so, actual so my, life. So, so yeah, yeah. So that's where I was going with this, and that like I I hear you, and that and where I agree, it's the trust, right? Uh, that is broken in both. Right? Like, and I I don't fault the husband in this situation for feeling like trust was broken. However, um, uh, in the, the difference here is that uh, uh, there are, it's a life-threatening situation. Um, when, no, you're not understanding my question then. Ben. Oh, no, no, I, sorry. I, I'm, I'm not, maybe not, I'm talking to Fanatic. Because Fanatic is then. agreeing with what I'm saying. Oh, okay, well, in any case, what I'm saying is that like... Better fuck the drink! Sorry, what? Nothing. I was gonna say, Dream just popped he just up. Started talking, but we yeah, I was like, where the fuck did Dream come from? You still got like five people in it too. The, 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 yeah, the, the reason I'm at, the reason I interrupt is because he's talking about something that is not directly hitting the point. The okay. point is, what reason could the woman give to you that she's having a side account, an escape fund, that she couldn't, that she couldn't give you for having a side nigga? Protecting life is a good is a ha is it could be used as a reason to have a side nigga because a side nigga is insurance in case that the previous nigga is abusive. So you break up with that nigga and go to the side nigga and he could be the provider and your new provider. Correct? Yes, that's correct. However, like I like you we can understand that like having bro. like like having secret money isn't the same as emotionally bonding with another person. Right, like, and, and to have them uh, on the side, like, we can pretend that these things are equivalent. We can pretend, like, yeah, well, yeah, these we're, are the we're same. playing pretend so, like, right now. That's get, literally the question not is, the case, right? Like, again, on, the on, question on, was, on, wait, wait, what on. reason do you could think? You give? Do you think? Do you think that money, right? Like, uh, I have this. You're not gonna ask I, me a question after I ask you a question. Not answer. Oh, you no, 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 I'm asking you the question. Okay, I'm asking you the question. So, do you think? Do you think that money? Right, like having money on the side, right? That these things is the same as me, like. Uh, or, or and let's talk about your girlfriend, right? Your your girlfriend having money on the side is the same as emotionally bonding with another person, right? Now they're both. Now you're looking at them both as escape plans, right? So they're equivalent there. But um, is uh, is that level of hurt uh, uh gone? Like, you know, oh, this guy was dicking my girl down um at the same time, or maybe just making out, right? Because we're keeping it light. We're keeping it light. Like like fanatic said, we're not dropping off full loads yet. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, we're keeping it light. Yo. But there, but these, uh, but she has emotional uh, investment uh, in this individual rather than like a a, a, a simple financial yeah. investment. Or you found out she had hundred dollars you didn't know about. Okay. Yeah, you rather so, your girl, you don't so again, again, the question was, what reason could the woman give for having an escape fund? That she couldn't give for having a sign again. That was a question. I, I, I didn't answer that question. I answered he that didn't question. answer. That's I, you just didn't like the answer. You just didn't like the answer. You didn't answer. You just said you didn't like the answer. It's okay if you don't like it. The answer. Okay. Okay. I no, 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 no. no, no. Maybe okay. you didn't. Maybe you didn't answer. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe you did because I didn't hear it either. That, but that might be on me. Can you just paraphrase really quickly? What is what? What, what would be the reason for one that that would apply to the other? What was it again? Paraphrase if you don't mind. I'm sorry. I'm no, not no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, because uh, there is a bigger violation of trust because this is an individual, this, this man, this separate man, is uh, they are emotionally bonding. Um, uh, and she's like keeping him warm on the side to leave. That uh, feels, right? Uh, uh, qualitatively different than uh the uh having a uh, money right like uh, in the terms of like my my level violation this is an extra violation on top of it. not only is that oh, secret right there's all okay no 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 you are you are five people in the queue it's okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Prime, yeah. 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 It's okay. Yeah. Prime I I just disagree that those things are different and here's okay. why because for me it's like this level of violation when you're doing this money thing some people could see that as significantly worse and here's why the emotional bomb but the emotional attachment as long as there's like healthy barriers to prevent it from whatever will result in nothing but the the money violation is resulting in me working extra job I'm giving away my time and my life force to do something that I shouldn't have to do because you're withholding money I would say that's a greater violation than oh you had a friend that you might have been slightly attached to because now i had to pay the i had to pay the cost of all of the nonsense that you're doing with this money where you don't have to pay a cost of this side piece that might cook me a meal every now and then in fact i, I did you a favor because you didn't have to cook that meal you don't believe that okay let's go down 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 let's go down
Fine, I'll go next. I'll go. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll hold I'll, I'll put you point. in line. Yeah. You, and you, yeah. you, you, people are going to respond to you anyway. way. Yeah. Uh, so we got Don, uh, uh, Solis. I was about to do in the chat. STV, um, and Bam. What sounds, bro? All right, I ain't going to lie. When y'all, <laughs> so I had a, I had a whole thing, but when y'all brought up the, the comparison between, um, having a side chick and like somebody having an emergency fund i that just threw me all the i just was off the planet <laughs> y'all threw me off with that one um because because and, and here's the here's where i because i was trying I'm, tr I'm always trying to understand like what where's the where's it where's like the actual truth and what people are saying and the real truth of it is is when i was younger in my younger years i would talk to like multiple women i would I would um keep my options open, right? Okay, and no bitches. and um you're right, so is at one point I didn't get no bitches, but I then I did. <laughs> and then my life changed and got worse. No. Um <laughs> it got worse. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't worse. No, okay. No. All right. The the point is this, right? There are things that are like Yes, we can understand how people can try and protect themselves from the uh, the externalities of a, of a relationship going the wrong way. But where I think that this uh, analogy falls flat on its face is that when you have a woman who puts away this money because she's told that men can be abusive and that she needs to have a way to um, basically get back on her feet, if this is a big if, if. She is a stay-at-home person. This is not if she has a job. So this this person putting away this money because this person could be abusive, to that, to that I say, this is for a specific type of woman in a relationship or person in a relationship. If I was a man and my woman was the breadwinner and I was doing all the household chores, I think it would be it would be okay for me to say, hey. I think I should be able to put some money away. I've been taking care of your fucking house for fucking five years. I should be able to put some money away just in case you want to leave me. I can I cannot be on the street, right? Yeah. And I think that goes both ways, men and women. So I'm not yeah. gonna gender it like that. A, a quick response to you right now, Don, is I want you to articulate yeah. why if the woman's uh, mother was also telling, hey, make sure you got a side nigga just in case your current nigga's abusive. This is a dumb point. Why we keep engaging with this? I'm sorry. Because he brought up just exactly what everyone else was saying in the first place. So I'm responding to him because he seems like he doesn't understand what was being said before him. So I want to make sure that he understands. So what is what do you, what do you mean? I don't understand say, what was said before me. I'm about to about to explain because it seems like you were saying that it was not analogous because there's a certain purpose for having a side fund, an escape fund. But I'm trying to give you an explanation how it is analogous. Tell me why or what is different between because you you brought up the example. She was this is what she was told her life. What if she was told in her life oh, that okay. make sure Listen. that it's you have a side? That's not what I said. What if, you miss you misheard me. So the uh, well, the hold point, on, the, the, the wait, crux, wait, I didn't miss. I didn't miss. You, you, did, you did. did. Let me understand. Uh, you, let me, you, you more than likely well, did. Let, well, let him finish. Any way. Answer. So let him finish. So because that is that is content as part of what I said, but that is not the crux of why I think your analogy is wrong. Right. The the crux on why I think your analogy is wrong, the thing that it rests upon, in my opinion, is that when is that and I was trying to explain it and you interrupted me. And the th and that's the thing, is like what I was trying to say was when you have somebody who is putting away money because they've been told that men can be abusive and that women should have a, a feet to land on. And the reason why I, I, I tried to break it apart on the gender thing was because what I was trying to say was as soon as she, right, as soon as she starts to experience that abuse, she should be out. Okay. And she should take that money. She shouldn't be withstanding the abuse and siphoning money from his account. Be just the same way that a man should not be in an unhappy relationship, right? Uh, entertaining other women, right? He shouldn't be because he wants to see a way out. So again, it seems you, you were saying I didn't understand what? when I exactly I absolutely did understand. And it is analogous. And here's why it is. My analogy was simple. You brought up, hey, 
what if this is what she was told? So my analogy is about a, a woman in similar situation where what if this was what she was told to keep a side nigga in case your current nigga is abusive so you can escape using the side nigga and he will be your now provider as a stay at home mom in that uh, because she's a stay at home mom because that was okay, also one it, of I your friends. So this is a, I get it. One second. Yeah, I, okay. And I kind of okay. want, I kind of want, and I kind of want to end this like, I'll let you respond to me and I'll let that be the last word because this is what I'm going to say. But you're not even allowing okay. me to finish. So go ahead. All right. I, I just what? said, I said I would give you the last word, bro. But, but you interrupt me to say I will give you the last word. But it's not even your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> it's a oh, How is it your turn? He was in the middle of talking. What are you talking about? Because it's Dream was talking. Dream was talking and he interrupted him oh, and said, have, I'll let you, you get the you last word. You haven't been engaging then. This is Don's turn. As dream Don, was in the middle of a dream, sentence. Dream, 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 dream was in the middle okay, of a like dream 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 was in the okay, middle okay, of a Don, sentence when Don back, started pull back, speaking. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. I decide, I decide who's talking. I don't care, right? So I'm gonna let Don finish uh, his point. Go ahead, Don. Here's what I think. I think that this is more of like a meta thing between me and you, Dream, is what I'm is what I'm sensing because I don't value um, a woman's ability to get back on her feet the same way I value uh, your emotional needs for a relationship. So those that's two things, said. but that's what I'm saying. I'm no, gonna present, no, I, I am asserting, no, I'm asserting to you that. I'm asserting to you that, that that is what I see. I said, I don't, though, hold on, sex, do that. I don't, hold on. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not Leroy, living in your, your turn as well. Go I'm ahead. not living yeah. in your world. Okay, I'm not living in your world. You want me to go on a dialogue with you? I'm not, I'm gonna tell you the difference that I see. And you can engage with what I'm saying, but I'm not gonna go on your train of thought. I'm telling you that what I see is there is a difference, this is my opinion, that there is a difference between somebody wanting to get back on their feet monetarily because they have been out of work, and then somebody wanting to get back into a relationship because they just got out of one. It's the needs and the way it operates in society are, in my opinion, different. I understand. And uh, what you said is not what I said, right? So I, I agree with what you just said. There, that is different. But the characterization is that you need to get back on your feet is what I'm saying is the same in both situations. You have a side nigga because you would want to get back on your feet with that nigga being your provider after you break up with your current abusive nigga in case he's abusive. In that scenario, please respond to what I'm saying. What the difference is. Talk about what he wants to talk about. This is yeah, right. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because it's not my analogy was wrong, so I'm, okay. respond, I'm, I'm okay. debating okay. back. I'm, this, I'm critiquing what he's saying that I, I was wrong with my analogy and it was this analogous. So, so I'm uh, correcting uh, him yeah. about how it is actually analogous. Okay, hold on. Dream, did you, did you uh, get out your point completely? To be clear, let me make it. Let me make it super succinct and clear for Don. This is the analogy I'm making. Give him what he wants. I'll give him what he wants. I know what he wants. I'll give it no, to no, him. No, 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 how can he do that? Let him do it. Let him do it because then yep. later on he's going to say I, he, he didn't finish his point. So go ahead, finish your point. Yes. What? Dream, I'm saying talk. like get, I'm letting you. you go. Like finish, Thank you. finish the you say you're yes. Say. Here we go. Here is the super succinct, clear point. On one hand, you have one woman. Who has an escape fund for this for the reason to get back on her feet in case, right? That her current husband is abusive. On the other hand, right? So that's woman one. Woman two has a side nigga for the exact same reason in case her current husband is abusive and uses her side nigga, her future nigga, to be to to be the provider and hence use that to get back on her feet instead of just having an escape fund. Both are escapes. One is with a fund and one is with a nigga for the okay. same reason to get so back on her feet and have the, a future. And here's and before, the and before you and respond, and before you respond, okay, before you respond, dream like uh, this is going to be end of it. He's going to respond and then we're going to move on. So you don't get to uh, uh, go, uh, go back and forth. Sure. Then. No problem. That's a long fine. list. Go ahead. I just want him to answer. John. So, so, so here's the thing, right? Even in your scenario, I'm going to have, because what you're doing is you're creating a, a hyper qualification and I get it, but that's a hyper scenario. So what I'm going to say is if that girl has side niggas that are already paying her bills, that is, that is one thing. Another, another thing is to say that she has a side nigga that's willing to pay her bills. If that's what you're saying, that is still different than taking money from this guy and putting it away. It is different. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. She she could have it in her head that he's going to pay all her bills. 
Yeah. Okay. She okay. could have that. Yeah, that's 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 moving on. Solus. Did I? I'm sorry. I don't. I don't have this is no... ridiculous, Prime. So you have to make him answer. Oh, as, oh, as the moderator, Prime, you have to make him answer. As the moderator, you have to. Uh, in order hold to have on, a good hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 Dream, Now you fucked uh, up because now you're telling me my job. Don't fucking tell me my job. I, because I you, stated you said I can't even respond. I stated specifically. I stated specifically. I told you exactly what was going to happen. I said specifically that you're not going to be able to respond. We got a long list. You said you okay, you and respond. I don't give a fuck. Don't question me on this. Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't test me. I promise you, don't test me. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> Moving on. Soulless. Thank you. You scolded him like a seven-year-old boy. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to smoke. I was just going to say that, like, I believe that, like, in a relationship, you should operate on this is what I try to, like, live and die by. If I didn't or did trust you, my, is that me? Probably is that me? Keep going. Anyway, if I didn't trust you the way you didn't trust me because the relationship function is the way I like to go about relationships, and I think that's a rule that most people should utilize. If I did what you did, would this work? If I had what you had, would you be okay with it? Right? Wait, is that am I still echoing? Because I turned my fucking headset all the way down. That can't be me. Uh, I feel like I, it is I, you. But I, no, I'm going to try to catch it. I keep talking. I'll, I'll figure it out. I was about to say, like, I'm turning my... I can barely hear y'all now. Like, is this still echoing? No, I, I don't hear it yet. No, it only echoes when we talk, not, not when you're talking. Okay. Uh, fuck is... Anyway. Anyway, also let's say that I, I believe that basically like you should operate in relationships that if somebody doesn't trust you the way that you don't trust them, could the relationship operate? Now some people might even say yes, right? Like some people might have a situation where you can have your side thing contingency plan and I'll have mine and I'm okay with that. But I think that like people should negotiate those things. And to that point, Bam, you said something earlier that I thought was really interesting, right? Because I was thinking this entire time, if this is how you feel on the inside, why keep this a secret? Because I feel like you can find a situation where somebody is okay with you having this side fund. It seems to be like you and Prime would be of that family tree but then you said i'm gonna keep it a secret because i don't want somebody to manipulate me out of it and i was just interested it's like why do you think somebody who's smart enough to have this side fund could be manipulated to not use it for what they were going to use it for i don't Sorry. think i don't think it takes a very smart person to have it i don't think like like i think that mm. i think that having it isn't like a big step in itself like i said okay. I, I believe that it, i believe that one you can be manipulated out of it Two, I think that it, even if even if you're doing it in good faith, like so, even if this woman was the breadwinner, like she was the only income in the relationship, and she was like open about it, I think it can create extra turmoil and in, in conversation in the relationship that probably isn't necessary. Like so, in this situation, it ended up coming to coming to the blows of him finding out and they had problems. But realistically, in probably ninety nine percent of the situations, I don't think that this generally comes up as, as an issue, and it's probably for her well being. There's also going to be a certain point in a relationship where it no longer becomes necessary. I would imagine, like to me, even the, the amount of forty seven thousand dollars seems a little high for an escape fund, personally. But I, I didn't want to get into the semantics of that. If she was when we got to go big to you know, was trying to go to Miami disagreements. Well, it's eight okay. years over. It's mm -hmm. it's seven fifty a month over eight years. I, so. Wait, wait. So, bam. You, so, okay. Because you said a lot there. You don't give not even a little. So, do you think that this is like a normal thing? Like, this isn't at all taboo where somebody or specifically a woman is going to have money on the side? You don't think that that's in itself an intelligent ideology that lends itself to like, if you do this, you're not going to be tricked out of your spot? Especially you among black women. I think it's higher than most men think. I think you that, don't at I, all. But that's what I'm asking. Like, you think the kind of person that will do that can also be tricked out of their spot with it? Oh, well, I mean, well, we're just going to materially disagree at that mm. point then. Because I don't, I, that's like, because I don't think if you buy a, like, okay, like, if you have a gun, right, I don't think a nigga can, like, you can pull it out, be ready to use it, and a motherfucker trick you to put it down. Like, if you are nigga, smart enough to have love. this huh? I think people, even people being abused still have, like, can have really strong levels of love for their partner. So if their partner, like, what, like, the, the, the ideal situation, like, we're talking about, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm doing bad financially, I was in an accident, like, I need money, you know, don't you love me, let's support our relationship. That could, like, that could be completely reasonable, and it, or it could be abusive, but it's going to sound the same. Like, it's going to sound exactly the same when it comes out, and I think that even someone who's, like, smart and on up and up can do, do things against their best interest for the sake of love. Please understand your perspective, but I think this is where we're going to materially disagree. I don't think the person that has the contingency plan can ever get to that point of love. I don't think you're ever going to actually have the ability to trust and love somebody if you have mm -hmm. that contingency plan. Yeah. Boom. And that's exactly my point, Solis. Because in order to get to that level of love, that level of intimacy, it takes that level of trust. It takes that level of vulnerability. That's exactly my point.
So I'm going to, so next is going to be uh, a Swerve, STV, Bam, and Fnatic. I'm sure you have lots to say after that, and I'll put you there. Uh, oh, and um, Dream, is there, you got your hand up? Okay, sure. Um, uh, so Swerve, uh, you're next. I mean, um, there's been so many, like, uh, I guess, secondary uh, bits or topics thrown in here. I really don't know where to start because I wanted to talk a minute ago, but I'm just getting in and now. But I guess, like, my whole take is, is like it's an emergency fund and in order to effectively i guess like i agree with bam and i and i get i get the idea that it's still in distaste and, and you know um may break the con you know the contract of trust and things like that but if we're looking at and i and i honestly not even tapping into the whole idea that this is like um this limits you from the full capacity of truly expressing love but just to talk about the fact of what it is it's an emergency fund Right, it's an in case of emergency fund, and in order for it to be most effective, I think that um, in that scenario, if we're just vacuuming it, for it to be most effective for the for the person who who is actually doing this, the partner shouldn't know about it. It should be exclusive. It should be exclusive information because, like Bam is trying to say, is if things take a turn in a scenario that you can't foresee. Or your partner switches up, or it's it, 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 even if it's a reasonable thought, like, "Hey, man, like I know you have this money, but like I have zero dollars in the banking account and zero dollars, and I've maxed out all my credit cards. Can you please, like, he's begging, and you're forced to make an emotional, you know, you know, your your um, you're caught between the crossroads and making that decision, right? Um, that defeats the purpose of the funds themselves. No, um, wait, having, wait, what? It defeats um, the purpose. It defeats no. the purpose of it being an emergency fund. Absolutely, it does. But I don't. I don't think. I, well, I definitely don't. I, I definitely don't disagree. Uh, Swerve. Uh, yes. If, and I think everyone's been saying this, and I feel like it's been circling around, and I feel like maybe people think that we disagree, and I definitely don't disagree. If it's an emergency fund, it loses a lot of its effectiveness if the person knows that it's there. There's no denying that because now I have the ability to pressure you about it. Now I can literally start making contingencies with the idea of what your emergency fund is so as to limit you in those kind of ways. There's all sorts of things that you can do to try your best to limit an emergency fund or, or any sort of, any, any, whatever. It's like how when they do those shooting drills in the elementary school, and it's like, well, if I'm a school shooter and I'm inside of those things, like I know what you're doing now. Now I know what your plans are. Now I know how to fight, fight. You know what I mean? So I, I, we agree that it's less effective. I, I don't think, I don't think efficaciousness uh, of the thing is enough to, to argue that it's now moral, though. I, I don't think that's a, okay. We're, so we're, we're then, past that uh, point. Can, so can I present a question that does put that into question real quick? Then, um, knowing that, um, and this is speculation, right? This may not even apply to this very specific scenario, but take this into consideration, right? The person who is doing this siphoning for the funds in this emergency account, right, um, has created the idea that this is this is what they need to do. And even though it may go against the bounds of trust, do you do you think that this immoral decision? Do you think, OK, what I'm, I guess what I'm really trying to get at is do you think immoral decisions are. Um, unforgivable. I, that's what I, I mean. Asking. That's, what, that's what I'm asking because, like, she's she, at the base of it is probably through a traumatic experience, and she's just trying to protect herself. So, at the end of the day, um, she is doing something that is in distaste to the to what a relationship, what the true idea of a love in a relationship is. Mm -hmm. But her 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 reasons for it are to protect herself in case of in case of emergency. Sure. So, do you I, think that um, doing I, that is yeah, I heard it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I hear. It. Yeah. So there's there's two there's two responses to that. One, I've said it for for a long time. I refuse to pay for the sins of another man. I am me. I'm a very trustworthy, straightforward person. If I'm with you and you can't trust me, such that you're going to be going through my phone, such that you're going to be checking my Facebook, such that you're going to be looking over my shoulder, such that you're going to be limiting on what I can do and what whatever and so on and so forth. If you don't know me enough to know me better than that, then we're not actually in a relationship. Because I don't believe in holding anything back in relationships. So no, that that's inc it's it's incompatible for me. Number one. Right. Um, number two, I looked at um, there's a person. Um, she used to come on these streams a lot. I liked her. She was a really really cool person. Um, Jay Cook's Nada. We this topic actually came up um a, a long time ago. She was talking about that 
because of her family situation, she said this publicly was the only reason why I'm repeating it. Um, she said because of her family situation, like their elders had always made it very clear that the women would always have jobs. They would always be dang near the breadwinners. They would never, ever be solely dependent on a man because of all the financial abuse and stuff that they had experienced in the past. And I, I get what leads you to that situation. But if I'm a person that I, if I know that the motivation behind your actions are a lack of trust or a lack of belief or a lack of faith in our relationship, then at that point, then that means that you're not fully committed to the relationship. If you're committed to your own self-interest and in, in uh, as opposed to the interest of the relationship, if you're looking at your self-interest as something distinct from the relationship, then that means this isn't the relationship for you. Because your interest is my interest. My interest should be your interest. If you're willing to withhold that, it doesn't work. Think if you withhold your love. Think if you withhold your honesty. Think if you, if you withhold your affection. If you withhold anything in a relationship, I'm talking about marriage here now, right? If we're withholding those types of things, then that's automatically creating wedges. We're not even getting the full benefit of the, this relationship. So I can't do that. I understand that. Please get that true. nigga Philly the ball. Okay, let's go after it. Philly hasn't said anything. And I respect we're that. Go, that. I respect that. We're going to STV. Um, Bam, fanatic, dream. Oh, and uh, Don. You did. Please and go. no, I don't, mind, I don't mind listening because now I think I understand everybody's perspective. If y'all will allow me like four please, or five minutes. Please, you have time. Go ahead. You've been waiting. Please go. Um, so I think, like I said, I think I understand everybody's perspective except for Prime and Bam. So... I'm going to ask you a couple questions just so just to clear a couple of things up. So I'm going to make a statement and tell me if you agree or not. Okay. So um, you think that uh, the escape, the purpose of an escape fund is basically harm reduction and you want to avoid emotional, physical, or financial abuse. And the purpose of the escape fund is, is in case those things happen, you have money to escape the situation yes. if you're being abused. Okay. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. So, would you would you think it's okay to abuse somebody to meet those goals or meet the meet those ends? Wait, you he's saying oh, that, assuming that, that this is abuse. I think it would be what we can if we consider it abuse or not. Prom okay. already submitted it as a, a break of trust, but okay, I would argue. You, I guess yeah, I would say yeah, I'm fine with it then. Yeah. I don't think I would any, argue. And, and, and to be clear, right I don't now. think any, any break of trust is abuse, right? Like you can break mm -hmm. someone's trust, but that's not well, what, what I would consider I abuse. Consider if so it happens a, consistently over time, it is. Um, uh, so in any case, I don't, uh, I'm not, uh, I wouldn't be convinced that this is necessarily a, a abuse. So not one instance, not one off instances, but consistently over time, it de fits the definition of abuse. Absolutely. Prime just gave his position okay. on what he said. It was. Right. I don't no, understand so what you're do you actually wait, disagree wait, with uh, that? If you uh, break somebody's trust right. consistently over time, it's not STV. abuse. That's what Prime, you think. Prime sure. said he doesn't. He, has, he hasn't heard an argument trust, so far that's really convinced him hey, that hey, this hey, is a, what he just said. Prime, Prime, would you say that it's improper to break someone's trust? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, and, hmm. um, Marley. Yeah, I think it's I think it's by improper. I'll say it's a, a moral harm, a moral wrong. Can I ask break a question? Person? Okay, so then by definition, yeah. it's for a greater. Okay, wait, 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 Prime. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to shoot at you like other niggas. I just want to ask. Her, but even in the case like this, where like you're taking money out of the unified fund shit, like even in that case, you still don't feel like it's all fucked up. Well, not fucked so, up, but abusive. So, <laughs> so uh, that's exactly what I was about to say. I would argue that this is financial abuse because. The legal definitions and a few definitions I've read and I've been reading while you guys have been talking, um, <laughs> basically what it boils down to is financial abuse is a common tactic used by an abuser or in this case, uh, this would I would put the woman. So this woman to gain power and control in a relationship. Now, she was not doing that. But if you go down to like um, if you if you read further down into like more about financial abuse, it says um the term economic abuse or financial abuse in the context of domestic violence, dating violence, and abuse in later life means behavior that is coercive, deceptive, or unreasonably controls or restrains a person's ability to acquire, use, or maintain economic resources to which they are entitled. That's the key part right there. He was deprived and he was not, he was restrained from using resources to which he was entitled to 
So, uh, so I wasn't even are siphoning the seven hundred and fifty dollars a month out of their joint account. Those are funds he's entitled to. So I would argue that she is financially abusing him in this situation, um, and that's where, like, I think I disagree with Prime and Black American Me is because she's abusing him to escape abuse. I wasn't Hold asking, on. like, the legal what? definition. I, I'm just asking, like, Prime purely. Do you feel that if I am essentially, or you, whoever you want to be, if you're supposed to be working for us, but instead you're, in fact, working for, for her in that regard that she has a side money, you still, even in that scenario, don't feel like it's abuse. It's not the separate account joint. Like, you're supposed to be one unified front here. Y'all money is y'all money. There is no you and me. It's us. You still feel like that's not abuse? I mean, and you're I the bread earner at that point. It, it, so I don't... Mm -hmm. One, I think, uh, and I'm not going to shoot you. Like I'm not more pleased. No, I, no, I, don't, I don't think you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to engage your question here, right? I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do do so. Um, I don't know. Um, okay, I, I like you guys are trying to categorize an abuse and say like, okay, so uh, if you, um, if you are using abuse, then then uh, as your path of leaving, then uh, that would be a problematic. I think that this was while a break of trust a reasonable way of um, reasonable a reasonable considering her situation right because she didn't have any other uh income um i don't think it falls even under the definition that was read um by our friend sv philly right like yeah the point of a, of abuse in, in this case of uh, financial abuse is to gain power over the other person simply uh, depriving them like you can call it stealing right i think you if, if you want to call it stealing all right um but like that's different from uh what we're talking about when when what experts are talking about when it comes to economic abuse i don't think you could find a, a single expert um like like but a person who works with these sorts of women these abuse partners right who would ever say that this action counts as abuse so I, I, I and, and I just don't see it uh, as that either. Now, again, I can I can state all day that's a, a it's a break of trust, and you could say stealing, and maybe is it is it a crime? Can it be prosecuted for? It? I don't know, right? Do so you not feel that she gains power in this situation? Like she's not better equipped to leave this relationship if it all goes to shit? It's no, no it's, not, it's not three thousand dollars, and they as a couple have <laughs> have none. No, they, they don't have none. I mean, and even, and even well, they whatever did. And even they did. Okay, even uh, the value... It might have even been negative. They might have even been in debt. Okay. So they might have been negative as a couple. Sure, but that doesn't the matter in made. terms of... Uh, uh, the fu the fund is... money from them. Yeah, I, the fund, money, I don't want... You don't need to repeat the situation to me. I understand the situation. No, no, I, know. I got it. I'm, I'm, right, right, I'm, right, I'm not right, repeating the situation. That's my argument. Prime, go, please. Can I add a... Can I add like a, a small like uh, a caveat, like a maybe a small Fuck thing? Fuck it, go ahead. This? You're here now. Um, what if there was an agreement um uh between the what if there was an agreement between uh the husband and wife where uh whatever funds were in the joint, uh they had agreed that a thousand of it a month went to her and she chose to put a uh, half of that into the secret fund? Would that still would that still be uh seen as being uh, no, I allocated amount of funds, and you're not using the allocated amount of funds. If the you have secrecy an, is what's wrong with it. Yeah, if you have an agreement and then you break that agreement, then that that would, would be the consistent thing that's wrong in both those scenarios. No, I mean, like but, but this would like be the same. Thousand. Yeah, what what Razor is saying is that like, okay, so a thousand dollars is is leaving the account. Um, and sorry, did you say For to a private person. account to her private account? In general, like basically, like basically, it's the the there's the joint fund that she's working all the stuff, and the husband agrees, like, I want to have you have some play money for when I'm at work and you do some things, have a thousand a month. Yeah, like, okay. and she takes half of that and puts it into and puts it into that secret uh, escape fund. They yeah. have a problem with it because they think they need to know where her, her money is. No, yeah. no, no. Wait, no, I, that's I wouldn't not, have a wait, what? hold on. Do, do, do we? Do we have a problem with that? I, I, was I, I, say, I don't. I, I, I was don't know. Say, I'm not swinging. If if he agrees, like, hey, you have your money to do whatever the fuck you want with at a thousand right. bucks a month at that clip. Yeah. Yep. You're agreeing to it, nigga. Like, wait a minute. You wait a minute. No, this this puts yeah. you back against so, the concept no, of a private account. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna say what I was gonna say. Like, my turn anyway. The, the concept of a private the account it literally necessitate, like, literally, like, in, not in, in necessitates. Was the thing where, like, basically, um, begs the question of this: if we have an agreement that this is our joint money and this is my private account with my money in it, 
That like that uh, that would assume that we have an agreement that I can do whatever I want with the money in my private account. But y'all hey, disagree with that. Y'all say no, you can't. I'm no, sorry. no, 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 Razor, no, Razor, no, no, no. Let me respond, Razor. Just to be clear, because uh, Bam can't speak for us, and as we told you, none of us disagreed. He just doesn't understood our point this entire time, which is why I limit my engagement with yeah. him. But to respond directly to you, the answer is for us. No, we don't feel like it would be problematic because the distinction is. If you, if, again, we mentioned this earlier in the conversation, if everyone was keeping up, we mentioned if the money has been allocated such that it belongs to her, remember the word allocated, we said that earlier, then she can do whatever she wants with it. So if she has money that's earmarked for her, $1,000 and decides I'm going to only lose, I'm going to use 300 of this as my own like uh, private escape fund, that part right there no longer becomes abusive. Um, I, I would still say, it be, I, I would still feel that there is a violation of trust if you start doing if you're doing so intentionally secretly to hide it from them then that's obvious by definition lack of trust and i would have a problem with that but it is very very distinct and not as ab not abusive like the other things where you're taking money that's supposed to be used for the household and secretly putting it to the side those two things are distinct so you don't consider a private account as an allocation of money no, that's what oh we're saying. Oh my God! Man, no, a joint. I'm not engaging with it. That's not a joint. That's not a It's very I'm not engaging with it. Go ahead, Razor. You're good. You said you said having a secret ex. Bam, it's okay. Razor. No, I'm not going to. I'm about to say prom. You have. I know you should think you can draw, but like some that what I'm saying crazy. The idea of like you have your joint accounts and then you allocate money into it and you still have your separate private accounts. That's not considered a form of monetary allocation. That's what we're saying right now. That's what we're saying is like not true. Yes. Like, okay. Here. Razor, go ahead. No, no, no. Okay. Ignore that. Please just go ahead. We're just not going to talk about it because they know we're stupid. No, sure. Hold on, let me clear here. I will we're clarify. stupid. It's I'll not clarify. you. I will clarify. Right. That's not an allocation uh, of money. You're right. I'm going to clarify purely. I'm going to clarify purely so that way I can see if I if we're agreeing or not, Bam. Because I'm not. Because at this point I've lost track. Uh, I'm saying that what if if the husband and wife agreed that. Um, the with the funds he says honey i love you have a have 1000 of the joint fund for yourself for play money basically just like do whatever you want with that 1000 a month i'm giving you because i love you so much and she says oh she says cool and doesn't tell and but then she doesn't tell him that she's taking half or 300 of that and yeah. putting it into a separate secret fund that is her escape fund, but she still has that one private mm -hmm. account uh, that uh, the husband 100% knows that the, the thousands yeah. going into. Go ahead, Bam. Yeah, I know. I uh, like I said, I understand that. I'm fine with that, but I was fine with it regardless. I'm saying okay. that if we, I'm saying that if we, the, the same would be true if we decided how much money we had were had for the household that we put into a joint account and then we we allocated uh, separate like the remaining money into our own individual private accounts. I'm saying that at that point, the money in my private account, that would seem that we already allocated that this is my money to do what I want with. But yeah. but but the but that's what was being disagreed. We're saying I, that I, that's not a form of money allocation. I that's see, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You're saying that sounds crazy to me. So the no, main, so you don't see what he's saying, Bam, because none of us said that thing. He's just being he's just creating contingents that didn't exist because we didn't no, disagree I, with that. This is stupid. We were not had this conversation. Let me let me let me try to work this out, right? And so I'm going to try to repeat what you said, Bam, to make sure that we're on the same page in case we're not. Um, you're saying that um, you're drawing a, a, a separate scenario from what Razor has in which um, is specifically being given as a um, uh, a play money. But like um, in this situation, uh, you've gone through like your expenses, right? You've done everything within that pool. Um, and from there, you're, pull, you're taking money out, right? You, you already uh, established you're taking money out um, and putting it in your private accounts. And, you're not, and it's not to do anything. It's just like this is a regular thing we do. We put money into our, our private accounts. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm because yeah, I, like I, I said no, not in allowance. And we agreed. No, I you, we didn't agree because I said earlier the, the reason we had this conversation, because I said, how who changes their feelings if she has her own job? I said if she has her own job with her own account and she takes care of our expenses, she puts money into the, the household. Like, but she still decides to take a portion of her money from her job and put it aside in a secret account. People were saying that that would I, be a problem. I just heard the her job. The part. second secret part. The secret part is the same thing that I said as 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 every time. Okay, I, the second it becomes secret, I'm sorry, Bam. I'm going to say it in slow motion so you can make sure you get it this time because everyone else can already follow. When it's a secret, 
this is where we have a problem. Yes, if it's secret, if yeah, I know, I know, I'm, I'm petty. When it's a secret, it's a problem. If you allocate separate money and the person decides to use their money as a rainy day fund, they can do so all that they want to in their own independent, sole-owned account. That's totally fine. We used the word allocated earlier. And if it's allocated, it's fine. If it's ever become secret, it becomes a violation of trust. And there is no An distinction. Abuse. Sure, I would say that it becomes a form. Oh, so in razor, no, 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 no. As I said earlier, you keep trying to intentionally mishear. It is not abusive if the money's already been allocated and you decided to withhold some of that money that's already been allocated for you. Then it's not abusive, but it is still a violation of the trust. Did you follow this time? Okay, probably so not, huh? So, so I can we're tell saying you're still confused up there. Okay, yeah. so we're saying that. So yeah, he didn't get it. Okay, so we're saying a violation <laughs> of the trust. Isn't inherently abusive, which we just fought prime down for for twenty minutes. When he said that, he said that like he can understand why it's a violation. I got it. He didn't consider it abusive, and we all went around. We all went around. I'm not nothing. I'm saying is stupid. You're not about to gaslight me on this. Prime said. Prime literally said he's like I would consider a violation. I would consider a violation of trust, but I don't consider it abusive. And everyone went around and said, "No, prime is definitely abusive. You know, it's abusive. Violation of trust means it's abusive." I've been waiting for a while. Here's the minutes. essence. In like 30 seconds. Like, that's crazy. Oh, like, uh, what was just, that? Just, SCP, you feel like you haven't. You didn't yeah, you still got more points. Let's try to get a couple minutes. And yeah, so so just just to respond to Bam, I'm not even going to be that long. I promise. Unreasonably. Control, <laughs> unreasonably <laughs> controlling or restraining a person's ability to acquire, use, or maintain economic resources to which they are entitled. Bam, you're not entitled to your girlfriend's. Can you get close wife. to your mic. Oh my God, you're, you're so quiet. Yeah, please. I'm hearing you. All right. Sorry. Can you hear me? Is that better? Yeah, That's you're great. Better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, what I was saying was, bam. The, the the difference that we're that I'm having a problem with, and probably fanatic and other people as well, is that um, it's it's maintaining economic res it's controlling or restraining a person's ability to use or maintain resources to which they are entitled, right? So, a joint fund like uh, the man and the woman are both entitled to a joint fund, if a woman has a personal bank account. The man is not entitled to the woman's personal bank account. He's not entitled to um, any like any involvement or use of it. But once she starts taking money out of their joint, secretly taking money out of their joint bank account, and you know stashing that away, that's where it becomes a problem. Well, <laughs> but so it could be a break of trust, but not necessarily abusive. And let me respond to that specific point because. We're 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 harking we're harping on the word abuse too much when we should just already establish it. even if it's not abuse it's wrong to do right uh, does anyone disagree with the claim that breaking somebody's trust within a relationship is wrong is 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 wrong does anyone disagree with that I think that there's I think that there's a, a issue of a greater good like it's weird to just call it wrong because it doesn't exist in a vacuum if the, like if, if if for example something just to give people something some meat to chew on to. Pause. If my um, pause, yeah. If I had, or well, like, I actually do have like uh, siblings and cousins and loved ones, or women in my life. And if they're going on a first date, and the guy says, "Oh, leave your wallet at home. I got you. I'm taking care of you." Like, uh, she can say what she wants, but I'm gonna tell I'm, her, "Bring money with you. Like, uh, bring money with you in case things go uh, south, so you can either get away from the date. So if maybe his card declines, just not be in that situation. You should protect yourself." Now, is that is that Wait, breaking uh, his trust? Sure, but I think that there's a greater good involved. I don't in think a date? Wrong. I don't think I don't think you have I don't think, you, don't have, have, I don't I think, think you have the commitment. I don't think you have the commitment of transparency, honesty, and and, and you know, excuse me. I don't think you have the commitment of transparency and honesty in a blind date or a random nigga that you do with with your husband, your life partner. So in and that's saying that way differently, but you're saying it's oh, it's not. You, you still say it's wrong to lie. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Totally it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong to lie. Um, yeah, it's wrong to go on this date and lie to this person you're supposed to be getting to know. You would still call he, that a moral wrong, wouldn't you? Wait, hold on. Yes. Hold on. 
Right. So, but it's okay yeah, it's, to do for the greater good. It's only a lie. It's only a lie if she tells him, yes, I'm going to leave my wallet at home and then doesn't leave her wallet at home. But I would sit there and I would probably like whoever yeah. I'm talking to, whatever significant or, or fa- family member or friend or whoever the freak I'm talking, I would tell, no, don't, don't, don't even grant that. Why would you start out by lying? First off, don't it's ever lie. There's no reason to that. And then don't de- commit to this nigga. Yeah, I'm going to leave my wallet at home because you told me to. No, I'll bring my wallet. It's fine. Why would I need to leave my wallet? My wallet, first off, my wallet carries my ID in it. There's so much many reasons why I'm not going to just leave my wallet at home. But if you want to pay, you can pay. I'm going to keep my wallet on me. You would need to commit yeah, to that. You, you, would, you would never need the reason to start off a relationship with a lie. Terrible. Terrible. Also, uh, the, the point that I want to make absolutely is this. That no, how I started with the, a lie. The principle, the principle that you would have to be okay with is that when you, if you, when you anticipate somebody doing harm to you, it's okay for you to do harm first to them. Like you would have to be okay with that principle in order for you to try to justify what this woman is doing, right? So you're trying to say in any scenario where you think something is going to go down bad down the line, don't react to it. Just do the harm first, harm the other person first, because you think it's going to happen later on. That's what I she's doing. Like sort of, it sounds, it I, I think we're like weighing out harm. Weird. I think that somebody's protecting them. So like, I, like harm your this, ego by yeah, bringing yeah, a wallet. This, this there, feels, is, uh, is there, is there any other way to protect like yourself that, other than harming somebody? With, I don't with, how you're saying, with, with what you're saying, it feels like it's going to set a weird precedent where uh, – Women simply taking precautions because yeah, it's not now abusive. Is there any other way yeah. to take a precaution no. besides abusing someone else? Is I don't there think you have to let yes. someone know oh, wait, about wait, every precaution. Wait, wait, you take. wait, one I second. No, 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 can, I, can, I, can I go? You ahead. cannot fathom of any other precaution a woman may take. Yes, I don't think you have to let someone know every precaution you take. I don't know that you have no, to. No, that's not the question he's asking. That's not the question he's basically saying. I'm sorry, we can just say it in, 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 in declarative form. You can take precautions without abusing people. We don't have a problem. With taking precautions, we have a problem with abusing people. But we don't consider it abuse, right? We, we, we have a problem with abusing people and claiming it for the better, for the greater good. We also have a we have a problem with doing immoral things, trying to claim it for the greater good. The immoral thing is rarely ever, if never, if not never, the the the, the greater good. The greater good is to do the good thing, and then always it'll always work out in your in your favor. It's never a benefit to lie. There's never a good reason you can tell me oh, why you should lie. Uh, well, I can't think of any. Yeah, I, well, you, I hear, well, I'm not gonna. No, no, I'm not gonna entertain it with you. But it's fine. It's never a good reason to lie. So if you're lying saying it's for the greater good it's going to create more destruction because guess what lying erodes trust trust is a foundation in a relationship so the, the second you started off in that way now you've created you've already ruined the foundation so no it's not a good thing to do it's never in your best interest so instead if someone's telling you to do something that would be harmful such that you would need to lie about it then at that point then they're already asking you to do things that are positive for a relationship there's already incompatibility Fanatic is also like just to be clear because I know where some of you are already thinking. Fanatic is, is using this within the context of a relationship and not saying, Oh, if a Nazi knocks on your door and asks if there's any Jews, and if you're hiding Jews, is it okay to lie there? I think Fanatic would be saying that's it's what okay Fanatic said, though. That's um, why. I, so, yeah, uh, I, I, just I, very, I don't know why I would be in that kind of situation in the first place, but yeah, go ahead. Just very, very, that's why I, 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 just him. because I didn't do it before. Just, just business. Hey guys, if it's important, if you like this uh, uh, <laughs> content, right, um, and you have supported, yeah, consider supporting the channel. Um, subs to the channel, give bits to give subs. Like that's uh, what powers this. Allows me to, guys, individuals. We have, like, we're having a really passionate debate, and I can see you guys in chat enjoying it, and uh, you know, um, uh, jumping in on this. So consider supporting the channel by uh, subbing um, using Amazon Prime, such Prime Gaming, if you have it. It does mean a lot, uh, and it powers this community so I can keep up with these guys around. And if you're on YouTube, consider uh, giving us a hype chat. Um, we'll read that out. Um, if you've got a question or have a comment you want to put in, um, that's the way to do it. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, someone else was going to uh, jump in. Um, yes, sir. I was about to say, so, so Fanatic, do you want to correct your statement? Do you want to leave yet? Because I'm sure you... you know. I was going to say for the second, I don't know why I would be harboring Jews in the first place. That's the question that really right. really gets to the bottom. But, but if you were, <laughs> anyway, if you were, you were lying, right? You Nigga, lie come I would never be harboring them. So but if you were, you would lie for the greater good, right? I got to do no, no, this shit. I'm sorry, you're calling it the greater good. Right? I wouldn't okay. be harboring okay. them okay. in the first place. You, 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 you are harboring light-skinned Negroes, right? In a world that we don't like light-skinned Negroes anymore. All right? Light-skinned Negroes do. No, he forces Negroes everywhere. 
everyone down to questions, and he thinks he can laugh his way out of his own. Oh, oh, laugh! I'm not, I don't have to laugh. I can say it with a straight You're face. You're not engaging. I, I wouldn't. I, I don't have to laugh. I would just say it with a straight face. I wouldn't harbor them in the first place, so that I wouldn't need to be in a situation where I would have to lie. Oh, this nigga's an okay, idiot. So you, on, that, okay. That's not a fair answer. You, I'm talking about he pins people down. Oh, I'm the idiot. This question. I'm yes, the idiot. I just gave engaging. you the answer, moron. You're just no, saying that I wouldn't be in this situation. You're a dirty no, ass mood, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. If he, if he, okay, so if he, if he wants us, hold on, I see you, Razor. Razor, I see you. This crazy. Uh, 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 no way you can but, respect that. Uh, but Bam, but Bam does want an answer here, right? And so, like, what name? Name the undesirable that you prefer, right? If it's not Jews, okay, but that's fine. Name the undesirable you prefer, and then society, the the police are coming, knocking on your door, and and saying that you're gonna harbor them, asking if you're harboring them. Um. I'm a very clever person, so what I would probably do is, without lying, I would just go ahead and talk around them so that I don't have to do that. Yeah, I don't it lie. said he had passed so the speech out check. Out the That's true. Like, yeah. I sure would. Wait a minute. The, the secret uh, account yeah, is a libel omission. It. It's not in your vows. It was crazy, but it was crazy yeah, when I assumed. That's not a lie. But it was cool okay, when I no. assumed that that other guy should have had it all figured out, right? And that he's stupid. But now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stick to that point. Let's stick to that point. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, for a second, right? Hold on, you uh, come on, uh, fanatic, please, right? Like you, <laughs> you know, like that would still be a, a lie, right? Like they're asking you a direct yeah. question, lie by and, and you're still uh, like uh, hiding the truth, right? In this case, um, uh, that could happen within the context of the relationship we've been talking about this entire time. Um, so I, I don't know. So I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll give you a quick, 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 quick example. Yeah. I remember when, when China was exploiting the Christians, as they still are doing, right? When, when it was literally illegal to be a Christian in China. I remember this is a story that like I learned very, very age, which actually um, or very early, which shapes my worldview. Um, and a person, they, they, they had to meet in secret in order to have church services because, you know, Christians have always been incredibly uh, oppressed aside from the Catholic Church who aren't really Christian. So anyway, so in that case, the, uh, the, the police were stopping this person who was on his way towards a church service. And he was a Christian. And he could not lie. And so they were asking him where he was going. And so what he, he ended up saying something like so, something out of context, like crazy man and quoted a scripture, but like twisted it slightly and said it something out of context. And they just assumed, oh, this man is crazy. And then they let him go. He didn't have to lie to them and say, hey, I'm whatever. Because if they if they would have like pressed him and he had to, he would have to answer it. It just went to something that Christ tells us to do. Right. Like in, in the case of like you can either renounce if you deny me for man and for before man, I'll deny you before my heavenly father. Right. So in the same sense, I've always had this mentality. I don't lie. I refuse to lie. I'm not going to do it under any circumstances. So more often than not, what I tr truly try to shape my life around is a way so that I always do the right thing so I never have to lie, so I don't put myself into those sort types of situations. Yeah. That's my so worldview. So you, in that situation, so in the situation when it comes to the Jew thing, as you're as you're describing it, I'm dead serious. I probably wouldn't be in a situation where I'd be harboring Jews in the first place. So then I wouldn't have to be in that situation. But, but, but hold on, hold on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, no, he doesn't have, he doesn't have, to, he doesn't have to engage further. I was about to say, because what about, because now, if, if she has the secret account and it never comes up, she never lied about it, right? So, she never broke uh, any trust. Again, I would say that you are you are breaking trust when it comes to the why when it comes. Well, let me explain. Let me let me explain why you're breaking trust when it comes to the finance of the relationship is because if you are doing something specifically with the idea, you're telling me by by remaining in this relationship that you are fully committed. When you once you've made those things, it's already implied that yes, you're managing the funds and all the funds are being divvied divvied out appropriately. If you're withholding some of that money, and I, now the, at that point, that is a violation of my trust. You. You know that I would expect, and we have an expectation, a reasonable expectation between the two of us, that you're going to be forthcoming and forthright about all of the money and all those things. So the second you start doing something surreptitiously, it is a violation of trust. I don't know why I'm engaging with you. I'm sorry. And I, I, that, this is everyone I, else. Then I it becomes don't. a violation of that trust. And that's the, so, so, so it still is a violation. Anytime I don't know you how that's, I don't know that if like the cops ask you, right? Within, there's a social contract um, here. And part of that oh. is that we obey. <laughs> We obey law enforcement, mm -hmm. right? There's sure. a, a social yeah. a contract that we obey law enforcement. There are consequences if we don't obey law enforcement. Um, mm -hmm. There are laws specifically say that you're going to obey law enforcement. So all, a law enforcement asks you a very uh, uh, a pointed, specific question, and then <clears> you um, uh, seemingly, it sounds like you're you're dancing around the answer, hopefully, so that they lose interest. But in well, the end, course. you are admitting... Right, you're omitting the uh, information that was specifically asked of you. I don't see how mm -hmm. that's not lying by omission. 
Oh, uh, let me explain why. For for for, for several reasons. Um, number one, the social con- contract is what it is. But obviously, my contract has always been more so to God than to others, right? Like more more b- b- before everything else. Legitimately, it's how I live my life. Uh-huh. So where you can say uh, I'm, I'm I'm being a, a billion person. I'm keeping it a buck. I know. I know like, you are. I know. Of you course. Are. So 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 so. so so if that social contract starts trying to demand of me to do things that violate my spiritual conscience, I'm going to choose my spiritual conscience over that social construct every time. So there's plenty of times where I've already recognized there are limitations within that social construct. Like and the spiritual good. context always, of, well, you can say so, but again, uh, you, you, you can say that you can say it's, it's, it's a greater good thing. But the thing is, I haven't fully, uh, 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 I haven't fully invested into that social construct. I already have limitations <laughs> on what I believe that social construct is supposed to be. If we're going to, for example, example i don't i'm not beholden entirely to the government what y'all niggas still owe us reparations you still haven't given it so at what point your corrupt your police or your police force are mm-hmm. still corrupt so at what point do i fully submit to that authority uh-huh. i submit as much as i can protect myself within the confines of this country but guaranteed and if at any time i felt at odds with the police guarantee i'm going to choose myself i'm, I'm not like fully, a woman being abused I'm, okay. I'm not i'm no. not full i'm not i'm not fully invested into the social contract into any facets of it the only thing I'm fully invested into is to my faith. That's it. That sure. Sounds like a woman okay. being sounds abused. Sounds like it sounds okay. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat it because it's just gonna uh, redo this whole conversation. But okay, we're gonna leave it alone. Razor, you been want to jump in? Go ahead. You don't got nothing. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know why you do that. So yes, what uh, what Prime what Prime and Bam were both saying is correct. What you are talk what you are basically doing and admitting to is you are li- you would be lying by omission, which is what the woman was doing with the private bank account. She was lying by omission uh, in order to keep a secret uh, escape fu- a secret escape fund in case things went fully south, which uh, again, the way she did it, bullshit. I don't like the way she did it. She should have like done like a little side job. It was that way it could be fully her money. At that point, um, I I would say the idea when it comes to it with the secret fund meant for escape, I don't believe it's actually a break of trust so much as it is, and I don't believe it would even be a break of trust to keep a secret escape fund, uh, uh, especially when we're talking about the way society is with women. Um, it was how uh her mother definitely taught her. It's literally just a this is this is needed for basically any woman out there in any marriage, no matter how trusting you are of each other. But that's not true, Razor. Someone, no, I no, I believe I believe it is because again, any, something could go south at any time. Something could go south at any time. One person could end up uh drastically changing. Like you could be the. Like, but you constructed your marriage in such a way to put yourself like like wait 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 a second because in a marriage where somebody has like gone out of their way and chosen to be a stay-at-home wife that is different than somebody that chose to put in like financially their 50 percent of whatever the fuck is going on right like that's not this is not a unilateral thing like marriages are like they were in the 50s and every single marriage is gonna be yeah no like say like that's no like say with uh God, like say with the uh fuck, I literally had it and I lost it immediately. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, hey, yo. Did you this is a top down decision though? She I have a question and I'm I'm sorry for bringing this up, but I, I'm just super confused. I'm fanatic. Please. Um if I had a gun to your head, fanatic, and I, I told you <laughs> say oh, no. say I'm a Muslim or I shoot I pull the trigger, would you say I'm a Muslim or you say nope? I'm you so said fine. I believe in Abrahamic religion. Oh for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would probably see something like that. Like, I, I you know, I, be, I believe in all Abraham. I would try my best Damn. to talk around the situation. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, okay. No, if, you're, no, if, no, if you're asking me, hey, no, renounce, no, renounce no, Jesus no, Christ or die, I promise you I'm not renouncing Jesus no, Christ. No, I'm not no, going to do that. You wouldn't believe it, but you would say it for your survival. Yeah, That's you're right. asking me to say something which is literally a declaration, and I'm not doing that. Uh, that would literally be a violation of my faith, yeah, and I'm not yeah. going to hell for nobody. No, I would not do that. I have a question. What did Jesus Christ but like? No, I, know your heart? No, we're not going into this. We're not going into this. Please, let's Jesus not go Christ, into this. Jesus Christ demonstrated God it by going it. all... Jesus Christ demonstrated it by going all the way to the cross, <laughs> despite the fact of having all of his desire to survive, all, in, all of his intention, I, all of those things. So, I'm supposed hey, to believe 
believe that a person's willing to go through some of the most humiliating uh, torture. Religion, 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 religion. I don't want to talk about through, it. Through, I got it. It doesn't matter. Through some of the most humiliation torture at the hand of the Jews, he went through that. And I'm supposed to say that I'm not willing to just go ahead and and and, and, and he t- told me to take up my cross and follow him, right? Amen. Hallelujah. There we go. There we go. I, 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 my mind's clear. Thank you. Um, Which Jews were those? The black Israelites? Or the, uh, it was definitely not the black Israelites. <laughs> It, it, it was the Roman that tortured the Jews is whatever. an insane um, question. The, no, the Jews gave him up, though. I know, but it's whatever. Uh, I fucking hate religion. Fuck. Um, Why? <laughs> That's crazy. You were saying something about religion. a woman's protection. Mary just can go left. I was saying that this isn't the 1950s. Yes. No, like, I, no. Uh, it's that, yeah, I know it's not. Um, like, she's cho- like, she chose to be a stay-at-home mom, then I would definitely... Uh, still, I would uh, compl- uh, still support this uh, idea, especially if, like, even if she did chose to be a stay-at-home mom, um, knowing what that could mean financially, especially if she's more likely to talk by her mother about it easily. Not um, a mom, uh, or da- mom or dad, who someone would have taught would have taught her. I know this she's not I'm her lady. Okay. No, no, I'm talking about her mother. Her mother okay. told her about to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. I would still ha- I would still hold to it, uh, even if she chose to uh, uh, financially stunt herself by being a stay at home a stay at home uh, wife. Not. Quite literally, that's the opposite of what she's doing. She's not financially. She refuses to financially stunt herself. In fact, no, that's what I'm saying. Even she, no, I'm saying she chose to do that. I know. She, I'm saying she chose to do that, and even when she chose to do that, I would want her to have some sort of way. Uh, heck, I would I would have preferred it if her family set up the fund. That way, it's always at the ready for whenever things go south, whatever. But and and again, like I said at the beginning of the, in my opening, I believe what she did was a bitch move. I fucking hate it. It's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> she shouldn't have done. She shouldn't have been stealing funds like that. If it had been, if the money had been given to her as like an allocation, it would have been perfectly fine in my eyes. But the principle, but on the principle of it, re, uh, escape funds are always a good are always a good option. And, and Razor, would... actually, you bring up a very valid point there. If that's something that we didn't address, if we can just say that really quick in closing, or I'm not closing, but I'm just saying like just the last thing that I want to say um, is the idea that, look, her her escape fund is already in the form of one that you have, uh, like I said, alimony. You got, uh, you got, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You, you, you have that, whatever. And then you do have yeah, your I'll family. The, the, well, hold on. The, well, it, well, it didn't take 10 years to get alimony. That's just not how that works. You can get alimony no, 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 sooner it, than it 10 take, years. It would take a number of years. Take like Divorces don't take number of years to settle for the average person. When you're talking about complicated relationships with children and things like that, then they can be done so. But the average divorce does not take years to do, we not even we close. We As, Especially when you have really simple finances that's only one person's working and like all the finances are, are like – it's pretty open and shut in this case. I don't even know. Kids are normally in the things this, that take the, they take the longest probably. range. Yeah. So um, – but, but, but you have your family. That same mama that told you to protect yourself, she's going to be the one that's going to be your little safety net. Go ahead and live with her when this nigga leaves you and you find yourself another dude. Because if you're that type of distrusting person, hopefully this broken mama got your back. If this broken mama don't got your back, then probably she shouldn't be the one offering you advice in the first place. I do believe that broken people offer advice all the time, and I think that it's sabotage. I had an ex whose dad went and told her all sorts of nonsense about the idea that, oh, yeah, why is he always talking to women? I'm talking to women in church as part of my job. I'm a musician, and I'm talking to the person who's going to be singing the special music, and he's, why are always women wish always whispering in his ear and so then for, as a result of that it sowed a seed of distrust she never trusted me she was going through my phone all sorts of nonsense those kinds of things break down relationships broken people pay it forward and that's that's what her mother did and that's why she's gonna be unhappy can i, can I just ask ask prime a question real quick would you be okay with this woman just having like a dude like they never have any sexual relationships they're never like he she just knows that he'll be there I'm in case my nigga prime fuck <laughs> <laughs> in case the relationships ever breaks up like like he she just knows that this sugar daddy is always going to be there and in order for that to happen she has to text him once a week so just saying you know what's up or whatever do you think that that would be okay for a woman to do like she's not like i said she's not cheating on her husband she's not anything she just knows that this guy is there and she has to text him once a week just to mm-hmm. say what's up she has a, and the husband she has a knows no, and the husband knows nothing about it no, I, I would say that's a violation of trust. I've already established this, right? Like, violation we, of trust. We, we it doesn't this. require fluid exchange to be a violation of trust, right? 
Uh, yeah. Jesus. Same type of problems in the relationship that this If you're talking to another person... Yeah, if you're but you also there's, person, you take a vow I'm against here, that. Uh, yeah, like I don't, I don't, you don't take a vow to like I won't have another bank account. It's not part of my my vow, but you do take a vow. Take of, a like, vow against texting a nigga once a month. You take a vow of loyalty. Wait, yeah. well, no, that's but what I'm that saying. It, but that's not. Oh, they're oh, only we're gonna do it. Wait, no, 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 wait, like, wait. Is somebody? Is it? Does anybody in the chat think it's not a breach of loyalty in the relationship? You found your wife texting another man. Like, like again, why are we playing these pretend games? That's crazy. So, hey, I got one real okay, quick. We're uh, not prime. doing that, No, 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 no one wanted to. But, hey, really quick, Prime. Well, what about uh, – uh, let me ask you this one. What happens if the man decided, okay, he's the one managing the money, okay, and he's going ahead and he, she's – I mean, I don't know. She's managing the money, but he's taking his checks and he's withholding 15% of his checks off to the side and giving her the rest of the money to manage, and then, like and, – and, and he's saving that for his rainy day fund. Would you feel like that's a violation of trust? No. Yeah. Of course. Lord, yeah, of course. Have, uh, would you feel like, would, and, and would you feel like that's financial abuse? No, not necessarily. No. Why? Why not? Well, so, uh, financial yeah. abuse is a very, uh, uh, like, is a very specific thing, right? Like, it's to um, do that to control the other, right? That's what they're doing. Like, financial abuse isn't simply saying That's why I tried to make that uh, distinction earlier, Where's right? It's not intention. simply taking money, right? Or hiding uh, money. It's doing that uh, so that I can show you. So I'm limiting your options, right? So that you can't um, uh, leave me, right? It's done by very, you know, insecure individuals to uh, uh, control that other person to keep them. Not insecure that, like, um, uh, uh, not insecure in the fact that, like, I'll step out right but like i want to keep you right i want to keep you within this uh, relationship and that's where what like when we're talking to experts are the time of uh, 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 financial abuse yeah prime so in response to that would you what did you say that withholding information that would otherwise knowingly um allow for uh to to prevent a certain reaction mm -hmm. wouldn't you call that a type of a type of, type of what? what you cut out wouldn't you wouldn't you oh okay it was just the last word. A type yeah, my bad. Control, type of control. Wouldn't you say that it's a type of control to, for me to withhold a piece of information that once heard or known, you would re react a certain way. So me withholding that information is trying to prevent a certain action from you. I mean, it it it, it could be, yeah, maybe. It's like I can see that these, these things are on a spectrum, right? Because I say everything's on a spectrum. So it could be on a spectrum. That doesn't, um, depending on the nature of it all, right? Like uh, more specifics. And um, it could be a, a little bit of uh, control or a, a lot of control. But yeah, it depends. Yeah, I see that. Can I say the ball real quick? I just want okay. to say, because maybe this is something we can all agree upon. Um, <sighs> on its face, though, the idea of marrying somebody, but still being persuaded, not by your own judgment of their character, but rather what your mother has said, that's not good. That's bad, right? We would say that that's a fucked up thing no one should do. Mm -hmm. I would say that I would not say in this specific case. I have a principle that, like, like it's not just women can. I think women should protect themselves financially, like yeah. from, from their husband. No, no, like, I'm saying like, that if you have somebody in your, I'm saying like if you have somebody in your face that is not giving you any signs of these kind of things, right? And relevant. you're gonna forego your own brain and what you can see and what you've experienced because this person is dead. Like, bro, he literally damn near lost his life and probably part of that motivation was dedicated to making sure his wife was straight like this is somebody that is not this system wasn't built for him right but you're gonna forego all of that and rely on what your mother said about the man that's in front of you proving that he's not that kind of guy we would agree that's not good Hold on. therefore a yeah, man should leave his father and mother and shall cling to his wife absolutely it's a problem you're still dependent on your mother instead of you two atheist. becoming one flesh oh. and you see where the problem comes in y'all can't have a real true marriage a god okay maybe i shouldn't yeah. do it to god but you get what i'm saying though huh. it was on <laughs> peace trail why you <laughs> so 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 list, so list, right but like it's also um <laughs> Ah, God, I, I'm I'm losing because I, I had a specific uh, retort. Because you were thinking about Jesus. I was thinking about Jesus, yeah. and Jesus, like you know, cleared my mind. Um, um, I, uh, it's also by oh yeah, it's also a matter of control. Like going back to a, a dream, just asked, right? It's also um a, a level of control to say that you can't work, right? So this woman sees that they're in financial um a dire financial straits. Um, and uh, she wants to do something. She wants to actively contribute to the household. Um, 
but he is telling her no. Well, you you have to because I because of my ego and something we have we oh, never no. really got to focus on at all. Right? Right? That's not but right. like, in, in the but, in but, the story, what he said was the reason that he didn't want his wife to work is because he basically was like the job that you're gonna get isn't gonna make enough of a drop in the bucket for it to matter. So don't do it. The, the reason that's not true thing. is because he because he ubers. And he, he makes enough yeah. to make it work. Yeah. He yeah can, no, 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 no. He, no, 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 no. The Ubering, the Ubering is supplemental. It is definitely not his primary source of income. He's working jobs and doing Uber. Sure, as he well would still be one less job he would have. It, right. It doesn't matter. Be, but you're not going to get a job. Uber, Uber, it, you, the Uber is limited and controllable, so it doesn't matter. Her job is not going to be as limited none of that as matters. Uber, so she's going to have to put in more time. And none of this matters, uh, uh, to my point. Um, she's trying to contribute to the household. She's like, I want to do this to help us, right? And he, and you can say, oh, yeah, it's not, a, a, not enough or whatever, but that's her actively contributing and being able to have some sort of level of income that would um protect her in the first place right like maybe she wouldn't uh, need this if she was like just working uh, uh period right if she knows she had, had the steady stream of income then maybe she doesn't have to set things aside in any case right whatever it is to say that you know you can't work i want to work but you can't work is also a level of control right no. um, but he and, didn't tell her that he I, never said you I, can't I, and I, and I, it's a pre he said he probably said I prefer you not to work. He, he, probably, yeah. Yeah. They probably he like never. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't have to say probably. What I can say is he did not say you can't work. That was never stated. He never told her you can't work. That's not what she said. Well, he, right. he wanted she to go back work to work, and he was against cover. it. She yeah, said no. that she she said she offered to go back to work, and he said uh, he, he he said it, it wouldn't even put a drop in the bucket. He no, didn't tell he her you can't. Said no. No, yeah, saying no. I don't no. know that he said no. Saying no to an offer is not saying you can't. And it's and it's also it's also like incorrect. She could literally do Uber. If Uber is enough to keep them above water, she could do his Uber hours. Now he's working it's less, and they're making enough to keep him above water. Offer. Okay, it's not well, so worry about the ultimately, it doesn't matter. She can do that. That's an option. He never told her you can't work. That's not right. right. He was so, he was now so worried now about having a bad faith engagement with the situation. He was considering downsizing. This is everybody else. He never said you can't. I'm not engaging with you. He wanted to downsize, and um, she did. She would not downsize. She said she spent all these years making this home, and she would not downsize because he well, was so worried bad. about their financials. And sure. While she's withholding this forty-seven thousand dollars from them, <laughs> so like, that's crazy. It's not for them. That's not what the purpose of this money. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that we just agree on. Wait. 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 Because no, we're gonna we're gonna go in circles about this. Can the money I, out can of I their account. That is, so wait. Wait. Can I, yeah. I, yeah I, I know. But, I know you don't like that, but you're saying like, oh, okay. Well, then there's there's still this forty seven thousand dollars. But the purpose of that, right? And, and 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 this is and so we're gonna keep running into this problem because you don't think the purpose is legitimate, right? So when when I didn't say that. Okay. So you do think it's legitimate. To uh, with what? You Not just want to steal it out of the account okay, that was yeah, dedicated yeah, okay. so, for them. So, so yeah. again, again. So, uh, I'll restate what I said. Um, you don't think it's legitimate to do so in secret, right? Which we think, um, uh, Bam and I think, is important, a important part of the project. So, if if you don't, yeah. if you don't consider that part um a necessary component to this well then uh you don't you don't support the project okay so um uh so there's no point in going over this again and again right no my, i don't yo, support I, the when granny was given this advice i'm sure it wasn't yo still from your your family bank account it, when granny was given this advice know, it probably really was have sure your own anything. it probably was have your own job and put something away on the side it, it wasn't, wasn't was it probably or was it to, uh, uh, and again she oh, okay. i've heard this well, advice fanatic, given to fanatic, Disagrees, right? It is not but like, uh, still from, my from your reading family of the situation. It's, it's not clear siphoning. that she doesn't have, she can't uh, work. She wanted to work, and then he's like, "Oh, it's, it's not going to be a, a job." It Wait. sounds to me, right? And you disagree. I hear you. I hear you disagree. I Offering to work and wanting to work aren't the same. Sorry, you're gonna let me finish. He you're gonna, you're gonna, you're bringing gonna, in a mid six figures salary. You're going to let me finish. Holy shit! Like you're not hear me. You're going to let me finish, right? Holy STV, you hear me? You hear me? You hear me? STV, do you hear me? What do, do you, you hear me? Do I hear? Oh, okay. Are you trying to say yeah. something? Yeah, I'm yeah, trying I'm, to say something. Shut I'm up and let me finish. I've been talk, trying to talk. Bro. I've been trying to talk. Let me finish and then go ahead. Please. Thank you're you. Trying, trying to answer the questions. You're trying to grandstand. So right zip now. the fuck oh, up, bro. What are you doing? I'm trying to grandstand right now. When you guys were asking me the question, no, shut the fuck up when I'm fucking talking. That's what mm -hmm. you're gonna do. And if you got a problem okay. with that, then don't come back. All right, fuck you. bro. Go ahead. Fuck you. Talk. Like, no, like, hey, excuse talk. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I tell you to shut the fuck up? Did I just tell you to shut the fuck up? Did I or not? 
No, are you shutting the fuck up? That's good. Do you want me to answer the question or not? You're asking oh, me questions okay. and telling me to shut up. What the fuck do you want to do? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Get out. All right. Off you go, bitch. Fuck, dude. Fuck him. Like, I literally, like, reached out to this dude, um, uh, cause, uh, he, he hit me up, and I'm like, hey, man, let me, uh, bob this dude again. But this motherfucker, right, like, all the time it's an issue with him. All the time. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't reach out to me again. Don't talk to me. Fuck you. Fuck. That's crazy. Had I known yeah. he was going to be on here, I wouldn't have even been here. Like, legit, I've typed that in my chat multiple times. If I knew he was going to be here, I wouldn't even been here. I don't engage so with that. So fucking dude. annoying. I'm just, like, asking him, hey, let me answer the question. Yeah. It's, and it's not, it's not the type of BAM thing where it's like, oh, I just, like, like whatever. Like, it's not that kind of – I mean, I literally – I try my best. I don't want to be in a space with you. I, I want to you not to exist in my universe. BAM can exist. I just don't like engaging when he's being dumb because he's a contrarian. Wow. No, because – no, BAM – Bam is not retarded. He just no, likes no, no. to argue. He just I'm likes to debate. I'm saying what about the other part. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying why about I SCB. Uh, no, you don't. You be, you, be, you be bad faith as freak. And so when you're bad faith, I'm not going to engage with you. But, can you know, I, but, yeah, Can I ask a question just to, like, interest of the people here? No blood, no water. So do y'all have this unilaterally? And this is a genuine good faith question. Are y'all okay with people, like, having a certain level of distrust of you with your very close people, family, friends, best friends, and your 10-year people? Like, y'all okay with that at that level, I'm not. Too? I'm not on no. I'm asking Bam and Prime because yeah. they seem to be like. I, I think that yeah, I, I like I would never. I, I would I would never be like offended to find out this like someone's trust in me was like had a limit of like their actual well being. But would you for years? Trust? Yeah, would you I, still, I wouldn't that? be offended. Like oh, bro, like we we go on a trip. And it's like dang, bro. Like we we pulled in money or whatever, and then we find out like dang, bro, we spent it all. We broke. And then he pulled out. Actually, I kept an extra hundred. Like I know how y'all niggas get. Like I ain't want to tell you about it, but we finna get this bus ride back. Whatever. Like I would be like, ah, you didn't tell me about it, but like that's your well being. I'm not sure and, if that's and maybe that's the difference of philosophy. That's not the same. That's not the same at all. My, my, I think it's not I the same at all. It's my friend of years. Like, like, like I have a yeah, no, not at all. Like uh, my friend of years can have his own money, and he has his own money, and he had his own hundred dollars that he put put off to the side. That's, yeah, that's but, a total different thing. Yeah, but if we said everything together, but, but if we said, hey, we're pulling all of our money, and none of us are holding anything back, and then that person did that, just like Ananias, Ananias and Sapphira in the Bible, yeah, you'd be struck down. So like, oh, you could have been, you could've just a, been a person. You could have been a person I, designated to hold the bread. So, you could have so been like, the person wait, wait, designated wait, wait. to hold so, the bread. So, so, it, 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 and, and I, I kind of respect, I, like, I try to have, like, respectful disagree. Because, like, your life is your life and how you view things. You view mm. things at the end of the day. Me, personally, I tend to see it, like, if I, if that, Fanatic might relate to this. I have a group of friends that, since high school, we've been doing creative shit together. They shoot all my videos. They produce my music. Them was my niggas, right? We have pulled, done this exact same thing. And I'm trying to imagine... If one of my niggas was like, yo, bro, we're really trying to get this off the ground. We're trying to get this venue. We're trying to get this equipment. We're trying to do this thing, right? This is all the money we got. And a nigga, like, if shit hit the fan and one of the homies was like, actually, low key, I mean, I was one foot in, one foot out. I I, I kind of didn't. Here we go. I'd be like, damn, bro. Like, that's, I would yeah, I just think, feel yeah. like you're, I think not, better, you're not all the way in the way I'm all the way in. That would think, be the offensive part, right? I like, think a better question, or not a better question, but just like to get to the essence of it is like, what kind of relationships do people value the most? Somebody that gives their all or somebody that's, you know, like doesn't like is withholding a certain like what what relationships like feel be the best? Like somebody that like Reliable. you're investing your whole in it and then you're getting reciprocated against or you or does it does not feel the or does or does it also feel bad when you know you're investing your all into it and then, you know, you're not being reciprocated at Back. Like, I don't know. I we think it's expectation, gonna, right? Like, because okay, if I, I if we have an understanding that we both trust each other to a certain degree, but then I found out later it wasn't like that, that's the hurts. Like, damn, because you could have, yep. in my opinion, you could have kept it up front. If you said, hey, bro, I only trust you, but this far, I'm a man at the end of the day, I'm not a child, I respect it. But if I find out later you said otherwise and you actually didn't, that's what hurts. Like, you exactly. have to do that. Yeah. I mean, I, it's just because I, like I said, it's, maybe it's just because I, I grew up, I have a family with a lot of women. Like, in those women's interests, whenever my mom or my mom's married now, but whenever she met men, whatever, like my perspective was no matter how much you get into this person, you never let you like you never let like your well being go to a fault, and you never let us as like me and my brother as hurt your kids like 
go to effect. Even though some people like say that, like, oh, your husband comes before your kids, you know, like biblically. Not whatever, even on that. No, I, I, even it. with that, I have a lot yeah, of women. I, in my family I just think too. that you there's some level of perspective. Like, like I said, there's things you can trust, but like never put your actual well being at risk. And I'm not well, doing just, that for anybody. But to be clear, most of those relationships don't even require it. Like, the, 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 here's 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 the beauty of this, right? Like, if if I'm in a relationship with somebody. They never have to really put themselves in harm's way because I'm not asking them to ever do anything to put themselves in harm's way. Like that just didn't have to happen. If you were married, you would be asking them not to have money. Like that is to a degree asking them to take the risk of putting themselves in harm's way. I know well, you don't do anything, but I'm, I'm saying not that. asking them not to have money. What I'm asking them to do is to put their trust in this relationship. And guess what? If things hit the fan, one, you can rest assured I'm just as much in this as you are, right? And I'm doing everything to be responsible and reasonable such that we're not put into, into Dyer's way. And guess what? If things do hit the fan, you have safety nets. You have your family. We have a savings that's set aside for us. We're being financially responsible. We're doing all the things that we can. All the reason. I didn't even fanatic. I didn't even figure that. That would have been a good question to have. Like, was there actually a... That's another thing. Yeah, they did. No, they did. They they they, they had a savings. Yes, but when medical bills and the lawsuit are what drained those things. And so I get it. So y'all went 10 toes down on the lawsuit that didn't work out. And you literally felt we're we're, uh, we're almost life-threatening injured at work. So all of these things combined, I get it. They create the problem. But uh, the fact of the matter is that safety net, right, was the savings account. The safety net is my life insurance policy. I have that for a reason, specifically for family and stuff, right? Right? Like, so uh, we've done all the stuff to reasonably protect ourselves you don't have to reasonably protect yourself from me and anything that you're doing that would reasonably protect you from me putting aside forty thousand dollars is going to reasonably protect you from me we're not putting ourselves in enough like in debt or any sort of situation but what is that forty thousand dollars going to do for you you still have a family you can still go live with your parents if, if i got physically abusive and forty thousand dollars wouldn't protect you from that you can still go ahead and, 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 and you have friends and other people that you still can rely on what is this forty thousand dollars actually going to do for you long term what does it actually protect you from you don't believe what does that, that actually like, do? You don't believe that like couples you don't, you don't think that believe that couples end up breaking up due to financial reasons and like the, the women are left in like actual destitute situations because they didn't have any other money? I think in most situations, I think both people are, are, are extremely financially harmed in situations. And I would say that actually women a lot of time are left even are are left way more secure than the dude is because so much of the financial responsibility is already assumed by the men. Almost every man I know that has gotten divorced has been screwed. We look at Hollywood stuff and television stuff in which you have these like exclusive, like super duper high earned dudes and then you can say, oh yeah, these women are being screwed in some of those situations. But in the typical situation, women aren't just getting completely screwed over in divorces. Yeah, they got, like I said, they have the alimony. They got child support. Niggas are struggling in, in divorces. How many niggas do you know that have child support debt because of the fact that like they can't even afford all of the child support so then now they're, they're, they owe back child support what about all those kinds of situations i don't think that the average situation su- is, is such that women are completely destitute in relationships i don't, I don't think that that's how that works to, to, i'm pretty to, sure to it's bro, statistically point, like, women that worse off but that's i was about to say but to that point like I, that's what i was saying to raise it earlier but not that, destitute. Like, if this was 19 if this was the 1900s right for all you old ass <laughs> niggas born in 1900s like that would have been more understandable but to my understanding I'm in this call in, we live in an entirely different, like... <laughs> that nigga said 1900s. Yeah, I had to think about what he was talking about. Yeah, nigga, 1900s? Nigga, yo, you mean bro. the 1980s? Get out. Yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. We were born in the 1900s, nigga. 30 years ago was not the 70s no more. Anyway, what I was saying was Jeez. that... Um, that it raises to the point earlier. It's like it's not the 1950s in the anxiety. It's society I've grown up in as a young man. I'm only 23. Like th- th- this, the way that marriage laws and shit are the way they are was to address this problem, right? We have an entire societal precedent for this shit not to go this way. Like if this was back in the day, I completely understand. I would probably even agree with Bam and Prime. Like yeah, you should have money on the side. But that's, to my understanding, is that that's not the world we live in anymore. Exactly. And y'all y'all are calling me out for all of my disrespect. We're gonna let him just say that right there and nobody gonna say a word about it. Nineteen hundreds, yo. Like who yeah, like we from dinosaur times, nigga. Hey, right? yeah, <laughs> this is me. Yeah, bro. Hey man, look, I look bro, y'all the pictures in black and look, white. I, look, I always nah, this is say, foul. I'm just being real. Y'all the same I mean, niggas that was wearing sweatbands so the... and headbands with no jump shot and no defense. Y'all was a sick generation of niggas, and I'm not y'all gonna get these jokes. Nah, nah, y'all nah, gonna get nah, these nah, jokes. He's Odin. He's Odin. You no, know, I'm changing now. I'm, I was, my name I is now Bam poor. from the nineteen hundreds. 1900s is wild, bro. That's disrespectful. I was four when it went when it came 2000. I'm not nah. I'm not taking that. I'm just being real I'm with you, gang. Like, I'm just being really real with you, bro. I, you, in year 2000. It was 
it was a disgusting time to be alive with you. Y'all was wearing fucking paper towels as headbands. Y'all was some sick niggas, bro. I'm just being real with y'all. <laughs> bro, somebody last time, I remember I was having a respectful debate with this chick. And she said, yeah, but you come from a different generation. And I had been, I was like, I was, I had been on such good behavior. And after that, I just went completely off the rails. I couldn't even upload the conversation. It was over. It was over. What's that mean? Got triggered. Not even disrespect. You, that was that was intentional. She wanted to hurt my feelings. That was that was that what that was. And she had to get that work. She said, "Grandpa." She said, "Grandpa." That's crazy. She said, "Grandpa." You don't understand. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah, nah, you can get out. He, he, every he single year they go by, by like your level of hair growth. Uh, that's what you. That's, that's discrimination. That's discrimination. Damn, for real, game? Yeah, yeah like, I like 19. I see why you debate so aggressively. You's a strong nigga, bro. You have to go. 100%. Yeah, I do. Nah. He's a real nigga. I'm the youngest of nine. Yeah, That's why yeah. I debate. Even, even his hair ran away, nigga. It's fucking. Imagine did. being a nigga. You keep up. Bro, but I don't want to fl- I don't want to roast with this nigga. He got some jokes, but That's crazy. Nah, nah. I, yeah, I, well, I do. But, nah, but, but, but real talk, I mean, I, I feel like uh, mine was just. I, I'm the only person, too. Like, I got four older brothers. I got my, my, my grandmother had like, uh, f- uh, you know, b- b- had, had some boys. My granddad had hair till he was 80. My dad still got hair now. I'm the only nigga in my family that went bald. And I went bald at like 19. It don't make no sense. It it's not even it. common in my whole bloodline. They say baldness is a result of a lot of testosterone. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it paid. You, well, you got to pay the cost. Yeah. Huh? And that makes sense. That makes sense. What was it? What was your uh D and D character name? What was your D and D? What was your D and D character name? What was it? Oh, the throat slayer. That's right. You hundred percent. I forgot all of <laughs> that's facts. Uh, yeah, not, yeah, don't worry about that. Anyway, um, it was good. It was a good. It was a good conversation. I, I think. Look, really though, it really does boil down to for for me. I am all in in a relationship, a billion percent. No matter what, I'm not holding nothing back. I like from Absolutely. almost the very beginning. I'm a very open person. I'm not. I'm not the person. The one thing that I kept away from my relationships in the past, it was just like you can't Google my name. Like you, you don't don't associate anything with fanatic. And that was like it, it was an eventuality. Like if as time goes on, I'm eventually you're gonna see who the hell I am. But like that was the one thing that I kept in my relationship. But as far as like I'm I'm not stingy with my money in any capacity. I really don't lie. My friends. If, if if someone tells me I am lying, that's one of the greatest offenses you can do. Because I try my best to not lie in any situation for any reason. So integrity means literally everything to me. So if I'm in a relationship and I don't trust the person I'm in a relationship with, it's like yeah, I, we're not in a relationship. Why why would I why would I ever not be able to trust you? Okay with it. Well, I don't know if I would date. Yeah, somebody I think. Like I, I mean, and again, that's like like I said, it's part of these things are just the difference in in values, like. I'm going to, like, I think I want to have a long, healthy, committed relationship, happy marriage, all of those things. There's some things we discuss of like, oh yeah, like there's these situations come up, like I would probably divorce. And there's other things that will be like, I don't know, I, I like, I don't, I kind of, I think a natural healthy relationship is like me and my wife being, getting to like 95%, um, like trust and honesty. There's, why hold, why hold the 5%? What is that going to do? That's going to erode. I don't think Almost so. everyone has like those little. Uh, I, I think those I little, think it's the part uh, that remains you lies, keep you as a, save you as a personal. Secrets. It keeps you. It protects yeah. you as an individual. I think to some degree. Yeah. You know, well, I, if I'm, I'm protecting not... myself from my spouse, then that's not my spouse. I don't know. Like I said, there's like, a fundamental like, disagreement. I, like I said, yeah. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be person. there. Yeah. Why? Like, why wouldn't you uh, want? Why? Why wouldn't you prefer to be with a woman that you can give the hundred percent to? I don't know. I think that. I think that having things. I think that having things that maybe it's my person. I'm a very private person. Man, do you no, I'm, 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 I'm not saying that you have to. Uh, like I'm saying, I just don't. I don't like some. Like you have a desire to like share everything with someone. No, 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 no. I, I don't. I do that. Like I do that in spite of relationship. I don't think. Hold on, hold on, man. But there's a difference between sharing everything and then keeping something from somebody. I think that's a distinct difference because there's so much mm-hmm. information in your mind and in your history that it, that um, like it's of course sometimes you're just gonna forget or just not and uh, tell somebody about because there's just so much things to talk about. So I'm not right. saying that you have to tell everybody every single thing about every you because you may not just simply have that in your memory bank or whatever. But what yeah. is this, what is distinct is if you know something that somebody wants to know and you know that they want to know it or it, their what's mind holding think, well, like what's holding that piece of information is different. So why would you do that five percent rather than simply just having the hundred percent trust? Like what did you want her? 
I, I, I literally I don't want it. Don't want it. I, 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 if I, if a girl, te- like a girl telling me that she had, like, she, like a girl, like I would find it unattractive that a girl didn't protect herself from me. Like I would, I would, I feel like you have bad value. That's what I'm saying. But, but, but that's, that's the framing. That that you're you're going exists. in already. Assuming. Like if a girl told me like from the first date, like oh yeah, like blah blah blah. I didn't tell nobody I was coming here. I just you know went on phase. We had a great that's conversation. Different than what I'm talking no, about. No, I'm, I'm telling you that I would find it unattractive. But that's different than what I'm talking about. If you uh, hear me, what I'm saying, I'm not saying that she has to tell you every single thing because I'm not saying she what, has to tell me. I'm just but, saying what, the fact that she trusts what, me. That what, much. what incentive? What 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 reason does a woman have to tell you? Hey, by the way, I didn't tell anyone I was here. What the fuck is she gonna say that for? Man, I think it, I think it comes up in conversation. Do you, ma- do you do you care if a woman says, oh, by the way, bam. Uh, no, I didn't tell anybody I was here. Do you care about that? I think yeah. it comes AT- up AT- it, so that five percent you withholding, yeah. Bam, is that like a Latina with the wagon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just about to say. Wait, wait, Bam, do you What's even up, believe though? that that kind of woman oh, exists? Right. Like, there's a woman on Earth, or even oh. a human being on Earth that you could trust hundred percent? Um, no, probably not. Yeah, but yeah, that, but that doesn't, and but that doesn't I, change I'm not gonna my fight value you about that. Like, I'm not, yeah. finna, I'm not, I'm not like. That's what I'm about to say is like, I completely understand the other perspective of like, there's mm. not, and that's where I even. That's why the whole ninety eight percent. Well, That's my, why, like, I can even understand where you're coming from because I do understand that there are people that are like, it's not a nigga breathing on earth, right? Mm. And like this side of Jesus Christ that I trust a hundred percent, and you're no exception to that. Like, I get it. I don't know mm. that I agree, but I get what you're. But coming I mean, from. like, consider yeah. the previous conversation we were having, right? Like, um, mm. you can start off, uh, like, and this person's amazing. You can feel you can trust them hundred percent, but then things change, right? Um, and I'm a little bit, like I've, I had that happen to me in my own life. I, I I was engaged at one point in time, and the significant oh. other that I thought I was going to lose my life had a fucking mental breakdown, and our relationship went from like high school sweethearts going to get married to the shitter. Like I completely that's what I get. If no one gets it, my nigga, I get it. Like I yeah. understand the mentality of there's not nothing on earth I trust 100, percent and so I need to have some contingency. Literally, the only thing we disagree on is. Just to say, be honest about it from Jump Street, but that's that's it. This that, is why. That, this is why I said. This is why I said. What would you prefer? Because I understand if you actually believe in materially in the world that there isn't anyone that you can actually trust hundred percent. But this is why I ask you if you if the, such a case does exist, yeah, such a woman did it, you would find a woman unattractive because you can trust her hundred percent. Yeah, I don't like I said. I just don't. Yeah? I, don't have, I, I yes, I legitimately don't have the desire for it. I I, I don't want to share my I, and i even just share like literally i saying that i there's there's part of what makes me an individual part of something that i protect am i not even just protect the part of what makes me me is that there's a there there's some level of understanding that no one but god will ever have with me and, and you, like you just got to come out bro because at this point like it don't make no sense why you got to withhold that it don't make no sense like what are you withholding what, but what's it's so not, special that you can't share but it's not the thing is a hundred percent of me is out there but it's just different there's different sides like there's like i've, I've probably shared a hundred percent of me with people but one person no person has the whole thing like i have my best friend who has like this ninety nine percent? You're confusing. He doesn't know things. how I deal with relationships. You're confusing two things. You're confusing somebody knowing one hundred percent of you versus somebody being able to trust you one hundred percent. If I wouldn't, I, I feel uh, to maybe. I mean, maybe it's, it's a semantic thing. I don't. If I'm not willing to tell you it, I don't trust you enough to tell you it. No, that, like no, the no, reason no. I wouldn't tell you is because of, because of some lack of trust. Right. You're so saying that you have other reasons why you wouldn't tell somebody. So here's the thing. Well, trust. There are there isn't anything I'm not willing to tell my girlfriend because I'm I'm willing I'm willing to trust her 100. percent But that doesn't mean I have to tell her everything. It's just a matter of fact. Like if she right, asks me, I'm not willing to. So what what is it that you have that you don't want to tell your life partner? Anything. There's lots of things. Anything. How how, how a pussy is probably the fifth best I've ever had. You like I, it just I, 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 <laughs> like if she asks me like I yeah but, but, I, I probably I don't think I would lie. But I would just say like ah, I'm not going. I'm not going to get into that. Oh, like, wait, you gonna tell the truth then? Wait, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm saying I, I, I don't think I would lie. I'm saying I would omit. Like I would say like nah. I don't know. You're saying lying is good. But, 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 but if that don't shoot that, but if there's any time that a nigga should lie, that scenario, but my bad, that scenario, and that scenario, you can just pull a fanatic and talk yourself around it. You know what I'm saying? I would just avoid. I would avoid having the conversation. Did you imagine bringing up Jesus? My girlfriend asked you about a vagina. But bad, I've I've been asked questions just like that. Like, am I really the best? You enjoy I really, it. You enjoy and, having that. So I'm pr- happy for you. No, but I don't want to. No, 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 no. Have I'm it. trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to help you understand. You're not trying to help me. If you would help me, you would accept me. I'm trying to say that I do accept it. <laughs> no, we're, no, we're trying to save you from you, Bam. What's the benefit? Tell me what, what is the benefit that you gain personally from withholding five percent of yourself or from not having yeah. that relationship that that, that, that I, I would everyone, trust? Yeah. 
I don't know. It makes me, it, like I said, it just makes me feel, it centers myself as an individual. Self-security. Wait, so you you think, you think by fully trusting another person that that somehow stops you from being an individual? Probably. How? Self-security. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. I just don't want that. We're not saying that. Okay, see, see, that's exactly the point. So it's 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 an irrational thing, right? Because it's not that it actually is about you being an individual because you don't. It can be irrational. I'll accept that. I know. I know. It has to be because it doesn't it doesn't actually stop you from being an individual. But I'm not working on it though. I'm gonna. Of course, of course, I get it. You don't have to work on it because it's not something you want. But I'm so, but I'm I'm trying to figure out what it is that you gain and you don't gain uh, anything of it. You don't gain anything from it. There's nothing actually to it. It's just it makes me, it makes me feel irrationally secure. That that's what I gain. I enjoy it. I'm happy. I'm happy. You feel se- you feel secure. I would be less way? happy. Se- secure from what? From like I said, I said it makes me irrationally secure in myself. Huh? That's I, but I'm fine with that. Secure I, from I'm, what? I guess from the world itself. I don't know the rest of society. The world itself. He doesn't quite have to answer. Again, that. I'm not. I I never. No one has to answer anything. Is it because yeah. you can choose to engage or not? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like we're. I'm not trying to make this logical. Like, this isn't something where I'm trying to prove my logical. Like, I'm saying that this is the way. I'm I not. Do it. I'm not. I'm not asking you to prove. It. I'm just. I, I'm I just trying to trying to understand. For sure, I think for like Dream, Dream's trying to like correct me somehow. Like, it, it, no, or, I'm, or, I'm, or, I'm just. I'm just. Um, I'm shocked. going to be this. The, the, the day that I die. This is how I. This is how I choose to exist. This is how I would recommend my children to exist. I was I, the only other person that I know that has this mentality basically explained to me that like there's something to themselves they always want to keep to themselves and nobody else gets to have it except them and God and that makes them feel like they're still themselves to that degree and if they ever have to give that up it sounds really I yeah, mean like, I, I don't know if I would say that word but it felt like I, I felt it it felt correct yeah, well, like, as long I, as you're like, also giving it to God then bam I'm totally fine with exactly uh, what you're talking about just make sure hey, you give yo, it to Jesus too uh, Whoa, uh, Jesus, pause. What the fuck? Whoa. I'm Christian. Okay, see, that's good. So you'll keep that part between you and Jesus, and you're good. See? I just want to make sure that you have a great relationship with the I true do. creator my Lord of the Savior. universe. That's my number one. Yeah. That's my number one. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. People still call that con artist. Whatever. Uh huh. I'm not going to do it. Don't worry about it. I'm used to it, Prime. You used to do it all the time, too. We're okay. I'm going to take my shots at Razor. He gets to take his shots at me. That's Wait good. a minute. I never said I never said quite that. Okay? I never said not quite that. Not that, though. No. Okay. All right. But you be taking your shots, though, my nigga. You know you, oh, yeah, y'all you be feeling about religion. Of course I do. Just like how I feel about leftists. Come on. That's our thing. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But this is also something that I would say to y'all that, like, Again, probably as a thing of trust. I don't think I would have that conversation with my wife because it would probably be something that like severely bothers her just from the fact of knowing that the omission yep. of it would like would make her a happier person. Hmm. Yeah, I, man. Look, I, the thing is for me, I I, uh, I want the relationship that's so. I, I want the type of relationship that I can be hurt in, right? Mm-hmm. Because I I can always keep a level of barrier between me and whoever, and so on and so forth. But again, intimacy is literal vulnerability. That is what intimacy is. So I want the most extreme forms of intimacy that you can get. If I'm talking about this is who I'm committing the rest of my life to, I like the idea of options. I do. If I wasn't, if I was a secular person, if I wasn't one of those, um, if I if I wasn't particularly religious, I would be very, very open to the idea of like polyamory. So I can just get whatever the freak I want from each one. I don't got to train you to do this and you to do that. I, I just find the best at whatever the freak you do, and I get the best of both worlds of every world. That sounds amazing to me, like legitimately. But I, as a Christian, it's like no, I know the the, the vote. I know what you get from the sanctity and the blessings from an individual relationship. But I also know that that's the highest risk. It's the absolute highest risk. If I'm trusting you with literally everything, no one can hurt me more than you can, right? But it's like, that is what I'm risking. But in exchange, I know that I have this person that I can 100% let my guard down in the, the most extreme ways. I mean, I never want to be looking over my shoulder. I never want to be questioning and second guessing you. I never, I'm not an insecure person in that way. I'm never going to, I'm going through your phone to try to figure out what the freak you're like. That's not, I don't want, I don't want to have to do that. If I have to do that, we're not, we're not married. We should not be That's another thing. Yeah. I wouldn't, I I think that there's probably like, I think you're probably off from the norm of men, even men who don't cheat have problems with women going through their phone. Um, So like even, yeah, like as a, and I think it comes from. Like whether they can put name words to it, I think it comes from the place, part of the place of what I'm talking about. Maybe it's no. embarrassment of finding that. Like even men that don't cheat, like oh, it's true. Like, no, I think most of the time, I get it, what most, saying, even though I disagree, I get what he's saying. 
I have a problem with women going through my phone for search, uh, through, through limitations. I always created a rule. I give my, my password out almost immediately. I have no problem with that. The rule is really simple. I'm a curious. I'm a nosy nigga, right? Like, that's just who I am. I'm nosy. I want to be reading people's text messages and their Discord chats. I just want to know just because I'm just nosy like that. But I would never violate a person's trust to do that, right? And so in the same sense, it's like, look, out of curiosity, if you wanted to just go through my phone, you can do it at any time. I've always said that. However, if you're going through my phone because of insecurity, we're going to have problems. I'm going to be offended. It's going to be, it's going to, it's going to probably erase our relationship because curiosity is a thing. And I'm fine with that. Be curious. What would you be talking about with your friends? I don't mind. Do whatever the freak you want to do. If you're insecure and then therefore going through it, feeding into that nonsense, we're going to have a problem. I right? 100% agree with a fanatic. I, I told my girlfriend the same thing. Like I'm willing to give you my account information and everything. But if you, if the reason that you're going through my account is to catch me cheating, then that's the, where we have a problem. Yep. I Insecurity is a problem. Go I ahead. refuse to be a disciplined man that doesn't cheat to be treated like I do. That's my philosophy on it. I don't I respect I'm not that. that. Like I, I go out of my way to be a good <sighs> little noodle. You're not going to treat me like a nigga that's just cheating on you left and right. That's exactly it. 100%. Exactly. I, mean, I just don't I mean, I just, I just want to let I you just, in. I, I mean, like my, I mean, like, <laughs> Damn, you broke it, bro. Like, Nah, that's I mean, like some girl, shit in like, there. He I'm just can't full, tell. I'm full with her going yeah. through my phone, but all she'll find is just a bunch of furry stuff. So whatever. Hey yo. I hey mean, yo. I gotta. I gotta get out of here. Hey, yo. Y'all have a good night. We gotta do outros. Peace we gotta do outros. Peace and love, gangster. Have a good one. All right, pizza. Yeah. Y'all take it easy. Um, night, people. I get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, let's um, let's do those outros. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you all for coming through. Really appreciate it. Um, to the um uh audience um who uh came through into almost all of my participants fuck that other guy um and uh uh but yeah but i do really appreciate you guys coming through you guys are really kind um sorry for our uh, friend bam bam thanks for uh being here um uh, like no matter where you land on these topics right it's always a really good conversation with you so i'm really glad you spend so much time here yeah i'm glad we actually had a little bit of decompress afterwards that i think that was probably good for us um i'm surprised i made it through an entire uh, panel with fanatic without getting muted this is great um <laughs> he's the most know, surprised it's just me on I, I promise <laughs> i am <laughs> um God, I'm surprised too <laughs> but yeah uh no good conversation uh good topics i think we like i said i think this wasn't this wasn't a, a conversation about objective truth and realities but i think it gave us it it, it told me a lot about who people's perspectives on relationships and trust and like a lot of their foundations. Like I, I feel like I learned about y'all. So, uh, thanks for that. Thanks for sharing that with me. Um, sure. uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. I do want to dream. Um, always, Hey, I want to say something like uh, dream and I, we get into it literally all the time, literally all the time. Right. Like it, it's all tonight. We get, we get into it, but, uh, let me tell you when it's time to hand out, uh, invites, I never even hesitate. <laughs> uh, to uh, 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 thank, thank you, Razor Sharp Gaming, for the five uh, gifts. That's really kind of you, a friend. Um, I never hesitate to uh, hit him back up, right? That other guy, like, oh. holy, I, you haven't seen him here for months because I couldn't stand his ass and I didn't want to invite him a- anymore. But I was feeling charitable, and so I did. And then, once again, made me regret it, as mm-hmm. usual. Uh, Demon No Dream, thank you for uh, the Prime Gaming Reset. It's really kind of you. Um, and we're close to Hype Train, so consider helping us out, uh, help out this community. So, um, like I like I was telling someone in chat, yeah, like, like no, you're not going to see him. Because I, like, no matter, Dream and I, like, no matter how many times we get into it, like, I never ban him. The other dude is banned, right? Banned from the server. Um, and uh, that's just, I can't fucking deal with this dude. Uh, Javinium, also really, uh, uh, a real one as well. Um, our man Swerve here gifted a sub, getting a, a hype train started. I do appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for supporting yeah, the channel. Yeah. It's the only way uh, we can make this happen. But anyway, uh, we got level two um, hype train, um, 12% uh, done, um, uh, 88% uh, left. I know math. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> consider uh, helping yourself getting to level three hype train. Yeah. Subs to channel, get bits, give subs. Um, all that helps. A resub. If you've got a resub, consider uh, resubbing. Usually Amazon Prime is Prime Gaming here. Um, it's a huge help uh, to this community. If you value this, if you find yourself coming back here on a regular, consider helping us out. Um, uh, we could use it. All right, uh, Dream, please. 
Oh, can I, I'm sorry. Can I, I say this real quick? I, because I would feel like I was being a bitch if I didn't say this. Um, Prime is probably not even probably. Prime is your my best friend in this space. Um, I would absolutely super respect and appreciate. See your real life. Yeah, I about to say dreams up there because we actually seen each other. Like I know you a real nigga. Um, but I, I will say I personally like Philly as a person. Um, I think he's interested in the asset space. That doesn't, that is your platform. You're allowed to do exactly what you want. I don't find any problem with that. Yeah. But I feel like if I didn't say that, I would like, I feel like I would be fake later if it came up. So I, I like Philly as a person. He doesn't, everybody doesn't get along with everyone. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, super that's, respect. Punk. That's the way it is. No, it's fair. I mean, I don't, uh, other people don't have to like, yeah. uh, don't yeah. have to not like the people that I don't like, you know, right. like yeah. it is what it is. And, yeah. and, uh, to piggyback on what Bam said, to piggyback on the non-bitch train, I'd also like to add that <laughs> I, I do see um, the confusion and maybe this whole conflict arise from confusion. So I don't think it was like a... You guys don't necessarily have to be like enemies. That's all I'm saying. I think there nah, can be a man to be made. No, and no, no, an amendment be and, and no, no, can no, be, be made. No, I'm just, I'm gonna, no, I'm going to no, try no, to be funny. I'm, no, I'm, gonna I'm, be saying, funny. No, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm telling you, fuck him. Just be clear. Okay. Um, SCV, donate 50 subs to oh, get unbanned. Oh, bullshit Prime is my favorite <laughs> version of Prime. Um, Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Hey, I ain't trying to kick it, skate it, skeet it. None of that shit. <laughs> uh, donate 50 subs to get unbanned, right? Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> I think um, to close it out, none of this conversation was about objective reality in, like inherently. There is, if you want a toxic relationship, uh, that's what you want. But I do think if we agree what we what we would want, right? Because there is objectivity when you agree on what you want. What is the best way to achieve X if we agree that we want X? So we, we, we there is no objectivity about what, what people should want. But if we agree that we want the healthiest type of relationship, then open communication, honesty, and transparency and not hiding things is the best way to achieve that. Now, you don't, if you don't want that, fine. Be secretive, be deceptive. That's okay. Then we just disagree with what we want. Moving forward, um, or um, closing, I do think uh, it's crystal clear in both scenarios of this debate. Um, uh, uh, before you see that, how about the high train? How about the high train? Got 90 seconds up now. High train. Up now. high train. Go ahead, please go ahead. Anytime me and Fnatic agree on anything, um, 99.99%, if not 100% of the time, it's going to be the correct thing to believe. Thank you. Oh my Thank god. You so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I oh appreciate god. it. Thanks for the job. Uh, and again, uh consider us supporting the hype train uh here uh keeps the channel up and running. Um uh, less than a minute left. But thanks all for the people who, who did support. All right, Gervinium, one of those people actually. Um thank you uh for being here. You're a real one. Uh we love to have you. Oh, thank you, uh Savage uh Serena, uh for subscribing to your prime gaming for your uh, first time. Hey, really kind of you. Thank you so much. I think it's at twenty five. That's my high school friend. Oh, hey, we love to see it. We love to see it. Um, uh, yeah, thanks for coming through. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you're kind like our friend Razor, so I do appreciate that. All right, uh, please uh, swerve. Uh, yeah, give us your outro. Um, you know, as always, uh, I think I say this every time because I mean it every time. You know, uh, always enjoy uh, kicking thoughts uh, with the homies and exchanging, you know, contrary ideas. Um, that's always good. It's always good for the mind. It's always good uh, for the soul. I believe that. Um, I tried my best today not to get caught up in the nigga moment. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I really, truly just didn't have the energy. I, I wish I did. Probably would have made for better content. But, you know, we always got another week. So, you know what I'm saying? But um, today's a special day for me. I just want to give myself a pat on the back because today's my first day streaming as an affiliate. So, um, hey! I'm hype. I'm hype. You know what I'm saying? So, if y'all want to check out the channel, this pronunciation's fucked up, but the name's right there on the screen Gervinium at Gervinium on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I stream, play games, I talk shit, I make music, I write, I write manga. Check it out. Thank you. And, uh, and I'm, I'm really appreciative. Like, been a great participant uh we always love to have him here uh and uh he's been getting, like literally getting better and better like I've, I've, I've said to him already before like as weeks go by i think swerve is like really up in this game and yeah we love to see it great trend line i hope, I just, found the form. I hope yeah, you're right exactly <laughs> okay uh let's go to our friend uh solace right uh like already just one of the uh, uh the best um thank you solace for being here 
Uh, I appreciate that. Um, two things. One, I personally believe that as far as this conversation goes, you can, everything you do is not going to be okay, but I do certainly believe in doing things honestly, if nothing else, as that tends to get you a lot more grace in whatever the fuck you do. As long as you let people know what it is you intend to do up front, I'm probably going to lean towards your side, morally speaking, like 90% of the time. Secondly, for every nigga asking me about this album that I've been making for a long time, I'm streaming my studio sessions at Solace PG on all platforms, on Facebook, Instagram, wherever the fuck they allow me to stream every day at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Do not bother me about this shit no more. Please don't DM me about the album. I'm making it publicly for y'all to view. It's coming soon. That actually should be dope to watch. I'm going to check that out. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, I- making an album. Yeah, that's all support. Um, uh, uh, we we love to support uh, uh, people in their projects and uh, what they're up to. Um, and uh, yeah, let's support it. our friend Solis. Uh, Razor, thank you for coming through, and thank you for supporting the channel like you usually do. Um, uh, one of the few, and I really, really, really appreciate you for that. Um, yeah, Razor, thanks so much. I know, of course. Uh, this pa- this panel, um, I get I get invited to it almost every week, and I'm happy when I do because it it's sort of like it's almost like an anchor for me a lot of uh a lot of shit that happens in my life uh uh especially with how my brain fucking works i definitely need to get meds uh this is something this is something that uh yeah keeps me grounded uh so i really appreciate it it makes me want to do more it makes me want to actually stream a little uh, a lot more so uh because I want to be able to get to that affiliate like like sort of did. Congrats again. Yeah. Um but yeah, so yeah, it, to everyone out there, uh if you liked what I had to say, if you want to just hear me rant about shit or see me play some games, I'm currently just now getting into Risk of Rain 2. It's actually really fun. Um uh, Oh, we could play it out together. Get... Possibly. Uh uh I can say what don't like <laughs> Might it... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, maybe I, one day. I, I don't know. I wouldn't like me either. But if you, but yeah, if you did like what I just say, Razor Sharp Gaming ninety six here on Twitch. Uh, I'm trying to work on getting out a couple of YouTube videos on my last two uh, streams of a new show I'm doing every other Monday. Currently, eventually I'll do it weekly, but bi weekly. Uh, every other Monday, uh, I'm uh, uh, have a little show with my new friend uh, Howard Rhodes where we do this uh, little thing we call no man's land. We just pick a topic. He's a little bit more right leaning than me and I'm very left wing. So we just have a night. We meet in the middle of the war zone that this fucking uh, website has created and have a talk. If you want to hear us, if you want to hear that, maybe even ask, ask us some questions. Join me Mondays at 5 PM uh, Californian time. I don't know. Pacific standard. Yeah. How do you not know Pacific standard? I mean, of course, I, you live I in California. I have ADHD and possible <laughs> autism. No, no, no my dad don't. Would don't time. Don't know. lie to yourself and say possible, brother. I don't, don't know, know what autism has to do with uh, or I, 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 time blindness. There okay, I, I'll, we'll leave it alone. We'll leave it alone, friend. Um, we'll, <laughs> we're just gonna push past that. <laughs> All right, another uh, California Negro here, right? Uh, hey, what time's on you in, uh, uh, fanatic? Californian. <laughs> oh, well, uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't lump me with razor. Um, <laughs> hey, anyone's so, lucky to be lumped in with me. Makes them look good. So, okay. audience, let me, let, me, let, me, let me let you in on something, right? Like, I, I, I was going to consider, like, leaving the stream on just to, like, you know, let it go for a bit, right? However, I remember our, our last stream, the last stream we had with Fnatic. Fnatic, uh, my good friend, um, he doesn't make it on here uh, very often, but he was on here last time. And, like, you know, we, we did Abe, and then him and I meandered on, and then ended in the shit show. So, right? Uh, <laughs> I am banking my profits here, right? Things are <laughs> ending on a, on a great note. I'm banking that. <laughs> For later on in the future, right? I'm not a gambling degenerate, so I know, I know uh, where to like end on a high note. So I'm gonna do that right now. Fanatic, I do love and appreciate you, friend. Um, and uh, it really is a treat, a treat when you come through. So thanks so much. 
Yeah, just to be clear, even though like it ended on you know whatever, you know there was no bad blood. Like we of course were not. always going to be good. Um, what I want to say is, uh, first off, I'm I'm you know I actually enjoyed my time here. I think if I do it rarely, then it makes it more enjoyable for me because I'm not getting so pissed. Uh, I like pushing people's buttons specifically. It's whoever you know what I'm saying. Whoever I get, you know what I mean. I have the relationship with to push the button. You know, it's Bam today. Uh, it's been Bam for a minute. If Azzy was on here, oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's crazy. Um. <laughs> um, I, I just think, um, yeah, the, the topic was cool. I, I really do think it, 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 like, like a lot of people summarize, it does boil down to just differences in, in people's ideas for what relationships are, um, are. And I think I have a tendency to I, idolize relationships in a certain way. Um, and I know idol, idolization is a bad thing, but it, I, I, I put them on a specific pedestal, um, which is why I've always been so very, very, very selective about what I'm willing to truly pursue. Um, there are play things and then there's like things that's like, no, no, this is it's going to impact my life. If this is the person I'm going to be with, it's going to be the mother of my children. I want the most idealistic relationship you can possibly get. And so that's what I'm fighting for. So that's what drives and motivates me with my take on those kinds of things. Um you guys can find me, you know, everywhere under the name Mr. Fanatic. Uh, YouTube is Ask Fanatic. The content I'm doing right now, if y'all remember uh, with the whole Destiny Bridge burning thing, um, I originally at one point said I wanted to do a manifesto. Um, at the time, I was like in therapy and my therapist was like, yeah, you know, you know, your manifesto's like da 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 And she told me like a better way of doing things. She's like, always make center things around your truth, center things around what you believe and so on and so forth. Um, never, ever, ever do something specifically to attack another person or to degrade another person with that type of negative energy will always negatively impact you. And so that's kind of the space that I operate from. So with that being said, I decided I needed, um, and I, I, so I kind of like backed away from the project because I had already been working like pretty extensively but then i kept getting harassed by folks you know from dgg like hit me up like hey you know when you gonna do that manifesto you never did the manifesto you never did whatever so i finally said you know let me go ahead and put out this content i have the editor that can <laughs> do so and so i went ahead and started releasing those videos so the first two parts are out there i am exposing some of the things that are that destiny has done and who he is um but it's not necessarily to degrade him it's basically just make sure i reassert my values people still believe to this day because of the conversation that was had on this panel um but yeah it was all all on the all black everything panel people still believe to this day that i'm against race mixing it's retarded mm. and i'm no retard um but I, I get how we got there um i think uh so either way those things are out there they're on my channel ask fanatic you can look at them um i'm doing a full video it's just that you know my editor works in pieces and so as a result of that i just decided to put out a couple pieces so that people can see what the hell i'm talking about um but the whole video shouldn't be too much much longer um you know, we'll we'll see uh, when that comes out. It shouldn't be too long. I, I, I literally just let my editor handle all those things. You guys can catch me um, there on my mm. music um, under the name Fanatic, no Mr. Um, on Spotify, Tidal, wherever the freak, whatever. Um, I actually listened to some of Solis's music. Um, Prime recommended it to me. I got a link and I listened to it and I was actually impressed. And that's ext extremely rare. 90% of the time, and I'm not trying to be, a, a, you know, whatever. 90% of the time when people tell you they do music, they send you the link and 90% of it is garbage. 90% of the time I expect to be completely disappointed and I would never, ever choose to listen to that music. So let's be 100% real as an authentic nigga. I listened to it and I was like, oh, this is actually good music. I was actually impressed. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I, you know, I think you're a great musician. Um, that, yeah, that shocked me. That. It shocked me. Um, so, yeah, maybe... Uh, uh, Y'all got to check him out. He's actually pretty solid. And that's how I'm in my note. Peace. Thank you. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Uh, we're blessed to have talented individuals come through, right? Uh, my man, D1O Dream, like tearing it up there in San Francisco, you know, in the political scene. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, uh, Bam ensuring us, ensuring everyone around. <laughs> but no, like, uh, uh, like these, everyone here, everyone here, seriously, yeah, is amazing. And I'm glad uh, uh for that like you guys all are, are smart individuals um talented i wish i had a bigger platform so, so that you guys could demonstrate your talents I, that's like my only thing that like i'm sad about. we keep so, doing this you will you keep having these nigga moments we are definitely you don't get up there <laughs> okay. Whoa. somebody gotta clip that uh, yeah, somebody say, gotta clip that if you if you make <laughs> clips on tiktok i guarantee you you're gonna have oh, that's gone that's what? about to be gone. Don't worry about that. Oh don't worry God. about that. It's about to be gone. Don't worry. I don't about think they're really going to ban it. Prime. 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 I will, Prime. No. I will come on in the, the, in the house, not in the Senate. Prime. I will come on the, 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 the,
Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, definitely heard. gonna. Do I was about to say, I will come on this panel one of these days, right, and have an entire the Jews own all the hip hop just so you can ban me. But we could do this shit for clout, but we could blow this shit up. Just let me know, bro. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> I mean, I you would be, speak, be speaking in fact we are going to talk about the Jews no, 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 okay, 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 see, I'm, I'm see, right now. I was wow. a joke, I was a joke it was a joke it was a joke hey, my man, my man uh, Swerve, Swerve uh, are you streaming right now, Swerve? I am streaming right now Um, what is uh, uh, the Jervinium Jervinium, it's Jervinium, okay, in, on Twitch, okay, great. Um, let's uh, make the happy. I mean, you just peace out, guys. You would think peace I have, no. have, have a good have day. A good Adios. Yeah. So let's uh, hit him up. Let's support our friend Jervinium, um, who's always been so kind to us. Yep, um, Jervinium, right there. Um, sending off uh, to him. Um, just wait for this countdown. It takes forever, uh, and it's super awkward every single time. 